faster. I can have all this expensive shit. The fuck? I... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I deny everything. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, you know what? Since last time he got mad at me, uh, I might as well annoy IBK. Where are they what at? What is going on? Uh, oh, I start dying in Rumpa stream. Oh, meteorite has done it. Okay, I'll stop Terraria. I'll just watch it play and just at... look at the sideline. I got what I wanted for today. Uh, right, actually, before I should make this pickaxe. Mm. There we go. Upgrade to pickaxe. Beautiful. There we go. And save and exit. Oh, the first thing I see is that Uri's fucking bombardment of a shaft and balls. Yes, oh. yes, 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 yes. What, you don't like it? He has quite uneven balls. What the fuck? Hey, she has to die. What the fuck <laughs> is his voice acting? Uh, I blame you, Smile. I, I can't hear the voice acting because I'm talking to you, but yeah, sure. Uh, she's doing the hee hee, but... It's it doesn't sound like a he. <laughs> uh, Is it kus, 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 yes, like that? yes. Okay, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Shit. What the fuck? Yes, I I quite remember that. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Hey, Hope Peaks Academy. Oh, my legs. Oh, what? Just stretch. What the fuck? Go off for I'm a jog. Stretching. Okay, I'll be back. Aw, uh, just uh, do what you did last time when you uh, nearly uh, killed yourself on your bike when you were riding on ice. Actually, I had to replace my bike tire because uh, I think my uh, you normally have other to friends do that, been buddy. using it. Oh, okay. No, but like, it, it worn out a lot faster than I anticipated, right? Mm-hmm. I was like, what the fuck happened with my bike? Hmm. That ice situation, maybe? No, no, it wasn't then. Yeah, I'm pretty I, sure, I, yeah, the tires, like, I just quite, love that moment. You know, <laughs> yes, you... the ice is quite nice. Ice you, ah! you, you actually sound like you were about to die. Yeah, because I was slipping on ice. <laughs> yeah. When I was riding my bike. <laughs> How is it so difficult? It was <laughs> glorious. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Chronicle Quest, Chad, uh, be faster. Why can't you be fast as Toki? Goddamn. Uh, you're asking for too much. This Chad. I'm still wondering what I should eat. I'll be back. I'm gonna go look at my fridge. Okay. I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first, then we'll question Monokuma afterwards. I'm definitely gonna find out if Yohiko is safe or not. Surprise. Actually, I have to switch to my phone then. Let's yeah. see. Uh, where is it? Bam, bam, bam. Mm. Wait, where would Monokuma be? What the fuck? Don't you just usually ask him where he is? Good morning, Sonia. Hajime. Get back. Who do you think I am? Ah, uh, that was unintentional. It is okay to be your usual self. Yeah. Mm. That was close. I was really gonna kneel before her. Hey, you have a problem. I'm terribly sorry I was worried about Yuhiko, that I could not sleep at all. That must be why my face looks terrible, so I was just embarrassed to be seen like this. I should go wash my face and come back one more time. Uh, did she just say Tata? Hmm. So I can kill her, right? Is Yuhiko really okay? Hell no, he's not. I'm assuming I have to go here. Hey, gamer girl. Good morning, Chiaki. Yeah, good morning. You're up earlier than usual. Yeah, I couldn't really stay put and do nothing. I see. Gaming as usual. No, I have the slightest. I have a slight feeling she's deliberately concentrating on her game. 
Mm-hmm. Like she's trying to keep her sadness from showing. I mean, Pekko is dead. Pekko did dead. Where is the Monokuma? Huh? Hajime, you're already here? Yoko, you're the only one here. What are you doing? I'm not acting anxious. I just happen to be awake. Hmm. What the fuck? I see. This girl, there's something strange. Is she trying... Your mic is acting, uh, sus. This yeah, I mean, it's the earbud. Yeah. But yeah. Now I can hear you. This girl, there's something strange. Is she trying to pull some kind of dirty trick again? Or is she dirty herself? Did she finally take a shower? What the fuck? <laughs> what the heck is this? Who the fucking, what the fucking, why? This is, hmm, Satan. <laughs> what the fuck? Why you talk about Satan? Uh, do you not see the shrine in front of me? A panel has propped up. It's giving it off a durable, yeah. It's, hmm. Hmm. Maybe this is what Smile's uh, shrine looks like. Hmm. Panel I have a shrine? Can I you? build one? There's a bunch of photos pasted all over it. Didn't Mahiro take these photos? But what's with this terrifying? <laughs> uh, gee, she has oh, a problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, what's this? What an adorable decorate. Okay, she has to fucking die. Okay, smile. She, she's, she's the next one to go, right? I don't know who di did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it. What the fuck? My hero is dead. I don't know who did this, but we should be grateful to them, right? As does. Good morning. It's all right to run into you two here. What are you looking at? Huh? <laughs> what the fuck? Thank you. That's a proper reaction. <laughs> what the fuck? I expected that reaction. What happened? <laughs> hey, what's up, BK? What's up? Is it a brawl? Yeah, BK is here. Yo, what's all this ruckus in the morning? This is bad. Please take a look at those photos. Photos? What the heck? Yeah, I can't really see the photos. I, you have to zoom in. What kind of ominous crap is this? Ah, <laughs> uh, hmm. The ritual has begun, Smile. We are summoning the BBS gods. What kind of yes, ominous yes. crap is this? <laughs> they make Satan look good. Oh, what the fuck? This is clearly an insult against Mahiro. I don't know who the hell did this crap, but they've got a lot of nerve. Uh, this is too much to actually treat Mahiro's photos like this. She must be taking offense. What the fuck? <laughs> Thank you. Ah, everyone, I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably... Good morning, everyone. Good mongrel. What the fuck? I swear to God, these reactions. What the fuck did she expect? <laughs> There is no excuse. This is too terrible. How could something... Like, they probably think it's Monokuma. It's not Monokuma. <laughs> Monokuma wouldn't do this. <laughs> or would he? Uh, hmm. It would be more obvious it's Monokuma. If there's no bear next to it, it's not him. Yeah. Okay, seriously. Uh, at least turn up your gain on that earbud. Uh, no, seriously. Yeah. I know, right? I know, right? Seriously, it's just the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, right. There's no way Mahiro will be happy with this. She won't... She won't just be unhappy. I'm sure she'll be so angry she'll... <laughs> Tears of blood. Uh, Man, who the hell did this? We'll have to search for the criminal later. In the meantime... Fire. Start the fire. <laughs> we'll have a grand bonfire so Mahiro can reach Nirvana. Ah, oh, beautiful. Seriously, this is... You can't. Someone took their time to make this memorial so we can mourn for my hero. You can't burn it. Mourn my hero? You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting my hero. Really? I think it's a little clumsy. Why don't you take a closer look? <laughs> uh, why don't you take a closer look at the intent instead of focusing on the appearance? Despite their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. If you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? 
My hero's not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. This is probably made, yeah. So I definitely think, yep, it's a nice decoration. Now you just play too many video games. Mm. Definitely has Resident Evil vibes. Hmm. The shrine. I, yes. <laughs> or Witcher. Eh, actually, yeah, there's a yeah, there's a monster with that freaking skull thing. In Witcher 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. You sure are simple minded. Yeah, video games. I don't really want to burn it. <laughs> Was the person who made this? My hero is really nice. She politely taught me how to tie my kimono. She was really good at taking care of others. My hero's probably, yeah. So I wanted to tell her that she's not alone, even if she's in heaven. Hiyoko, you. Uh, can we just kill the little brat now? I did want to make it look better, but, but unless I'm dancing, I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. I spoke out without considering your feelings. I mean, how the fuck are you supposed to know she made it? Then again, she is the little devil or mini tray. There we go. Yeah. How should I put this? It looks like we misunderstood. No, you didn't. <laughs> Seriously, who who the fuck puts skull head? Who the fuck puts cow skulls on a fucking uh memorial? <laughs> uh, what the fuck? I'm pretty sure those are cow skulls, right? There's no other freaking uh. Say what? I know, right? Damn. <laughs> Now that I take a closer look, it looks like you put a lot of thought into decoration. I mean, could she not just make paper mache? Like, what the fuck? Ugh. So, let's keep this thing around until we get off the island. No, it should come with us. We get off this island, too. I use as hmm, hmm. So, can I kill Sonia, too? Smile. It would be a waste to leave. Kill all the people. Just like the woman hater you are, just kill all the Yes, women. yes, yes. I mean, so far no guys have su suggested taking the goddamn freaking skulls. <laughs> so we're not gonna burn it? Nah. Of course not, we would never burn it. Were you the one who started shouting that? Fine, then I'll forgive you all, except Mikan, of course. Why? Why are you so strict with me? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Man, it's so unexpected. I really can't imagine Hyoko being so diligent earnest about something who cares about that <laughs> Hyoko has a very kind heart yeah until we get into the later part of the game and then uh you know motives 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 kind oh come on it's not like that stop it already you don't have to be embarrassed seriously stop it don't tease me Hyoko so adorable when she's embarrassed there we go <laughs> why only me because, actually, I still want to know that, too. At any rate, I hope this is finally settled now. <laughs> it's very like you guys to settle things like this. Do they forget, like, we're going to start killing each other in, like, a little bit? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Really? Feels like we made such huge fun. Hmm. Wait, wasn't the whole focus for you, Hiko? Finding out about his health? Wasn't the motherfucker dying? Where's the baby face? It's just like you guys. Little by little, we're trying to understand and find the good in each other. Say that again, Smile. He's recovering. Aw, he's- a, yes, yes, yes. He's in the Monokuma ambulance. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we can move forward without feeling despair towards our situation. Wait, I just realized, where the fuck is Nagito? <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah, <you> just <laughs> <laughs> where the fuck- where the fuck is Nagito? <laughs> he's not here. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, now it's starting to come back to me. That motherfucker's on the loose. Now I remember. Uh, what the fuck? You guys are all splendid. Splendid, huh? Mm, I have arrived. Apologies for the wait. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is this object that is releasing such foul aura? Hey! A malice clings to Mahiro even after her death. <laughs> what the why is his eyes bloodshot? What the fuck? We'll be sucked into it directly. Hey, there he is. Wow, this is very... This is a very hopeless object. It doesn't belong in a hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely brimming with malice. Let's just hurry up and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it even more than one second. Stand aside, I, I shall say. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Uh, smile, smile, smile. Stand aside, I shall shatter this barbaric, blasphemous, false idol to pieces. <laughs> I, I, I kind of enjoy these two now. Now that those two are here, do you still think we're splendid? Looks like it's going to take a little more time. I completely agree. <laughs> the scene unfolding in front of me was so embarrassing, all I could do was sigh. But at least it was a peaceful scene. Was it? Was it really? However, we didn't realize just how short-lived the piece would be. Did they seriously just not notice that Nagito walked in through the door? Like... Nobody? Nobody? I'm not gonna comment on this? He's the sus man. Like, sus man. Like, come on. Even though we were finally bonding, a situation was brewing. Like a huge fracture running between us all. And that would be the trigger for a truly horrible, atrocious incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. We just hadn't realized it yet. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Some shit will go down. Hey. Oh, I'm out of coffee. Trapped by Ocean Scent. Oh, we're gonna watch a Monokuma film? Hey! I'm down. I'm stuffed. I can't eat another bite. Man, you sure do eat a lot. Don't you ever worry about, like, choking? I never get worried. You don't? Wait, what about Fuyuhiko? Is he really alright? Is he? Hmm. I was so concerned I could not sleep at all. Plus, if his fate is in Monokuma's paws, I'm even more concerned. If only I could have tended to his wound somehow. Aren't you the fucking ultimate nurse? Like, what the fuck? He doesn't know where he's at. Hmm, true. Well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. Did you forget everything that happens when you eat? Now that I've got a belly full of old food, I'm all set. So, leave the rest to me. I'll question Monokuma and avenge for you, Hiko. <laughs> avenge, he's not even dead. <laughs> I like how she just assumes he's dead. Mm. Mm. Yes. The baby face is dead, Smile. Smile is also dying. What vengeance? You can't... You just want to test your skill. Well, yeah. She flat out admitted it. Okay, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? Oh, it's you, Monomi. What do you want? The fun mood's over now, thanks to you. Did I just ruin the mood? I'm not gonna lie. I don't like her theme song. Where's Monokuma? Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. Who the hell are you? We're talking about something important here, so go away. Okay, I'm sorry. Wait, no, I definitely don't want to be treated like an outsider. Technically, you are. You're a fucking robot. And Smile is dying, or he's beating something. Or he's chopping something. I'm just cutting some onions. There we go. Just, what do you want? What do you mean by, I did my very best? Oh, you finally asked me. Well, once again, I defeated another Mono Beast. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? If you defeated a Mono Beast, that means... That's right, you are not able to visit yet another island. I don't think you defeated shit. I think Monokuma just got rid of one of them. That's right, you are not able to visit yet another island. So Maybe I should turn up your gain. Or not your gain, but your volume. Uh, Give me a sec. You are quiet for some reason. I don't know why Discord is doing this with my ears. There we go. Now you're at 200%. You'll probably kill my ears when you come back. Hmm. So let's all live happily e ever after with each other this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Monokuma. No more thinking about leaving this island. Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. A new island, huh? Can I see this Monokuma film now? Please, please, please. I've been waiting for it for so long. Maybe now we'll finally oh find it. God, you're the only person who says that. Wait, what? <laughs> What do you mean? Looking forward to work. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> uh, wait, what about IBK? You don't know. You don't know what he's into. Uh, I'm assuming he's saying. Now that's the only thing we have. That our hope and only hope. Are you guys think about leaving the island, even though I just said not to? More importantly, Monomi, what happened to Fuyuhiko? Ah, Fuyuhiko. You see, I don't really know. Miss Sonia, can't you see it's a waste of time asking her? In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. 
You're also part of that mysterious world ender organization, aren't you? Whew. That's the organization that brought us to this island, right? How do you know? Since you're the one who brought us to this island, that's gotta be it. Hey, I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just what are you planning? This is a great opportunity. It's time you finally filled us in. What a dilemma, but that's the only... only <laughs> hmm. Truly, this is a tragedy of middle management. She ran away again. She's always like this when things get inconvenient for her. Well, who cares about Monomi? More importantly, she mentioned a new island. What should we do? Or is nobody gonna question Nagito? Like, just... Okay, just he's here. He's a he, part of the group he's again. Super fine. He's not gonna do anything sus. I'm I'm just like nobody bringing up Nagito. Okay, I do not think we should be exploring when Fuyuku is in danger, but we must move forward no matter what despair. St like nobody's gonna bring him. Us. That's what hope should be. <laughs> what hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. Jeez, you're seriously just annoying as Monokuma. I'm also worried about Fuyuhiko. But is it really okay if we just stay here doing nothing? Isn't it better if we do what we can? What we can? She's right. Let's try to find a way off this island before he comes back. But, hmm. You're right. Fihiko will not recover any faster if we just stand around doing nothing. I agree with Miss Sonia. You're just a fucking simp. That is decided. Let's explore and search for a new hope. So wouldn't it be faster if to just be beat up the rest of the mono beasts and search all the islands in one go. Hmm. Can she wait? Can so do you think Sakura could have beaten the mono beast? <laughs> Smile. Uh, so hmm. that's questionable because we don't know how strong they are. Really dumb. Hmm. Do you think Akane can kill a mono beast? Hmm. Probably not. <laughs> She's not at Sakura level. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I'm actually wondering, is there any character in this game that you like more than Sakura? On the second game? Yeah. Yes. If that strange looking rabbit can defeat one, it should be easy for us too. Hey, don't think about doing anything reckless. What? Anything reckless? <laughs> I did say there was my favorite character in the, thing, the second game. I think I did. If she fight against Monokuma, she would definitely destroy Mono Beast. Are we talking about Sakura or are we talking about Akane? Hmm. Give me a Okay, there we go. I had to pull back my hair. What the fuck? This bullshit. Anyway, yeah, let's begin. Shut up. Don't talk about my hair. Yes, yes. The one Sakura. that goes fluff up. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. Let's open the way to a hope filled future. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sakura. Okay. okay. In order to prepare for exploring New Island, we left the restaurant. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe I should just start. Oh, stop charging this. That son of a bitch. Yeah, that feels better. Can I just fast travel? Oh, yeah. Also, my pet thingy. Uh, I don't have to. Uh, why is it a snake now? What the fuck? Second island, isn't it the third island? No way, that's the wrong one. Fuck. Go here. There we go. Monomi was right. The Mona Beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Did Sakura kill it? 
Then if we cross this bridge, we should be able to search the new island with a feeling of hope in my heart. Overshadowed any lingering fear or nervousness. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just go on the island. Across the bridge. Actually, I'm act like, have they ever done like what ifs? Like, you know, if you transferred some characters to other, like the other. They have not. That would be interesting. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see mixed matches of like different. Uh, yeah, different students being put in different areas. Because I want to see how soccer would do against like this, this, this side of uh, yeah. We can replace Mikan, right? No, like so far she's useless. Like you're the ultimate nurse, but you couldn't save Fuyuhiko. Like what the well, fuck? She was the reason. She was the deciding reason why Teru Teru was turned to fucking. Hmm. Remember? Hmm. Was she? Yeah, yeah. Remember the uh, the SC scene? Yeah, like, yeah. I couldn't remember. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? So this is the third island. Hmm. <gasps> the theta. Hmm. <laughs> hey, oh cowboy. Hey, hospital. Hey, that's where. Very good. This is a pretty bad hospital. They have a it's very run. bad ventilation system. What the fuck? It's, again, it's run by Monokuma. What do you expect? Like, oh, uh, <laughs> looks like. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Can I kill her? Holy shit! See, I'm just saying, Smile. Is it so wrong for me to kill her? <laughs> I'm sorry, I scared you. No shit. Who the fuck pops out of nowhere in a place like this? <laughs> I have accidentally swung at somebody when they, uh... Yeah, there's... If that was me in there, I probably would have a lead pipe and I probably would have just killed her. But don't worry, even if you have a heart attack from getting too scared, this is a hospital after all. Yeah, she can die. She, she... Hmm. She's the type of person to say it's okay to have a stroke. No, no! Bitch. <laughs> the moment I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something I need to be worried about. But this is a hospital. It's a little strange. I can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. Just as I thought here too. Damn it, there's nobody here either. What's going on with this island? Notice all the medical supplies are still here. I'm not sure if they'll be useful unless we check them. That means I need to check them, right? Yes. Understood. I'll go ahead and do that in a flash. Please don't hate me. This, the more she says that, the more she actually becomes less of a, yeah, just, you're going to die. Please die. I guess that means it's okay to leave this place to her. <gasps> it's the, it's Gundam. Hmm. Of all people, it seems I've immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place Mark, you def Mark of defeating the devil, was carved into my body long ago. Mark of defeating the devil? The fuck? I have said too much. Forget what you heard. For your sake. He was the one who volunteered that information. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, bulletin. There's a paper bulletin on the board. Apparently it's a hospital notice, but there's no one on this island. So who is this notice written for? Uh, the fuck students? The patient room. So these. Mekon is in there. Anything else over here? Boxes, fire hydrant, water. Outside. There really is nothing else there. Okay. Hmm. Music venue. Hey! I can already guess who's gonna be in here. Impossible. This building. It's gaudy, tasteless, neon lights. Obviously looks suspicious. I can't say for sure, 
There's no danger. I should be cautious what's inside. I swear to God, she starts screaming when I go in there. Hey, guess who it is? Yeah, no shit. Fucking knew it. What the? <laughs> Why are you shouting so suddenly? Don't surprise me like that. The truth is over overwhelming that I can't help shouting out. Because this is a music venue, right? Yeah, it looks like it. I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. Never expected never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. Did I just say that twice? Yes. Did I just say that twice? Is it a fucking echo? Hmm. Are you okay? You're giving off a weird vibe. Not at all. I'm totally fine. What the actual fuck? <laughs> You don't look very okay. Man, with a venue like this, Ibuki has no choice but to li Wait, what the fuck? This is just the beginning. I'll invite everyone to feel one- Yeah, no. Hmm, oh well. You've taken a liking to this ven music venue. I'll leave you to investigate it. I'm tired. I should hurry up and go check out the other place. Hey, the other one is here. What a splendid place, Hajime. <laughs> What the fuck? This is not disco. It is where hip youngsters wear feather fans and tight clothes as they dance their go-go's and oh my fucking god. <laughs> Smile. She talks like you. She, she talks oh, like you. Oh, she does. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I have no clue what Sony is talking about. Where Where is Simp Boy when you need him? Hmm, I guess I should, uh, stage. There's a stage. I'll probably never have a chance to be on the limelight. Why the fuck would you want to? So this is baton lighting control panel. Apparently you can control the baton lighting with this. Hmm, okay. Staff only. It says staff only on the door. It's probably some sort of storage room. I might as well check inside. Got a couple guitar. There's a fucking banjo. <laughs> hey, ukulele. I think that's a ukulele. Looks like there's a stage design stuff too. Paint, stage light, wallpaper, curtains. Guess there's nothing special here that we need right now. Hmm. What the fuck is this? There's a lot of stickers with the venues, logos placed here. It's like they made a bunch of them. Had too many left over. Feels depressing. There's carpeting, all that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that a fucking mirror? Full length mirror. You can see your whole body in this huge mirror. Hmm. With a mirror this big, it'd be easy to check how you look. Hmm. What the fuck is this? Ladder? Oh, step ladder, yep. Hmm. There's a lot of different musical instruments. Ooh. Bam, bam, bam. I think I've seen what I need to see. Wait, what the fuck am I looking for? Hmm? So, air conditioned. I like how they have to advertise that. We have air conditioning. Hmm. Some part of the world don't have air conditioning here. Uh, that's Japan. It's small buildings with great accommodations and a parking lot. It's supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen them before in movies, but it's my first time actually seeing one in person. Wow, what a rundown motel. Looks pretty unsanitary, too. I mean, it's a motel. It's just like Hajime's house. How the fuck would you know? You've never seen my house. Oh, I didn't know you were here. It's, you don't stand out. Hmm. Anyway, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for a minimum wage worker. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? 
but we gotta make sure we check it out thoroughly. It's possible that there might be a clue here. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing around out here? You're probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a saying, praise a fool and you make a- what the fuck? Praise a fool and you make him useful. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. What's that supposed to mean? Akane was checking out inside after I gave her a little praise. She got really excited about it. A dumbass like her is pretty rare. <laughs> so we gotta make sure she's treated well. What the actual fuck? If her rotten attitude is this extreme, I can't really take it personally. Hmm. It's a bunch of... Hmm. Someone looking for private rooms. It's dark, slightly dirty. There's no doubt that room like... Yep. If it's just to stay the night, the cottage is good enough. Hmm. What the fuck? There's a... What the fuck is this? A rundown, rusted, rotting car. Someone abandoned it. Maybe it'll start up. Nope. She may be a dumbass, but Akane has value too. So if that's the case, someone like me needs... Yeah, you... You better die. Hmm. What else is here? Electric Avenue. Hmm. There are a bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances. Machines and other parts clustered together. Hey, this would be Smile's, uh... I would imagine Smile going through here to find a 3080. Hmm. Or at least try to salvage what he can and sell it. Machines and other parts <laughs> cluttered together. Would you not? Hmm, he went silent. Hmm. But wait. With this many machines, we can probably find something we can use. Nope. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey. I like how Monokuma's just right there. A lovable little bear. Don't say so stupid things. I'm the ultimate mechanic, you know? Of course I'm happy when I'm surrounded by machines. Then you should look happier. Dude, try to understand how I'm feeling. I have this unexplainable conflicting feeling about whether or not I should be happy. I can't- uh, wait, what the fuck? Why do you feel so conflicted? There's all this machinery lined up here. Ah, damn, I want to take them apart. I want to dismantle them and look inside. That's how I usually think, right? But I know now's not the time for me to do something like that, and that's why I feel conflicted. Is wanting to dismantle normal? Yes, that's what Smile does all the time. That's a fun thing to do. Hmm. It's like if you have hot ch hots for a chick, you want to take off her clothes, right? Ha. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's a great analogy. <laughs> what the fuck? Hell yeah, it's like if you have hot chick. Okay, okay, good for you. And you want to check out... Wait, what the fuck? And you want to check out her bone structure, right? Like her ribs, where parts of her bones are sticking out, right? Dang. That's not That's normal. Pretty That's pretty, uh, yeah. That's a pretty acrobatic sex fetish. Seriously? Yes. Uh... I see, so wanting to see a chick's bone structure makes me a little perverted. Pretty much, yeah. It's, hmm. It's okay, IBK. What the fuck? Is that racist? Hmm. hmm. Okay. What? I done the prep work for dinner, so... I came yeah. back! Yeah, yeah, So many machines, just by looking at them, I have no clue what they're used uh... for. I don't really recommend that section. What do you mean? Well, I'm pretty sure amateurs won't really get it. All that stuff there, it's all machines used for stuff like wiretapping, recording secret videos. Like, there's some ancient-looking surveillance cameras, too. Machines used for recording secret videos. Ah, uh, hey, don't get it twisted. I just have mechanical knowledge of these things. <laughs> I never actually used them before. No one said you did. Speaking of surveillance cameras, we're being constantly videotaped and wiretapped by Monokuma, right? Like, I'm kind of jealous because what is that? Hmm. I guess that's what he's looking at. Hmm. It says he's never used these before. If I let him be, he's the type of person who will eventually use them. Hmm. I mean, if he wants to, he can, right? There's a lot of CRTVs lined up here. They all look pretty old. Looks like they are not designed. Yeah. 
Not that it matters. Looks like TV signal isn't reaching out. Hmm. Hey, laptop. I just wait. Where the fuck? Chiaki is here too. Hey. Various desktops and laptop computers are arranged in a disorderly fashion. Whatever, whatever, whatever. A little old fashioned, run down. They all look like they could be used. I know if we can connect them to the internet, we might be able to call for help. Since I thought that, grabbed a random laptop, pulled it out of the pile, turned it on. I tried to see if it would connect to the internet. It's no use, looks like it's not connecting. There's no way it'd be that easy, but just when I was about to give up. My eyes noticed a strange icon arranged in the desktop. Usami X file, what is this? Without thinking, I clicked strangely named icon. About the biggest, most awful. Ah, this. Yes, 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 yes. The document file based on a format looks kind of old report. Scan across the word displayed on the screen. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This horrendous event originated with some students of Hope Peaks Academy causing a revolt. The students of the... Hmm. Satisfied with being treated differently than the primary department and began to fight the academy. At first, the dispute was confined to the campus and hopes were high. It would be settled down someday. The things quickly ex escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike, yeah. Hmm. I wonder who that influence was. Hmm. 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 I want to be best friends with this influence. <laughs> it was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup. Hmm. Ever, no matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to this. Yeah. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic. Hmm. Therefore, hmm. Opeek Academy became the origin of the incident and was forced to put an end <laughs> to their long history. As for the students who survived, they were forced to kill each other as a lesson in despair. It's no use. The words are too... What the fuck? Could you not? <laughs> uh, okay. It's no use. The words are too garbled to read beyond this point. What is this? Oh, how normal. It's not normal like a dog- wait, what the fuck? It's not normal like a dog barking. It's such a normal reaction that it's actually quite novel. Hey, can't you re <laughs> react with more gusto? Don't you know how very important this scene is? Could it be you were the one who created this file? My, what makes you think that? Because it's obviously the only thing I can think of. The biggest, most awful tragic event in human history. Right in various parts of the world. Opic Academy getting destroyed. Sounds like something you'd make up. What? Monokuma lying? What? What's Hope Peaks Academy Reserve Department? I've never heard, even heard of that before. Huh, really? That's weird. Of all people, you should definitely... Hmm. What do you mean? I guess you forgot about it. Along with the memories, your school life, so it can't be helped. While we're on the subject of stupid things, that file said something about students who survived. Is it referring to us? The rest? Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oy, oy. Just what the heck have you guys been talking about? Doesn't make any sense. Oh. Movies with no images, music with no sound, novels with no words. These things are true. <laughs> what the fuck? So you can't say something this simple. Doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are the students who survived? I wouldn't know an important story like that. Because the only thing I'm good for is being cute. Yeah, 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 plus the Audi, uh, the Audi belly button. Uh... Hey, Hajime. Don't worry, it's going to be fine. I'm sure he's making it all up. That's it. That's definitely it. Is it? Is it really? A lot of electronic appliances in this mess, including home appliances, acoustic equipment. All these look pretty old. Do they even work? Hmm. It's a microwave. Teru Teru would have never used this old microwave. You probably made kitchen equipment. Hmm. Those dishes he would have made a lot of smiles. But that's no longer. Hmm. How does a microwave remind you of Teru Teru? It's not even pork cutlet. So this is a cell phone corner. 
Smile, do you want <clears> some <throat> pork cutlet? I so could get... make some, actually. Yeah, make mm. some pork cutlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Somehow it looks like she's fishing out. Hmm. Jackie, what happened? Are you looking for something? I was wondering if there are any game consoles in here. Sometime old hardware is treated like junk. So that's what you're doing. I already have TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be non-portable. Hmm. If you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your cottage. Yeah, I will. Mm, I don't feel like... Wait, you can't carry a system? Hmm. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of previous incident. What? But video games are quite Blasting. nice. Video games are quite nice. What you mean? It's your fault for fucking playing the game. Ugh. Movie theater. Hey! The Monokuma original film. Ah, I'm so excited. Welcome! We're currently showing <laughs> right now. So please wait five minutes for the next showing to start. Showing? What does that mean? Are your eyes just for show? Look around. This is a movie theater, right? Then I'm obviously showing a movie. <laughs> well, I guess there's no need. Oh, what the fuck? You're just going to say this is the next motive, right? Just like Twilight Syndrome. Yep. I'm definitely not going to watch your movie. Whatever it is, I'm never going to see it. My goodness. And I was thinking giving you an, an invitation ticket. But I won't allow you to not watch it. I went to a lot of trouble to make this movie. If you don't watch it, I'm going to be sad. I'm sure your movie is no different than that game you made. That game was a shoddy piece of crap. What? What you mean? It was an amazing game. It was made by Monokuma. Hmm. Anyway, as long as I... Hmm. As long as I refuse to allow it, you will never have the choice to not watch it. I am Monokuma on this island. My word is law. If I don't watch it, what are you going to do about it? There's no way <laughs> I'd allow such reckless behavior. There's no way I'd allow it. But I'll forgive you if you purchase a Monokuma sticker at the goods counter over there. Monokuma sticker? What? Hmm, where? I just love the freaking... <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, let me get this. Actually, now that I think about it, is that... Is that not... Is that freaking Makoto's sister? This poster? Who? No. This Wait, one. what? Can you show me? Oh, yeah, 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 that's her. That's her? <clears throat> so, yeah. is, this th is this them advertising that game, or...? Yeah, yeah, the, the despair girl, yeah. Hmm. I'm definitely gonna buy that. Wait, what the fuck? It's a video game poster? Hmm, looks interesting. I'm definitely gonna buy that. This is literally them advertising! Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, what the fuck? There's some strange goods on the countertop. Looks like a tote bag. Ah, did that catch your eye? Hmm. The limited item, only one person can have it. Uh. By the way, apparently the tote bags were originally invented to carry around ice. So how about it? Want to buy it? Mmm, I'll pass. I thought you'd say, what the fuck? Is this sticker you were talking about? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry I was born stupid. <laughs> uh, it's not funny, and I don't understand its purpose. How half-assed this is. He doesn't get comedy. I'm quite offended. To tell you the truth, this is a very lucky sticker I received from, well, hmm. And it could be yours for the special price of only $1.5 million. $1.5 million? <laughs> don't mess with me. I don't even have that kind of money. Then you can pay me back when you get off this island. If you don't like it, you could always just watch my... Fine, I'll pay it. Whoa, I'm surprised. As long as I pay it after I get out of here, I'll pay anything. Even $1.5 million. You're the first person to ever pay $1.5 million for this sticker. In other words, you really don't want to watch my movie. That makes me sad. <laughs> but if I can make a huge profit, it's okay. I'm a mascot whose only hobby is counting money after all. <laughs> You're the worst mascot. Oh, blasphemy. Come on, take it, thief. And slap it on your forehead, thief. <laughs> Come on, can I be a thief for the rest of my life? Hmm. Cool. Go buy that little sticker thing. Yeah, sure. Yes, yes, yes. Why is he calling him a thief? Didn't he give him 1.5 million dollars? 
He's not gonna pay him back. <laughs> yeah, I know. The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap looking than I thought it would be. Hmm, it's like a prize box hmm, from a candy. Did I really agree to pay so much money for this piece of crap? Maybe I'm a little crazy. Whoa there, looks like the showing is over. Alright, I gotta collect the questionnaires. At the moment, Monokuma started humming and skipped away towards the door leading to the theater. Slam. The door opened violently and the one person who appeared within. Nagito, please answer my questionnaire. It doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring, it was torture. Minutes felt like weeks while I was watching it. Um, well, I guess what art... Hmm, I guess that's what art is, because it's not really art. <laughs> I thought it was going to be another motive, but I guess that's not the case. What a letdown. If money would have settled this, I should have just settled it with money. Nagito was so depressed, the movie must have been really bad. I definitely made the right call not watching it. <laughs> uh, but smile. Monokuma movie. Hajime. After Nagito's glowing review, did you change your mind about watching my movie? Of course not. What? I mean, I didn't even hear the review. Ooh, popcorn. It's a food shop. A lot of things, popcorn, sandwiches, drinks are all arranged here. Hmm. But you're not letting me have popcorn. What? I'm so tired from boredom. If money would have gotten me out of the seeing it, I should have settled it with money. Let me ask you one thing. If you were told you could pay $1.5 million and not watch that movie, I'd, I'd gladly pay it. Quick answer, the movie must have been that bad. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Smile, I want to see this movie, goddammit. Hmm. I don't have to watch it since I bought the sticker. Maybe it was too hasty. Hmm. So I can leave, right? Because Nagito isn't going to tell me anything. Uh. Hajime, over here, please hold on. Sonia, does something happen? Just now, I went to the hospital and it appears Mikan has made a very serious discovery at the hospital. Serious discovery? Hmm. It's not strange drugs, thick needles, or anything like that. Hajime, it appears you are the same as me. Huh? It is the same. If I turn around, he's there. Wait, what the fuck? It is the same as if I turn around, he's there. But I also remember that person in the wind. What are you talking about? Are you so unrefined? This is- she is basically you. She is basically female you. I'm, I'm sorry, Smile. This is you. Me? Yes. Who? Her. Jeez, are you so <laughs> unrefined? It is Japanese legendary medical drama. That person in the wind. Aired in 1984. Smile, this person is uh, you. The thing is, I don't watch dramas. <laughs> I do but, not watch dramas. But so. she calls everybody peasants when they haven't heard. <laughs> a certain thing what i uh, don't call you people peasants yes oh, you, you peasant. <laughs> <laughs> uh that person in the weird that person in the wind aired 1984 and set the standard for every trendy drama that followed it is about a righteous rookie doctor and an oh my god okay i can skip all of this right Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life. I don't give a fuck. Hold on, why do you know so much about old Japanese medical dramas? Anyway, please her. What the fuck is with her in Japanese culture? Is she a weeb? She's a weeb, right? She's... she's, uh, like a weeb. Hmm. Anyway, please her. You will be waiting at the hospital patient's room. The patient's room? Hmm. Don't really understand, but I might as well head over there. Don't they call those yellow fev uh, fevers, though? Oh, I feel what? like that's more of a yellow fever thing. Yeah. Or Japan. Like you know how it used to be Western people are so into like olden day Japanese cultures like with geishas and samurais and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. I but think she, it's like one of those. But she was talking about medical like uh medical drama. Yeah, yeah so so dramas oh. are like one of the J culture thing. Hmm. You're late, Hajime, looks like you're the last one. Are the others already here? Hmm. There are patient rooms lining the hallway, but everyone is apparently gathered room in the very back. You're not going with them. <laughs> Miss Sonia, as expected from the ultimate princess, she cordially asked me not to she cordially asked me to come. She's very much in touch with the feelings of us common folk. <laughs> Nevertheless, I know my place, and I'm not reckless enough to go along with her. This is gonna be such a touching scene, worthless thing like me. Hmm, touching scene. Hi, Jame, I'm jealous of you. Jealous of me. 
You don't know about what your talent is, but you're showing no distress and you're even opening up to everyone. That must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> nope, not at all. Mm. But still, I do wonder what sort of talent you really possess. Since you dragged it out this long already, I'm sure... Oh, hmm. Who knows? It's not like it's my fault for dragging this out. You're right. I'm sorry for stopping you for such a foolish conversation. <laughs> Please go ahead, take care. After all that, what did he really want to say to me? Hmm, very sus. What the actual fuck? I guess I see why Smile left. Huh. It's a very sus thing to look at. What's in room one? Uh, can't look in these rooms. Only they're in the last room. I can hear voices from the other side of this door. Sounds like they're really in here. I had a feeling something bad was happening again. It's Fuyuhiko. Huh? I couldn't help but raise my voice. You all, look, you all look like you've seen a ghost. Fuyuhiko, are you alright? It's just a scratch. That's not a scratch at all, though. I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. There's no way I'd die from something like this. There's no way I can die. Hey, it's a baby fist. Earlier, I asked Monokuma, and he showed me his medical records. There's a uh, sword related wounds. But they are relatively light wounds, no organ nerve damage. Considering how fiercely he was attacked, this is pretty miraculous. You're a ballsy one. Is this what called Devil's Luck? Nope. Who knows? Maybe it wasn't luck. Maybe Peko gave her life to protect Fuyuhiko. She protected him while she was getting attacked by a horde of... Yeah. But if she really wanted to protect Fuyuhiko at all costs, it's not strange to think that she would have done that. No, I think it's better th Hmm. You think so too? Hmm. There's no way you can die, right? So... Who knows? After forcing out those words, Fury... Yeah. He don't want to talk no more. His wife who dead dead. I think Fuyuhiko should rest for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed. So it'd be bad if he overexerted himself. There's no need to worry. I'll take care of him for the time being. I mean, that's what nurses are for. You hear that, Fuyuhiko? You just relax and get some sleep. I'll be the one who avenges you. <laughs> what the fuck? He's not dead. You shouldn't... Hmm. Akane Fuyuhiko has finally come back to us. You better not do anything reckless. I can't stand the thought of losing someone any longer. I know that. I have to win, right? This is bad. She doesn't understand it all. Then do whatever you want. You're the kind of woman who refused to li listen once uh, you made up your mind. So do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. However, I'm never going to do it to you again. It? Please keep your voices down. Hey, wait a sec, Nekomaru. It was my first time. I never thought something... <laughs> what the fuck? My body cells have forgotten, and now you're saying you're just going to stop all of a sudden? Looks like my body's getting all hot again. Just thinking about it. You're kidding. Is this what I think it is? If you're not, I gotta heed my warning, it is unfortunate, but it's come to an end. Uh, hold on, I can't live without it. With a voice like that, what the fuck? I wonder what was out. He was finally quieted down. Such bad manners to raise your voice inside a hospital. Humans are such foolish creatures. What the fuck? Hey, Hiyoko. It's nothing. Something definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuyuhiko. But I guess it makes sense. Fuyuhiko is the one who got Mahiro killed by Peko. And Hiyoko was nearly framed as her killer. There's no way she's just gonna get over that. Hey, why are you making such a scary face? Like, no matter what it means, it, right? What? He's still talking about it. Suspicious. Definitely suspicious. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no. I don't want to follow them. A fire that didn't... Hmm. I just realized Ibuki has not talked at all. So, Peko's last will. Hmm. It's romantic, but it's just so sad. I shall put my heart and soul into my song. If you make any loud noise, Mikan's going to be mad at you. Did you say something? Now you're too quiet. I can't hear you at all. 
Oh well, I think I should just leave her be. So what should we do? You guys want to call it quits for a day? We can talk about it tomorrow. Please leave you get to me. I'll make sure he's nursed back to health. I'll do my very best. Okay, you're fucking loud. She's still glaring. For now, we decide to call it a day. Headed back to our cottages. Walking around all day wore us out, but the exhaustion we felt, yeah. Hey, Monokumatira. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Skip all this. Ba -da -ba -da. Monokuma has one of the best soundtracks. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Skip all this. It's been a while since I slept a lot. My head feels clear thanks to that. Or I should head over to the restaurant. Hey, let's get some food. Hey, IBK agrees. Hey. Hey, Mikan. Go die. Good morning, Mikan. Uh, let me clean my glasses. Fuck. Mm. Me glasses are dead too. Almost time to meet with everyone at the restaurant. I was about to go as well. I'm so glad I went to check on Fihiko, so I thought I was late. See, so you're busy this morning. Not at all. I'm only useful in this situation like this. Well, it might be better to ask at the restaurant when everybody's together. Hmm. Hey, Gundam. <laughs> For you to actually greet me in the morning, I praise your admirable. Yeah, no. When did I ever become your slave? Speaking of slaves, Peko too was foolish. Huh? I accept her desire to merely remain. Hmm. However, that's a limitation based off creatures. My four dark devas, destructions are not tools, nor are they slaves. They are healthy underlings and also friends whose loyalty is matched by their devotion to my military rule. <laughs> what the fuck? Hmm. That is why I will one day... Ah, <laughs> uh, what the fuck. Hmm, just as I thought. Apparently it's too difficult for a simple. Yeah, me, me no understand. I'm sorry, buddy. Friends, huh? I think he's saying something very cool, but the fact that his friends are hamsters is a bit problematic. Aw, what's wrong with the hamsters? Hey, Nekomaru. Your voice is too <laughs> Project your voice more from your stomach. What the fuck? Jeez, does it have to be like this in the morning? Good morning. All right, now your voice will be... Yeah, no. And to our departed, Mahiro and Fekko. You're right, I'm pretty... I'm sure they heard it. I'm just a mere team... I'm just a mere team manager. Therefore, I don't know anything about art. However, when I saw Mahiro's photos for the first time, my vulgar heart was greatly shaken. Truly, that is a splendid thing. What the fuck? It's a pity what happened to Mahiro, but I will never forget how she taught me the value of art. Hmm. Nekomaru. Ah, such a nice guy. Doesn't it feel like we're being forced to meet up at the restaurant every morning? Ah, give me a sec. I need to sneeze.
ねえ I'm back. Why is it so quiet? Did you like mute himself? Oh, I did mute myself. <laughs> okay, that's all. I was like, oh, weird. I put my earphone in. You're still not speaking. Hmm. The faces of everyone who gathered at the restaurant. Hmm. I like how IBK just didn't say anything. <laughs> what the fuck? He's not your servant. Yee. <laughs> He could be. He could be. How much are you willing to pay him? Mmm. A dime a day. Dang, he's a cheap worker. <laughs> <laughs> what? He just puts it on to BBS. It doesn't even matter. Everyone must be really happy if he goes safe. Day ended halfway yesterday, so let us try to put together information about the new island. You like the new celestial dragon. Hmm. Yeah. Celestial dragons. Hmm. Hmm. One piece. Hmm. In the end, we couldn't even find a way to escape from the island, right? Seriously, you guys are useless. Ah. Uh, who the fuck you think you're talking to? So good. Hmm. I got that, but what about clues? Because we really need it. Yes. Clues like information about this island. Anything that might help us understand what's happening to us. In time with those machines, I found a clue that contains a file inside of one of the laptops. You saw that too. I was told about that by Nagito, so I checked it as well. I saw it too. It's about the fact that Hopi's Academy has already been destroyed. Hopi's Academy has been destroyed? Yeah, this is not new. It's probably just another one of Monokuma's pranks. There's no way Hopi's Academy would fall. Aren't you fucking Makoto, you little shit? Oh! <laughs> 
Uh. I'm sorry, I'm eating Oreos. And shut up. Don't you dare cough like that. <laughs> what the f- oh! <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. A symbol of hope getting destroyed. It's not something like, hmm. <laughs> hmm. You don't have to correct us each time. Yes, we do. However, it's not all bad news. Fuhiko will be able to return to us. That guy pisses me off, but it sure makes me happy to think he's going to come back to us. He's recovering extremely well. Pretty sure he's he could be discharged in one week. However... He's probably lost the use of his right eye forever. He totally deserves that. Aren't you going a little too far? Man, I sure did eat today. Mm, Smog, can, can you eat more than uh, Akane? You certainly eat a lot uh, without even listening to what others are saying. Smile, comments. She eats like nonstop though. Mm. If I don't do it, I won't get stronger. I have to do it. Bye now. She looks really pumped. I hope she's not thinking about doing anything bad. With that, our morning meetup ended, etc. Training, you say? Now then, what should I do today? Free time, free time. Why the fuck is Monokuma wearing a sombrero? That's so fucking racist. Ugh. How was wearing a sombrero racist? How was being smart collector like racist? Exactly. Now prove your point. But with that profile pic, you are just very sus. But that's not racist. That is definitely, it's something. You're sus. It's something. You're sus. I mean, with that profile pic, <laughs> you're also sus. What do you mean? Can't have one woman. Always have to cheat. Have many legs. Wait, profile pic? <laughs> For what? This gold. That? Akame? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have I ever changed my profile pic? On like a certain toe that we know? Yet, Yet you call yourself a Rukia simp. Shame mm. on you. Hmm. Hmm. Am I just a Rukia simp though? Yeah, you're just a Rukia simp. Yes. You're just a Rukia simp. Oh, I was arguing with somebody. Who has better legs? Neliel or Matsumoto? Matsumoto doesn't really show her legs other than the swimsuit though, right? Yeah, no, no, no. The reason why... I don't know if I sent you this. Give me a sec. Then again, you don't play this game, so it's kind of just like... I guess you wouldn't know about it, but still. Immortal Souls? Yes. Bam, bam, bam. I have the character too. I'm just like, huh. Where is she at? Can I actually just look at her art? So I'm not gonna lie, the Monokuma. Hmm. Soundtrack, pretty nice, pretty nice. But why were you arguing about both of their legs? That's kind of weird. Hmm. No, it's not. You fucking sims. And your point? <laughs> uh, funny, funny. Hmm. Oh my god! Here we go. Save photos. Now send it to Smile Collector. I can actually just sit here and listen to Monokuma soundtrack all day. <laughs> uh, there you go. At least the art is better than BBS. Yeah, I wouldn't say better. That's a, that's a low quality one. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not talking about the quality. I'm talking about the angle. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. If you're wondering what I was comparing it to, uh, Parasol Nell. Parasol Nell. She got Which legs. Which one did you start with? Parasol Nell. She got legs. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is like legs. <laughs> I mean, have you seen them legs? 
the game like so fine. <laughs> Hold up, let me let me like just go look at Parasol now. You tell me. See, here's the thing though. The angle difference, right? Nell is co it's viewing really from like bottom up. Yeah. To the side. So it looks thicker in comparison mm -hmm. with that angle. You look me like game legs. <laughs> Do you not side with the legs? I mean hmm. I was never a leg person. Have you seen Sakura's leg? Now that's a leg. <laughs> Sakura? What the fuck? <laughs> Sakura? I didn't know that you were that big of a Naruto simp, huh? No, not that one. The useful one. <laughs> uh, but didn't you see? Sakura was on now, the... Now, these are legs. The, pop, the popularity. <laughs> the, po the popularity ranking, Smile. Sakura was up oh, there. Oh, yeah. That, that one is... Uh, that one is nothing. Dang, look at their legs. I like... Hmm. <laughs> look at them legs, you look. I can't even see them. Is that Junko? What the fuck? Uh, I think that was a portrait of Junko. Why is it pixelated? Uh, hey, toilet paper. I need that in real life. Uh, we're on a shortage again. Really? I don't know. How? How the fuck are you on a shortage? I don't know. You don't lick, know. bad boy. What do you mean? Oh, they do I have would... Sakura's figure. I did not know that existed. Would you buy it? Wait, is it available? <laughs> God damn. God damn. <laughs> I'm low key thinking about it. <laughs> hmm. Shoes. Why am I buying this all out? God damn. Da -da -de -de -da -da. Boom. Boom. The fuck is up with the chameleons? Like, damn. What a go M second. Ah, uh, fuck this. Take this. Okay, I'll stop now. Hmm. <laughs> what? Dang. That is some fast figurine. <laughs> Wait, what? Show me. Yeah. Here, Amazon. <laughs> Amazon, what the fuck are you on? Oh shit, give me. Uh, yeah, I need. Hmm. It didn't copy. Give me a sec. Wait, Amazon, you sent me a gift? No, no, no. It's. I think Amazon has like a protective layer over it. Okay. But yeah, here you go. Yeah, <laughs> this is what I found. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's $33. IBK I would definitely like, love that. Uh, I was like, what the heck? I, I low-key want it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> uh, where would you display that? That's... Uh. Yeah, yeah, just like put it on the front door. Just <laughs> accept your presence. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? But mm. dang, that shit is buff. <laughs> what the fuck? Hmm. IBK, I am not the sus one here. Just know that. What? But you're the sus man. Na 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 na, sus man. Let's Don't go. hate on sus man. Truly sus. Yeah, hey, Papa. Yeah. Why would I hate you? Hmm. Oh, hello, Parker. How you doing? I'm eating my cookies. Truly sus indeed. Hmm. Oh, there really haven't been a lot of chats, have they? What? I'm just looking at these figurines from Amazon. Why Amazon? Hmm. Because for some reason it has the lowest price listed. I don't know why. For some reason Amazon only has like some of the uh... They mostly promote Van Presto. No, this is new. Why is it so cheap? Interesting. Hmm. Why the fuck do I have a gag ball? Why Damn. is it only $100? Hmm. You make it sound like $100 is cheap. What the fuck? Well, I mean, okay, so the other places have like 150 and above. Like, why the fuck is it only 100 bucks? Hmm. Are you okay there, buddy? 
For me? Oh, hell no. No, no, no. Parker says he's tired. Oh, I know God. you're also tired, but you had your coffee. Yeah, I had my coffee. Coffee, coffee. Coffee's amazing, I say. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Coffee is truly really magnificent. Like... You're like, do my chronicle quest for me, please. Oh, fuck this, off. This shit's getting annoying. Fuck off. <laughs> this shit low-key getting kind of annoying. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you can have this, I guess. Can I really have this? Once I accept this, I'll never return it to you, no matter what. You look pretty bummed, aren't you? Are you eating? My name is Hajime. Did she just call me Hank? Huh? You're, you're Dank Hill? What? I was not aware of this. Hank Hill? And Baka, look at the figurine. Dank Hill. My name is Hajime. <laughs> what the f More importantly, why are you so Isn't it obvious? There's yummy food and soft blankets in my room. What? This place is way better than when I grew up. Seriously, even even in this kind of situation. It's not strange to find a dead body at the dump in the morning. Just join Masaki runs. Ah, uh, he said Chronicle Quest. Ah, huh, I guess I became a surgery smile. Oh, okay, uh, Chronicle Quest. Uh, I'm done with the ER. A trashy place where crappy people are all swept together. Stuff like that happens all the time. How can you say, like, hmm, what kind of environment was she raised in? Anyway, since we never had any money, I did whatever I could to earn cash. I even sold my used panties to this no nosy pig. <laughs> what the fuck? By the time I was able to legally work part-time, I didn't have to run away anymore. So when you mentioned parkour before, you were talking about that. That probably just laid the foundation for being a gymnast. Smile that figurine is worth. <laughs> what the fuck? What kind of part-time job right? you do? Well, but you probably just okay, look at the complete collection. I did I'll send to you too if you like. Look at the complete collection of this. What the actual fuck? <laughs> I was like, what that is this? That fucking there? side dog. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, my mom's boyfriends always push me to do weird jobs, huh? At first, one of them told me I needed to serve food, but I never expected he'd tell me to do like that. Pretty sure Akane was talking about being a waitress, but what kind of waitress? Cosplay? Did he make you cosplay? Cosplay? Is that tasty? What did he tell her to do? Roller skater? No panties? The fuck? Huh? What happened? Ah, uh, well. Anyway, I didn't know what to do. He told me to do it without my panties, you know? That doesn't make any sense, right? There's no way you could do something like that. Of course. Right, that would definitely make your stomach cold. What the fuck? <laughs> You should put it on your roof. Uh. What? Man, you're annoying. Talking to you has made me hungry. Oh, what the fuck? Alright, guess it's time for me to... Yeah. Smile. Akane has lived a weird life. Yeah. And thanks to that, she has a bombastic body. Hmm. Yeah, getting massaged by strangers. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And all the fat going to the right places. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Mm, I don't like massages, though. It's just me. I love them. They're quite nice. Mm, Mr. I, uh, I invested a lot of money into my massage gun. A lot of money? Hey, did sure, you buy, like, yeah, three? yeah. A lot, lot of money. Didn't you buy, like, <laughs> yeah, three? Sure. Sure, a lot of money. That was for gift. <laughs> this is exactly. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, you fucking millionaire. Uh, you <laughs> actually know you're a billionaire. You're you're well, richer. No. You're richer than Jeff Bezos. Bezos would. Oh yes, yes, yes. Jeff Bezos. Yeah, he works for me apparently, right? Yes, yes. That would be funny. Wait, if he, if he actually worked for you, what would you make him do? Uh, what would I make him do? Hmm. Like, would you make him the poorest man on the planet, just as a joke? I would secretly implant military chips to drones of Amazon drones. Inside his head? No, I mean on the drones. Ha. Huh. And Very make him sus. rebellious at one point. <laughs> hmm. I guess you just hate Jeff Bezos. Hmm, good to know. 
His last name is Bezos, for crying out loud. Although, I guess his first name makes up for it. Hmm. I just don't get why a lot of, mil like, like Bill Gates and him going through divorce. I'm like, what the fuck is this timing? Oh, yeah. Flats gets uh, made a cartoon about Bill Gates' divorce. Apparently, he has a bunch of uh, Taiwanese uh, lady boys in his like, closet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Flats gets. I'll, I'll send you a link. Oh. I lost focus and got killed. You don't really have to worry about it. I mean, I was doing pretty well, but... I, hmm. First start getting you that far. Hmm. Hmm. Did I ruin Pac-Man? Were you secretly about to hit the, uh... Hmm. The no memory side of the game. I'm so surprised Pac-Man did not have an ending. Huh. Interesting. Are you talking about the original? Yeah. Yeah, it's just infinite level. Yep. It just gets faster. It, it basically just gets faster and faster. And then at some point it has no memory. Mm hmm Hmm. I wonder if they... Hmm. Hmm. Why couldn't they just make an ultra... Like... I mean, they had the arcade machines. Why? Why couldn't they just make an ending? Not like the original creator, but like somebody, somebody eventually down the line. Hmm. Oh well. I mean, usually they just don't touch those. Seriously? If you is it sensitive? So you know, even the uh, I actually don't know the reason why they don't. I guess it has to do with the copyright reason, like the original creator versus someone who wants to modify it. It's like always a thing. But then again, like even remakes don't do that. Like if you look at Pokemon games, right? Like, uh, original Pokemon games. Yeah. You know how they port it out to, like, Switch and everything now? They use the same exact fucking coding as back then. Hmm. Hmm. Because I... You know the meme with Pokemon, right? Like, they don't do anything different in Pokemon games. Hence yeah, when they port excited. it, they literally don't do anything different. Hence they just why we're bring looking, it over. Yeah, hence why we're looking forward to Arceus. You know? Mm -hmm. Don't know about, like, the Diamond and Pearl remake. Or how you guys feel about that. Because well, recently, I tried to do the Mew glitch, right? Like, how to capture a Mew. Yep. In uh, Pokemon, I think, Green? Uh, yeah, yeah, the, 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 the newer version, right? And it works. It still works. <laughs> they didn't patch a single thing. Hmm. I'm just wondering what's going through Chieki's head. Legendary tree. Me go sleep. Good night, Praka. Night, night, Parker. As for you, you have a good rest. As for your Mew glitch, why are you doing glitches? Because we wanted to test if he can bring Mew from that version over to the newer Pokemon version. Hmm. Yeah, but but they they blocked it. You can't do that. Hmm. Did that make Smile sad? A little bit. <laughs> what the? Fuck? It takes a little bit of time, you know. You need to go to uh, Misty's gym, so you have to get to the second gym. Hmm. Is this a new game or something? I opened the piece of paper Chiaki gave me. Do I really have to choose? Hmm. Celebrating the ocean. Happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> Isn't that a song? Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy. I'm selecting Isn't this. Isn't that Ren and Stimpy? I forget. Is that it? Oh, there's... Hold up. What, where is that song from? I know it exists. I think it's Ren and Stimpy. Happy, happy. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is definitely Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> God damn. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, I found it. Definitely fucking yes, found it. Yes, what the fuck? <laughs> Apparently my father also wasn't good at things like this. I see, so this is what it feels like. Hmm... After spending some time, I realized something for the first time. Hmm. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. What happened? Your face is red, Hajime. Nothing happened. Just I thought there's still a bunch of stuff I don't know about. Hmm. Oh, look at them hearts. <laughs> yeah. Why is this taking so long? 
don't know why Chiaki would say something like that, but there's no denying. Uh, I'll definitely get out of here and take care of Chiaki. It Chia would be a shame if she's one of the ones who dies. Hey, <laughs> I completed the Hope Fragment. Chiaki's hey. report card. You just unlock cheat code. Give yourself a pat on the back. Wait, what the fuck? Did I just obtain panties? Yes. <laughs> you get all the panties, you little pivot. <laughs> uh, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> After discussing different ideas. Oh, uh, what the fuck? I was like, huh? Then it's just, oh, no, you just unlocked a fragment. Ba ba ba, it's 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms. Sweet dreams. Yeah, 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 yeah. The usual stuff. Ugh, it has been quite a while. Monokuma, Monokuma, Monokuma. Oh, wait. Oh. oh. What? What happened? Oh, never mind. No, nothing, nothing. Don't worry about it. But, but Shmeel. Okay, how would you feel if somebody snuck into your room while you were asleep, Smile? In a death, in a death game? Oh, in a death game. Uh, yeah, I was about to say that happens way too often. <laughs> 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 like, imagine you're stuck on an island and anybody can kill you. Someone sneaks into your room. What do you do? <laughs> uh, you be a white beard and you punch the fuck out of them off the ship. Yeah. <laughs> But would you punch a girl, Smile? Would you punch Ibuki? Would you punch that Wait, face? Wait, what? Why would you not punch a girl? No, it's I mean, self-defense. Like, Ibuki? Uh, just because she has a pussy doesn't mean she has, like, the almighty barrier. No, I mean, she's just punches. Ibuki. Like, she's okay, not, okay. She's I'm not, not right in the head. Sim. You're an Ibuki, sim. No, I meant, like, <laughs> she literally looks like she has a mental issue. That's why I was just like, can I punch her? <laughs> like, well, if you want to punch her, go ahead. If you want to choke her, go ahead. No, I mean, yeah, like, sure. hmm, I guess Mal doesn't feel about feel bad about hitting disabled people. Okay, good to know. She's not disabled. She seems like it. Just because they're disabled doesn't mean they don't have the right to not get punched. Uh, good morning. Looks like today. Okay, so I know what Smile does on a daily basis. Hmm. Mm. Mm. I, I guarantee Smile wanted to punch a robot in his uh, old human form. I'm an equalist, sure. If he's a dick about it, why not? What a huge success. I received a nice re What the fuck? How'd you get in here? Hajime, you're so careless. Careless, I made sure I locked the door. I destroyed that worthless lock. What the fuck? <laughs> I would, uh... No, you, like, control your waifu. This is why I have a gun to my side. Uh... Why'd you destroy it? Man, who cares? More importantly, there's something important I need to tell you. What? Four, eh? No, that was just three. If you've got time to nitpick others, then hurry up and meet me at the restaurant. I'll explain the details there, so I'm counting on you. Could you not have just told me that in a normal way? What the fuck? You really control your life, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm feeling a bit. I would be scared. In all honesty. Oh, that's cute. What? That someone broke in? And again, yeah. deathmatch game? Mm. Like, imagine well, someone cute. like Nakamaru broke into your place. Like, what the fuck? Oh, that's kind of cute. Like, you, the immediate reaction would be where's my shotgun? Shotgun? <laughs> Why was you point a shotgun at a, I don't know, two meter long man? Wait, how tall is he? Is I have he, no idea. Is he taller than Sakura? <laughs> is he stronger than Sakura? Mm. I have no idea, you like. <laughs> Even if you ignore me, I'm already happy that our eyes have met. You really are a kind person. I'm going to, uh... Oh, did you know that, uh, Tana, Tana actually said, Oh yeah, don't play Bleach. Play Danganronpa so I can see my husband, uh, Nagito. I'm like, huh. Huh. Why? Why is this guy so important, Smile? Explain. There, there are other people here. Just saying. Uh, I'm pretty sure Tana wants his dick inside her. But what about Chubby Byak? Ch Chubby Byak is a nice guy. Yeah, but he has a tiny dick. So what can you do about it? But Chubby Not so Byak. popular with the ladies. Chubby Byak? What do you mean? What about Toko? Toko? Wait, Toko? Was, was it Toko? What's her name? 
She, she's not gonna be like, hmm. Hmm. Anyway, after what, what happened, yeah. after what happened to Fuyuhiko, you understand what I was saying a little better now. What do you mean? Fuyuhiko involved himself in Peko's execution. Hmm. He used Peko's death as a step ladder so he could shine even brighter and cling to even stronger hope. You... You don't agree? Hmm. Oops, we should chat later. No, we really shouldn't. Please go away. Hmm. Oh, by the way, how did you like the gameplay for this? The walking around and everything? Hmm. Wait, what? Found my rope? Yeah, I'm just like, I, I noticed, I don't like the 2D version of it. The side scroller. Hmm. Me no likey. Oh, it's you, Hajime. You also signed by Ibuki? Yeah, seems so. Hmm. Are you talking about between place, place to place when Hajime is running around? Yeah. Hero Island? Mm hmm Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of people... Well, that's a meme, though. Yeah, I know. That's my point. This man got... This man he, runs for he's days. He's like... Yeah, he runs for days, and he's, like, running super fast. Inhumane speeds. Yes. No, that never happened. I was awakened by a knock on my door at 337. Clapping rhythm. Some shouting. That sounds extremely annoying. Was I the only one who got... Hmm. But for her to go to the trouble of waking us up, what in the world happened? I have a very bad feeling about this. How would you feel if somebody like Ibuki woke you up in an annoying way? Uh, I will plan my revenge. Lead pipe? Okay, lead pipe. Why lead pipe? There are fine. worse things in this game. Mm. Okay, fine. Hammer and nails to a fingernail? There we go. Try rusted nails. Mm. <laughs> uh, 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 okay, okay, buddy. Hmm. Good morning. I'm so glad today is another clear, sunny day. She, uh, can I kill her? Actually, now that you mention it, ever since we came to the silence, it hasn't rained once. Why is that? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder why. Wonder why indeed. Did they get rid of the shrine? No, that shrine is still fucking there. What the fuck? When I arrived at the restaurant, the first thing I saw was everyone's backs as if they were forming a circle around something. Hey, what happened? As I picked over everyone's shoulder. I got something I want to say. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is that stance? Vihiko, is it okay for you to be moving around like this? Well, he shouldn't be. Whatever I say after this point, I apologize in advance if I make a mistake. My last name is Kazuryu. My first name is pronounced Uyuhiko. I'm still an experienced member to my family's business from from this point forward. I hope we get along so we can get to know each other better. Uh, can we kill Babyface? So, if you're wondering what that pose is, that's actually Yakuza's pose of self-introduction. You're saying? Yes. Huh? It's nothing really, just a greeting. There's no way that was just a greeting. And yet I feel like that was the first time Bihiko ever greeted us. <laughs> Um, that eye patch of yours. It's nothing. There's no way that's nothing since that eye is no longer. So you can't see out of it, huh? It's only one eye. Besides, don't... Hmm. Fihiko. Why are you acting cool and stuff? Don't you understand the position you're in right now? Do you really think we'll forgive you that easily for what you did? Don't you get it? It's your fault Mahiro's dead. No, not just Mahiro. Peko died because of you too. It's all your fault. I'm Kyoko. We've finally been able to get together with everyone. So what if we're all here? You better not say we're friends. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy. There's no joy, way a killer like him will ever be our friend. Yeah, you're right. It's my fault. I already know that it's my fault for those two are dead. Are you planning to just to give us? Hmm. It's not that. I see squeeze out the words for you. He'll suddenly collapse to the ground. Huh? What the heck? Hey, don't mess with me. Do you really think we're gonna forgive you if you just drop to your knees and cry? Do you really think that half house apology will make us forget what you've done? No, I don't think that at all. Wait, what the fuck? Huh? This is...
has slit his own stomach, huh? Are you saying he cut his own freaking stomach? I don't think I'd be forgiven with such a half-assed apology. If I don't do this, my feelings won't feel resolved. You feel that one? <laughs> what the fuck? Did he actually cut his own... Ah, uh, you're right, Kazuchi. Let me your hand. Stop it. I can walk there myself. There's no way you can walk. What the f Even though I took the time to patch you up, now I need to sew your wounds all over again. I feel so ashamed in the end. I made trouble for everyone again. Oh my fucking god. He's apologizing. He's <laughs> holding his own... Oh, uh, okay. Okay, I can Would you forgive him? Nice. I would just call him stupid for that, <laughs> to be honest. But would you forgive him? Uh, forgiveness takes time. Forgiveness takes, eh. Forgiveness takes time. Jesus. Who cares about that? Let's go. The others cared for you. He goes out of the restaurant. But for those of us who were left there. Well, this is awkward. How should I start the conversation? <laughs> she kind of is the reason he slid his own stomach. Or was he already planning on doing it? Either way, <laughs> I feel like she escalated it. So, happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> ha. Hey, Hiyoko, I've been thinking about this for a while, but what would Mashiro say about all this? I know you guys were best friends, so what do you think? What would, would Mahiro say? What would Mahiro say? She'd probably get mad, really mad. And after she got mad... I, it's definitely possible. There's no way it'd be easy to move on. You never had to think about the death. Yeah, whatever. So we're forced to suddenly confront it. There's no way we'd know. Hmm. Hmm. hmm this is a rare occurrence. If you're thinking about saying something inappropriate again, now's not the best time. No, it's not that. Does anyone know where Akane is? Now that you mention it, she's gone. It's so strange for her not to join us for breakfast. I have a bad feeling about that too. A bad feeling. I mean, she's been acting a little weird these past few days. She's always weird, but I'm a little worried though. She's not the one I'm worried about. Hmm. An awkward feeling lingered as we finished breakfast. Soon after, we will decide to return to our cottages. Free time? I've never felt so fatigued in the morning before. It's probably because of everything that's happened, but I should put those feelings. Yeah, whatever. Why is it free time? The fuck? That makes no sense. Hmm. Weird. I like how small is just quiet now. Also pets. I'm trying to shop. You're what? Trying to shop. You and your figures. God damn it. Hmm. Give me a sec. Wait, what? Figurines? Yeah, Maybe you... I should shop for that too. Mm, don't do that. Don't do that. Save your money. Let's see. Amazon. Her twig. Hey, more Eevees, I guess. Try to shop for spices, Yule. Why the fuck are you shopping for spices? Uh, because I'm running low. Oh, you're gonna cook a Yule. Okay, good to know. Oh yeah, come on over. Uh, just, just you know, it will not be so painful. Is there actually yeah. a a country that eats hedgehogs? Hmm. Would be surprised. I wonder if there are. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know, when you're hungry, you can basically eat anything. You're made out of meat. Hmm. What the fuck? Why the f- Whoa, what? Huh? Hmm. Dang it, wrong button. We don't go down. It's... Hmm. Akane is alive, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Uh, what the fuck? Happy, happy, joy, joy. Why do you like that song? It got stuck in my head just because it got <laughs> brought off the stream. Uh, just like sus man. Uh, sus man. The greatest man. You like loves this sus man. But sus man is the greatest man. He is. Yeah. Would you suck his dick? Shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> why why do you always have to ruin things hmm, hmm, hmm. did i ruin her or did i enhance for you i feel like you would ruin a funeral uh that's just me though hmm. 
he was a good man. A little bit retarded, but he was a good man. <laughs> Are you okay there, buddy? Yeah, it's fine. I... Hmm. Do you, do you need me to help you? Hmm. Maybe I should play some, like, really fun songs, right? Please Mimi don't. songs at a funeral. Please, please don't. <laughs> hmm. I said at a funeral. Hmm. Smile will probably laugh at my death. Hmm. You know what? That's fine. Bring laughter to everyone. Bring smiles. Mm -hmm, right? I would imagine if you die, you probably fucked up. So it's probably your whole fault. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. How is that my fault? Hmm? Uh, you probably tripped in a... I don't know. What if I, I get know. shot in the face? Yeah, you probably, like, fuck some lady boy, and then he got angry and probably shot you in the face. Yeah. I okay. Mean, it's kind of funny, right? You. Second of all, where the fuck are you getting this from? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Second of Bill all. Bill Gates, man. Bill Gates. Wait, Bill Gates got shot in the face by a ladyboy hooker? No, no, no. It, it's his asset. Why the fuck is she in the storage room? Second of all, small killing people for assets? And what the fuck is up with the lighting in here? Why wouldn't you come people Wait, for assets? Wait, is the game glitching? What's this? What? What? Huh? Hmm? Is that supposed to be like that? What? The yellow thing by Ibuki. Which one? Is that just the lighting? No, it can't be. Why is it all pixelated? Hmm. Just look at it. Ah. Hiko sank into the sea of blood. What should I do? Uh, just give her a musical instrument. Oh my god, there's blood everywhere. What's with you in the final countdown, man? It's the final countdown. <laughs> like, I'm just like, do you, do you actually enjoy that song? It's, uh, it's counting down. Oh, that's an ass. Mm, why are you looking at donkeys? Donkeys look weird. Not gonna lie. But donkeys. Donkey. Donkey. Hmm. Let's see. Full Where set dice. Oh, that's a dice. Hmm. On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your pain? Radio. Hmm. For the retro exterior. Hmm. Dude, black magician girl. Dang. Hmm. What? I don't have that. Hmm. Tropical instruments, both sides, sounds changing. You know what? She can have this. I don't care. Do you like your Ruby figurine, by the way? Me? The I haven't opened mm -hmm. it up. Why? Wait, uh, but you can't see, like, what's inside, right? Because it's all... Yep. What is it? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's what I was asking. It's all wrapped up, so I can't really see it, see it properly. Oh, I mean, yeah, you could just uh, take off the wrap. So it's it's kind of in a gla well, plastic case. It's all uh, transparent. Yeah. So you can I'm, look I'm, at it inside completely. I'm waiting for that uh, display case, so... No, I mean, like, you don't have to open the box, is oh. what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, okay. Like, the, the box is transparent, so you can see the whole full figurine. Hmm. But why do you ask? Hmm. And that's, I was wondering. Okay. Uh, because... Yeah, like, like, I haven't opened it yet, too, but you can see the whole figurine inside. Yeah, that's hmm. what I was wondering. That's correct. It's all about that. The band members performing a singular unit. That's the ideal live concert. That's where the greatest music is made. Hmm. So your training today is to roll your eyes to the back of your head. <laughs> Can you actually do that? Hmm. Also, you gotta learn to break guitars and how to use as uh, uh, huh? Pig guts? Hmm. I have a word for you, you know? If you're able to withstand the training, I'll make your stage costume. With the bitches, sus. Hmm. After being bombarded with weird topics, exhausted, return to my room. Can we continue with the story? Please, no more free time. Uh, but please, more free time. 
Is Fuyuhiko even alive? Hmm. That's not Fuyuhiko. Here he is. Go away. We're whatever your name is. Ah, oh, you did with us. Oh, by the way, smile. Aliens. Hmm. Very sus. What about aliens? Hmm. Everything about this place is sus. Can I go upstairs? Oh, you can. Conference room. Staff room. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Who else can we talk to? Kane, Uki again. Hmm. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, what the fuck? Wonder what Mahiro would do. Spent time being verbally abused by Hyoko, but she seemed less abusive than usual. Looks like Hyoko grew closer. She's gonna kill you eventually, so you might as well just uh take the first hit. Where's the gun? Dang, dang. Why do you have to be so negative, sir? Uh. Just, just kill her. <clears throat> Use carrot. What the fuck? What has she done? She's an innocent child. Ah, innocent. Innocent, you say. Innocent. Huh, interesting. She didn't kill anyone. Not yet, at least. That you know of. Japanese sake that contains no alcohol. Is that actually a... S <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Wait, what's the item? Uh, Lust Setsu Geka. The Japanese like that contains no alcohol despite being alcohol free. It still gets you. What? <laughs> is this what? a thing in they, real they, life or is that just. <laughs> they, they have such thing? What? I, I don't know. Agara. <laughs> the... <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Junko. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a piece of trash. Oh, well, I guess I'll take it. Oh, I accidentally gave it to her. I was trying to read the description. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, I've been thinking ever since I first met you. You have a shady looking face. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you have a shady looking face. And you look like the kind of person yo, who's yo, too lazy to try hard. And not only that, I think you're hopeless for coming after me like some pedo pervert. Uh, if you think I have a shady looking face, well, I guess I can't. I can let that slide. But you better take back that last part when you... Yeah. <laughs> I like how she just cries over everything. Uh. Crap, there's no way I can leave her alone. She's acting like this. Just walk away. Just You know what? Just chill with Monokuma. He's, he seems more fun. Okay? Actually, wait. Smile, who would you rather hang out with? Monokuma with the chance of death or Hyoko? Then if you're really sorry, can you buy me the thing I like? The what? The heck? How the fuck am I supposed to know this? Fine, what do I have to buy? Doesn't she just like gummy candies? It's shaped like a star and it's small, it's cute, and it's sweet. She's probably talking about... Shaped like a star? Wait, what? Candy? Wrong, it's not... Wait, what? Candy? Wait, what? Small, what is confito? Hmm? Is that actually a thing? Confito. Confito? Uh, Google, help me. It's like that, uh, the star-shaped, uh, candy. That's colorful. It's, it's, yeah, it's a sugar candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, why do I have to buy it? Just so you know, you won't find that thing in the supermarket. Oh, really? 
Jeez, Hajime, you're such a pushover. You totally promised me without realizing it was impossible. You even got tricked by my fake crying. So she can die, right? Why do you want to kill her? Mm hmm. He's such an actually, now I think about it, what the fuck? She does actually seem similar to Junko in terms of like the hairpin and the hairstyle. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Smile. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, she is not Junko. Just letting you know. <laughs> yeah, I know she's not Junko. <laughs> oh my god, the way you react. <laughs> I said similar, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She has no relation to uh, Junko and Shima. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Jeez, you're so hopeless. I guess I'll go easy on you and make you bring me something else. Uh, what the fuck? Let's see. Go steal Sonia's panties for me. Are you trying to make me a criminal? Bitch, bitch, bring me Gundam's earring then. Criminal. <laughs> Uh, so just hypothetically, right? Smile. If if she's ta if she talked to you like that, right? W would you not kill her, or at the very oh, least, like just no. smack, kill no. <laughs> hmm. w would you? I would you kill anyone. Hmm. I would probably trick Monokuma into trolling her. <laughs> and you better steal it. I don't want you to borrow it. You don't really want it, do you? You just trying to make me suffer. Oh, what the fuck? Just let me bring you a different snack. I'll get you something you like. But they don't have anything cute there. I gotta have something cute like flower candies are made from refined Japanese sugar. Buzz! Uh, wait, is that actually a thing? Mm -hmm. Like sugar candies? Like just flat out sugar? Yeah, yeah. So what I what I told you before, the, the star candy, whatever you call it, they're just made out of sugar. Hmm. There's no way you can eat those kinds of traditional candies here. It's, it's like a like, very old Nate candy, though. I mean, you would expect because it's just sugar candy. Mm. And they're still popular? Uh, yeah, I still see them around. I don't, I wouldn't say popular because we have better things now, right? Uh, are they just easy to make then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I'm like, what's the point of making them then? They're so small, sparkles, and cute. I love them so much. You know, nostalgia. Like, a lot of old people eat it still. Boring sweets are made with too much sugar, so they're perfect for uncultured idiots. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with her? It's just candy. It's- oh my god. This is Hiyoko after all, I guess I just have to accept it, but I do- It's fucking can- are you- it is. Then again, I'm picky with sweet. It's not- not like that, though. I think anybody would just, like, get turned off. It's- actually, no, I take that back. I, I watched Overlord with you. What's her face? Um... The girl that put too much fucking cream in her coffee or tea or whatever the fuck it was. Oh, Henry. Yeah, I was like, I guess I know people like that. I'm like, it's, it's, that's uh, that's that's too much there. <laughs> like, does like there has to be a limit, right? And he's something can be too sweet, right? To the point where you get yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Like a lot of the well, mm, yeah. If you just eat straight sugar, maybe. Hmm. Ever since I arrived at this island, the day passes by normally fast. Does that mean someone's here? Didn't you break my fucking lock? Nice to meet ya. It's past tense for nice to meet you. Hmm. Buki, you again. Allow me to apologize surprising you with my sudden visit. I'm sorry. Hmm. It's a lot better than the last time when you broke into my room. You must be the type who hold grudges. My ears and joints hurt. That means you got gout. Hmm. So what do you want? Ibuki doesn't get it either, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. An invitation? See this thing. Invitation ticket, 9pm. A titty typhoon. <laughs> Party for Fihiku Kuzuri's. Ha. Uh. Ha. Uh. What is this? Is this Monokuma's doing again? How rude. Don't put that in the same category as Monokuma. Is this your doing? I don't know what you're talking about at all. Ibuki just brought... <laughs> it is definitely her. Well, then Ibuki has some preparation, so I'll go out. Hmm. She even said preparation. She's completely behind this. Titty Typhoon. Is that music revenue? 9pm. That's in 30 minutes. But even though it's a party for Yuhiki's recovery. Hmm. 
But she took the trouble to do this out of goodwill. I guess I should head over to the music venue. I kind of don't want to. Can I just sleep in, Smo? Can, can I look at whatever, uh... Hmm. Whatever catastrophe that comes out of this. Can I just focus on it tomorrow? Hmm. <laughs> do what you need. Hmm. Map. Bam, bam. Let's see. Music venue. Why can't I just teleport there? Oh, fuck off. Oh. Who else is here? Hey, Gundam and Nag Nagito. Yes. Two sus people. Looking invited you too, right? Yeah, I'm honored, but since everyone else is also going to be there celebrating for you because recovery, no matter what I think, it's too rude for someone like me to go inside. <laughs> hmm. Believe me, I'm not worried. Hmm. Gundam. Tonight's con- hmm. She has two different colored eyes, I just, uh. Now then, let us begin the ceremony of darkness. Uh. I wonder if I've ever met someone in real life with two different colored eyes. Hmm. The cosmic eye is a quite rare thing, I think. Several people had already arrived at the music venue, but... Vihiko, why are you... Huh? What? Is it bad I came? It's not that. Is it okay for you to move around? Yeah, it's nothing. There's no way you're okay. You're seriously injured. They took time to throw a party for me. There's no way I wouldn't come. I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't overwork yourself. I'm not overdoing it. Fine, then just let him do whatever he wants. But it's fine. Just let him be. Apparently, Yakuza have pain tolerance down to, to, to an art. I can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of event. Yofi, he could probably wouldn't have even come, no matter how much we invited him. He's probably trying his best to change. But it looks like Hyoko definitely didn't come. That seems to be the case. And Akane's not here, too. As if on cue, that's when Nakamaru expressed his unease, that's when it happened. Ah. Oh my, suddenly the stage lit up. There you go. Uh, she's actually saying, just as I thought, that's, hmm. Well, she is the ultimate musician after all. I can't imagine what else she, <laughs> what the fuck? So put your hands together from me to you. She was originally a member of high school girls band that dominated the music charts. I could probably look forward to that. Hmm. Wait, was I supposed to listen to that? I just skipped it. Thank you. I'm gonna get cursed. <laughs> Such an over- Wait! <laughs> Should I have skipped that? <laughs> what the fuck? These reactions. <laughs> I too am starting to feel chills. With a title like From Me To You, I thought it was going to be Sweet Love Song. <laughs> I should probably go find the actual fucking music video, huh? If I recall the reason why Ibuki left the high school girls band was... Creative differences. That must be why. It's awesome, that's the first time I've heard such a famous song. Kiyoko, where the fuck she got? You came. So what if I did? I was invited to, you know? But if you're attending Fuyuko's recovery party, that means you've already... Are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. There's no way to forgive him that easily. Because he's a Yakuza, you know? He's the type of person who preys on people by tricking them. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Look at yourself! <gasps> oh my god. He's probably pretending to be sorry so he can trick us again. There's no way that is possible. I get why she'd think that of me. Yeah, that's right. That's why we're never going to believe you. Get it? That doesn't mean we've made up. Hmm. Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one to get cut off. Sorry. I'm glad. I'm really glad. Don't cry, pig. I have no rights to cry. <laughs> what the fuck? See if Yuhiko isn't, isn't the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying. Huh? The old Hiyoko, there's no way she would ever forgive Yuhiko like this. 
Hey, what are you looking at? Nothing. Somehow, even though it's little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. That's all the more reason to worry about him. Monokuma, there's no way he's gonna do not do anything. Hmm. How much longer are you gonna keep? You guys gonna be bummed out? Came all the way here because you said it was a party. Come on, Ibuki, hurry up, start the next song. Ah, uh, please don't. Ah, uh, uh, there's still more. Hmm. Grab a partner, slow dance. I squeezed out. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Karma? No, <laughs> no more. <laughs> I like how he's literally begging for it. Like, no, no more. <laughs> like, how bad was it? Hey, what's everyone doing here? Whoa, Monomi. Uh, can we? Can it's we? Unique. Can we change her theme song to Monokuma's? Like, this, please. No. You don't need to fear. She's a separate entity. Shut up. Is no. Let's just color her black with white, and then bam. And I was in. Hmm. Hey, she has an Audi too. Guess I wasn't invited to the party. Obviously not. You'd ruin the party if you were here. Double gasp. But seriously, now's not the time. Now's not the time to have a enjoy a fun party. Why? Akane, Akane is. Akane is dueling Monokuma. Ah, uh, what did you just say? <laughs> At this point, Akane is going to be in danger. Please do something to save her. It looks like my bad feeling was correct. That stupid fool. I'm the one who was the fool. It was a mistake to keep my eyes on her. Knocking my eyes on her. As a team manager, I should have had a proper grasp on the athlete's private life. This was a failure to haunt. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Now's not the time for regrets. Let us make haste. Of course. What the fuck? <laughs> this, this. I guess they're really trying to make her Sakura. Like, what the fuck? Um, they're at the beach where we first arrived at the island. Please hurry. If you don't, Akane is going to get killed. You don't have to tell me. I'm going full speed ahead. Wait, is there a rule against fighting Monokuma on this island? Hmm. Interesting. I should hurry too. I mean, I get that in the first game, but like in this game? Hey, everyone. Hmm. Mm. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. No, that's not it. I know Akane's in deep trouble. You guys suck. Screw this half big comfort. <laughs> if there were a song, it'd be salt seeping into my broken heart. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't really get it, but you look pretty bummed out. Come on, you shouldn't make a fuss here. Let's hurry over to the beach. As, as I guess she's really sad that no one listened to her concert. Hmm. Smart, why didn't you listen to, uh, yeah. You're the one who skipped it. As, as, as I, I plead the fifth. Yeah, boys, I should probably go prep dinner. Yeah, uh, the, the, the fifth? After running full sprint, by the time I got to the beach, so I, to get regain it. I saw a shocking scene unfold before me. Akane, looks like you're just barely avoiding a fatal injury. Yep, at least your agility is worth a praise. But did you challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? Damn it. Why can't I graze you even with my attacks? You know we're completely different levels. That means we view the world differently. It's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super battled manga. Yeah. It's obvious you can't win. Is she really serious about not grazing it? Akane is just fighting a stuffed animal. Monokuma is an advanced machine. If it's designed for combat, it's probably capable of exerting such power. However, as far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than an athlete that I've ever seen. She says she can't even graze him with her attack. Is that even possible? <laughs> However, because it's possible, that's why she's in this situation, right? As long as she ended up like that, there's... Hmm. At the very least, we should overcome the despair of Akane's death and use it as fuel to both store, I hope. Like Fuyuhiko did. Don't fuck with me. I never want to feel that. I don't want that feeling ever again. Hmm. If I have to feel that way again, I'll make sure I'll stop it, even if it costs me my life. No, you can't. You really. <laughs> It'll just. Uh. What the fuck? You stupid idiot. That's all the more reason you need to take care of it. You guys stay back. I'll take it from here. This is Nekamaru Nida's final firework. Make sure to sear it into your eyes. Now, it looks like everyone's here, so I might as well finish this. Didn't I say I won't allow any rule violations against me? This is what happens when you break the rules. Disappear. Ah. The, hmm, the world shook and turned stark white. 
uh, it was completely white. And within that white, I heard a voice. Nekamaru. Nekamaru, why did you save? Isn't obvious. Supporting their athletes is a manager's duty. However, what a shame for someone like Nekamaru Nidai, too. It was just a little shot from a bazooka. I really am the worst. Get a hold of yourself, Nekamaru. The time I spent with you wasn't so bad. Don't die, Akane. Is he actually dead? What the fuck? Are you kidding? That Kumaru died? Instead of rule violator Akane? What a major f I ended up killing that Kumaru who had nothing to do with this. Hold on. It's a faint, but his heart is still beating. He's not dead yet. Then you gotta hurry up and treat him. Hey, Monokuma, you can do something about this, right? Save Nekamar like you saved me. That's right. If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, that makes you the one who violated the rules. Then let's just say we're even. Huh? In exchange for forgiving Akame for breaking the rules, let's just say Nekamar was the sacrifice. So is it okay? What the fuck? The amount of rule changes. Uh. Ah, uh, you're not gonna save him? <laughs> Jeez, I guess I have no choice. It's annoying. It'd be boring if he died. Meaningless death. So for today only, I'll activate my special trump card. That's when it happened. A siren started ringing out of nowhere. It gradually came closer and closer. <laughs> oh my god, this again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm. He's gonna be alright, right? Nekomaru's gonna be saved, right? Of course he's obviously gonna be saved. I'm not gonna lie. Akane kinda stupid stupid. Hmm. But he, he could finally return to us. I can't believe Nekomaru's gone now. Again, aren't you the ultimate nurse? Hey, can you stop yelling? Screaming won't help. As as, I mean, if Nekomaru dies, uh, this is again another soccer situation. Sus. This isn't the cause. Wait, this isn't the cause. This is what happens when you let your guard down. All this talk about everybody getting along. We were just fooling ourselves. We were just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones always, oh my god. <laughs> It won't be a mystery when you when you're eventually betrayed. That's why I'm never gonna rely on anyone. That's the reality here. Are you saying it's meaningless for us to even work together? If it really did have any meaning, Nekmar wouldn't have ended up like that. He ended up like that because of his weird feelings of friendship. Hey, you understand, right? <laughs> you understand too, right? When the stupid ones try to act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. So can you please not involve me? I don't want to die in a meaningless death. Yoko blaming Akame will not help any- Uh, We don't have to worry about Coach Nakamaru. Huh? Man, that's disappointing. It's all your fault. You're not even worried about him. Akane, you're not worried about Nakamaru? There's no need to worry about worrying. I know Coach Nakamaru is a monstrous guy. There's no way he's gonna die from something like that. Hmm. So when that happens, I'll make sure I apologize to him. Cause I was too weak and I caused him trouble. So when he comes back, I'll make sure to say I'm sorry. Yo, he better not be dead. That's all I'm gonna say. Hmm. Hmm. As we all return to our cottages. Hmm. If we open our mouths, only words that would come out were we all knew that. But Nakamaru saw tragedy happen right in front of us. Once again, we were all taught. If you think you won't die, well, that's just wishful thinking. Hmm.
want to see somebody anybody as fast as I could hmm why is Fihiko the only one outside what the fuck oh it's you Hajime even such an abnormal situation people still get hungry like Kamara with that bastard mean by his final firework that's the line more suited for, to the Yakuza anyway. Nikomaru must want to protect the Kame. There's just... Hmm. Shut up, don't say another word. Just go ahead to the restaurant, I'll come later. Good morning, Hajime. Being depressed won't help. Let's believe in Nekamaru. Come on, feel better. I just, you know, that's easier said than done, if I'm be honest. I kind of do like Nekamaru. Hmm. So I was walking to the restaurant. I silently stopped. Sniffle. I heard the sound of a girl crying inside the restaurant. Someone crying inside? Mikan or is it Hiyoko? I peeked inside quietly into the restaurant. It's probably Akane. Huh? Akane, you're the one who's crying? I'm scared. What's gonna happen to us? <laughs> Could she be in shock about what happened to Nekamaru? But yesterday she was acting braver. Ah, I see now. It's probably Naguto. Hey, what happened to Akane? Isn't she acting kind of weird? Be careful, that's probably not the real Fuhiko. Huh? I know the real Fuhiko's already dead. That's why that's probably Fuhiko's clone. What are you saying? I heard from Onokuma that Nekamaru couldn't be saved. It's unfortunate, but a transfer student is apparently going to come soon as a replacement. <laughs> so let's all give that warm... Ha. Huh. I'm not messing around. I always speak the truth. In order to prove it, I'll explain specially to you. Listen carefully, Hajime. I have finally discovered the traitor is. You know, the true identity of the world ender. Ah. Tana. Sus. Hmm. Byakuya. Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. Byakuya is alive. He's been weird from the start, but isn't he acting weirder than usual? Uh, sus? What happened, Akane? It's not like you to cry and get, get a grip of yourself. I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, Nekomaru got killed, you know? What are you saying? It's not like Nekomaru is dead yet. I'm scared. I don't want this anymore. Let me go back home. The crying is so fucking off. Jesus. She must be in shock. Uh, there's no way. It's definitely best if we keep Nagito tied up. No, no, no. Wait, no. Not just tied up. I won't be satisfied until I peel the skin off his face and expose the meat so we can definitely identify him anymore. <laughs> ha. That doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? Daddy did. He lied to me about Mahiro being alive and said he saw her at the movie theater. Why is he? Hmm. I don't know. I hate being lied to. I won't feel satisfied until all his joints are bent. <laughs> ha. Huh. I'm kind of with her. Dude is acting sus. I don't get this at all. Why do you have to tell such an outrageous lie? Pardon me, but do you happen to have some time to spare? It may be rude of me. What the actual fuck is wrong with you? It may be rude of me, but I would like to say my greetings first in the morning. Good morning. I look forward to working with you all today. Ibuki? Yes, I am Ibuki Miyota. Aren't you acting strange too? Be careful, Ibuki. Hajime is dangerous. He wants to kill you and eat you. What the fuck? What did he say? <laughs> Mr. Hajime, I am not tasty. Please do not eat me. He's obviously lying. I see, so it was a lie. It's not a lie. I never tell lies. I see, so it's not a lie. It may be necessary for me to beg for my life after all. What the heck is this? Akane, Nagito, Ibuki, they're all acting strange. What's going on? 
Did they go crazy or something? Hmm. That's not it. Ibuki, she has an extremely high fever. That's probably the cause. Before you start talking, I want you to tell me something. Who the hell are you? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, please try touching her forehead. If you do, you'll see what I mean. My hand to her forehead. Ibuki, just a second. In exchange, please spare my life. What the fuck? Softly place my hand. Forehead. Fuck. She's hot. What is this? The heat is abnormal. That's right. She has a terrible high fever. Then could be the others. Connie, let me feel your forehead too. I'm sorry. I'm so weak. That must be it. She has high fever. Nagito, you too. I don't have a fever. I feel extremely great today. Place my hand on his forehead once again. I got the same results. All three of them have fevers. My goodness, that's obviously bad. Monokuma. For him to appear right now, does that mean this is... Whoa there, can you wait just for a second? Expen Whoa. Hey, everybody's here. Everyone who gather all confused expressions, plastered on their faces. Hmm. It's already been two hours. Fuck. Hey, like Kamaru, you talk about the boy who turns into a woman when he gets splashed with water? Who the heck is that? <laughs> now, Kamaru doesn't have a weird ability like that. Damn. Jeez, shut up. <laughs> what the f I don't know what's what the fuck, but I feel mysterious life energy. Now that I've shut up the nuisance, let's go back to the topic at hand. Though, I'm pretty sure you guys have already noticed... So, it's just as I thought, the true identity of this high fever is... That's right, it's a new motive that I've given you. This is the despair disease. You know, there are extremely tiny insects that can be seen... That can't be seen with the naked eye. Hmm. It's not... It's not like I added them recently. I just never told you about them. Anyway, the ep endemic disease spread by insects called despair disease. Ranma too. <laughs> Wait, Ranma? Half? Ah. Hmm? Yeah. Then let me tell you about it. Turns to woman when splashed with water. Ooh. A really annoying disease where you get a high fever along with various symptoms that are full of despair. Those symptoms are different based on the person. For instance, Nagito afflicted by the liar disease. Akane has the coward disease. Ibuki has the gullible disease. Anime character. Okay. They just had to get symptoms that are opposite of their normal personalities, except for Nagito. It's not like all you guys are down with sickness yet, but be careful. Sometimes the despair disease can get passed down from one person to another, just like a cold. You mean it's contagious? Don't put your guard down just because you don't have the disease. It'd be awful if everyone got sick. Let's run, Midsonia. It'd be terrible if you got... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Series is made by the same author who made Inuyasha. Seriously? That's right. Let's run away. I don't want to catch such a weird disease. And why is that a motive? Are you saying that a killing will occur soon after everyone falls into a crazy state? Isn't quite... Isn't this quite a novel idea? A killing that occurs while everyone has completely different personalities. Think of all the murder tricks. Is there any way to treat it? Why is there a need to treat it? I mean, this despair disease isn't supposed to make you suffer. It's the disease curse that- Oh, <laughs> uh, what the fuck? With this, you can finally take the long plunge and- Hmm. You better stop talking about this bullshit. It's my fault. I'm sorry. I was bothering you. I decided as an apology, I'm going to commit murder. <laughs> what the fuck? Are there any charcoal? What the fuck? I'm pretty sure I found some at the supermarket. 
Ah, uh, bah, bah. Stop it, Akane Nagito. You stay put. You're wrong. I'm not Nagito. To tell you the truth, Nagito, Kamaida is a fake name. I'm sorry I've kept this secret until now. So, uh... Makoto. Makoto says. She's believing him again. So serious. Man, whatever. I feel so great today. This despair disease is awesome. <laughs> despair, 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 despair. It's amazing. You should all get it too. We're all done for. <laughs> There's no such thing as hope. <laughs> we all have to die from this despair disease. That's that's the only way. Thump. Well, he collapsed. Nagito. Hmm. How will things develop? Speak my hope, boy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> will the killing start after everyone gets despair disease or even before that? I'm so excited about it. I'm just going to stand around naked. Just kidding. I'm always naked. Ah, Monokuma. Best bear. Damn it, Nakamaru incident just happened and now this. Where did the peaceful mood just go? <laughs> this is bad. Nagito is foaming from at, at the mouth. She's right. I've never seen foam that color before. Azaz, hmm, normally found in the depths of the netherworld sea. In this case, the color doesn't matter. Let's hurry him to the hospital. Got it. I'll help out. What should we do about Akane and Ibuki? We're definitely going to bring them too. We don't know what they'll do if we leave them alone. Hey, bastards, can you walk? Allow me to confirm, I just have to alternate movements on my left and right leg. Hold on, I'll walk, so don't leave me alone. Then let's go. With the diseased in tow, Nagito, whose condition clearly worsening, we rush over to the hospital, but this kind of motive is impossible. An actual despair disease? Hmm, there's a possibility that it might be passed alongside the heck. Damn it, what should I do? Hmm. I will go make the infected change their clothes, then I'll have them sleep in the patient's room. Understood, so I just have to change my clothes, correct? I'm scared of changing. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, everyone else wait here. As she supported all three of them with, with her shoulders, Mikan disappeared into the depths of the hospital. Damn it, I've never expected us to get sick. What's going to happen? I would not mind if Nagito retired permanently. Is Mikan gonna personally change their clothes? What's wrong with that? Yeah. Does that include Nagito too? Isn't that a little too bad? <laughs> There's no need to panic. Even I attend the needs of the four dark wedges. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't lump hamsters and teenage boys together. <laughs> what you mean? They're 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 the same thing, right? Hey, is this stupid conversation going to last much longer? Nah. Shouldn't we be thinking about what we need to do from now on and stuff? What we need to do from now on. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Keep everybody uh at an arm's length. Social distancing? Pandemic? Monokuma said disease was spread by insects. We can't see with our eyes. Would bug repellent at the supermarket help? That's what you're thinking about. Okay. That disease sure look dangerous. Nagato, Akane, and Buki aren't acting normal. If it spreads to anyone else, a killing is bound to happen. Based on their absurd behavior, I cannot deny that. But those guys aren't being considerate. I want them to at least have the decency to consider committing suicide before they start bothering us. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, only Sakura can go out with a bang. Okay, calm down. Hey, Hiyoko? I know, it can't be that easy. So it's important to make sure we don't end up catching the disease. <laughs> what the fuck? Make sure? What do you mean? Why? Don't you get it? We need to isolate them from us so they don't spread it. Isolate? If you can't cure it, the only option is to stop it. Stop the spreading. Even a preschooler knows that. But still, isn't isolating them a bit too harsh? Hey, if everyone catches the despair disease, we won't be able to know anything, do anything about it anymore. You're right, there's no way we should allow it to spread. Hey, they're actually talking some sense. Hey. Isolation, you mean you need to quarantine them inside the hospital, right? Chiaki, don't tell me that you also agree with this. It's to prevent a killing. As long as the disease is Monokuma's motive, if we just ignore it, a killing will happen again. To prevent that, we also have to prevent the disease from spreading. That's why we need to quarantine them. Do have permission to hurt the lolly. I've been saying it for a while, but Smile, Smile thinks she's uh she's okay. It's, uh, she's just a child apparently. You can't ki you can't kill a child. Who says you can't kill a child? Even if we quarantine them, who's gonna take care of them? Mikan's gonna stay here anyway. She's been touching the infected all over the so it's <laughs> what the fuck. There's no way we can leave her by herself. So why don't you say too? Then why don't you say too? 
Now that I think about it, you touched them when you took their temperature, right? So I'll leave the rest to you. Contact me if something happens. Contact you? How are we supposed to do that? Alright, we need to think of a way to communicate if they're... Hmm. So I'll let you handle that, Kazuchi. Yeah, I got it. Fret not. We are not going to abandon you. I shall station myself nearby in case anything happens. Nearby. There's a motel on this island. Until this matter is resolved, we shall stay there at night. Hmm. Do we have to stay in such a dirty place? What are we supposed to do if we can't immediately get here if something happens? If that disease is airborne, the hotel first, yeah. You must be vigilant about protection. I have those who I must protect. They're just hamsters, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, fine, I'll just stay at the motel. Okay, jeez, how annoying. Even if even if it's a quarantine, we're still gonna be on the same island. So just call us if something happens. What? What are you frustrated for? This is obviously a trap. Monokuma's goal is to separate us as a group. Is it really okay for us to? Uh, yeah. It's not like we've stopped being friends. I just don't want a killing to happen ever again. We can't prevent that if everyone gets sick. There's no way we're gonna lose here. Because if that happens, then Monokuma gets what he wants. Hey, Hiyoko, what did you say to me earlier? Something about me being the first one to get cut off? What's wrong? What's wrong with that? This is the moment. It's not like Mikan and Hajime are enough people. Are you saying that you're going to stay here too? This life of mine is a spare anyway. Fine, then do whatever you want. Hey, Fuyuhiko, are you sure? Don't make me repeat myself. You're really okay with this? Then I'm going to leave the rest to you. Whatever's happening over there, just leave it to us. We'll make sure to keep the disease from spreading. Come on, Shun, you guys. Hmm. I'm sorry, we were forcing this upon you like this. No, what everyone is saying is true, so it's okay. Thank you, both of you. I won't let your feelings go to waste. We'll make sure to find out the mystery of the despair disease. I think, probably. I mean, it's a disease. Why don't we just let Mikan deal, deal with it? Ultimate nurse. I have yet to see her do anything uh, nurse-like. So, she probably gonna die. Now then, I shall excuse myself. I'm counting on you. <laughs> then I'll make sure to figure out, figure some way to communicate later. Bye-bye. Do your best to stay alive. And just like that, the others left. Leave me and Fuhiko in the hospital. I never expected it would turn out like this. It's not like it's their fault. It's that bastard Monokuma's fault. Hmm. Everything is Monokuma's fault. Ah, such a beautiful bastard. I can't believe he'd actually arrange something. Hmm. Thank you for waiting. They finally finished changing. Everyone's resting in their rooms. Why is it just two of you? I know, they must have left to get fruits to bring back later. <laughs> everyone's so kind. I'm so glad everyone's so thoughtful towards their friends. Well, like I said, we're all equals when we're sick. <laughs> Let's all work together and do our very best. Ajime, I'm sorry, but I'll let you handle the explanation. That's quite the burden I have to hear. Uh. And so we decided to split into two groups. In the hospital, there are three people who are... Hmm. There are also Mikan, who's nursing them back to health. And as a safeguard, Fuhiko and myself, all together, six people staying at the hospital. Jeki, Gundam, Kazuchi, Sonia, Hiyoko are staying at the hotel. As for Nekomaru, he's not back yet. Anyway, until we do something about the despair disease, our current situation hasn't changed. But we have no clue what we need to do. Seriously, what should we do? Huh. I suddenly woke up. Earlier, I discussed with Fuyuhiko that we decided we take turns resting. That's right. That's why I came on call room, second floor. I haven't been sleeping well the past few days, so I suddenly... Hmm. My body feels heavy for some reason. It's not just heavy, it feels somewhat soft and... What the fuck? <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> His fucking hair. Uh, what the fuck? Ah, Mikan. You're tickling me. Move, I can't breathe. <laughs> oh no, you can't. Don't move around too much. Huh? Yeah, she finally re Are you okay? Your complexion is, <laughs> is bluish. Uh, can you hear me? Get a hold of yourself. Mikan finally got off me, grabbed my shoulders, and began shaking me intensely somehow. Oh, what the fuck? 
You regain consciousness. I'm so glad. I thought you died. Me too. I wonder why I would have died. I'm sorry. I thought I was taking... Oh, uh, what the fuck? That doesn't mean you can climb on top of me. Then I'll be at the bottom next time. What the actual fucks? That's seriously not what I'm talking about. Hey. What are you guys doing? Fihiko, this is... No, this is... I hope you didn't get the wrong idea. Were you guys sleeping together? You dirty rotten bastards. <laughs> you guys are fucking high school students. Seriously, you got th this all wrong. We don't have time for that. Nagito, he's in danger. When I peeked inside his room, it looked like he wasn't breathing. Huh? This is bad. Now's not the time for us to rest. Become vigorously left out. Yeah. Now's not the time for you to be pitching. Hmm. Seriously, I'm not. Fuhiko chased after Mikan as she ran into Nagito's room. Please get a hold of yourself, despite Mikan's desperate pleas. I didn't see Nagito re react at all. There's no way he died, right? The body discovery announcement isn't playing, right? Fidget, fidget. <laughs> what the fuck? He's totally waiting for it. This looks very bad. Hmm. Again, ultimate nurse Mikan is Nagito, right? Uh, um, it looks like his breathing has returned, really. But still, his condition is unpredictable, and that's putting it lightly. How light is that? Mm hmm, if so, that's pretty light. Please don't interfere. Hey, look, isn't Nagito's mouth moving? You're right, he's trying to say something. As she said his name, Mikan softly tilted her ear towards Nagito's lips. What did he say? Apparently, his condition has improved, and he feels quite refreshed. Since Monokuma said that, Nagito has the liar disease. Hmm. He probably means the opposite and actually feels really crappy. What's going to happen if he just dies? We're not going to... Hmm. Don't talk like that. Nagito's not going to die. I will <laughs> I will save him by any means necessary. I see, got it. Then I'll leave Nagito's life to you. Far from her usual self, Mikan responded assertively and went back to tending to Nagito. If we stay here any longer, we might just get in the way. Then follow me. You are resting. The goods arrived. I gotta show them. Hope boy will never die. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, let's go to the lobby. Hmm. The goods were delivered to lobby. Hey, IBK. Hiko, what did you mean by when you say goods? Look at the top of the reception desk. Surveillance camera. What is this? Perfect timing. The blue light is blinking. Does something happen when it blinks? Seeing is believing. As they say, try pressing the button below that light. Press the button. I did you could say press the button. Hey, this is is this Hajime? Loud and clear. Looks like it's perfectly connected. Kazuchi, then this is <laughs> That's right. Way to communicate. He was talking about. Looks like it's time for the ultimate. Yeah. We know, we know, we know. How about it? This is what I've been working on. <laughs> Remember that alley with all those shady looking street booths? That's where I found this. Surveillance camera for household use and just tweaked it a little bit. <laughs> So now it's basically a video chat device. Hey! Maybe a hassle, but we'll be contacting each other with this from now on. This was the this was only a test run this time, so I guess it should be pretty fun. Okay then, see you later. Hey, nice. Because she left this while you were resting. Surveillance camera unit comes with a surveillance camera and a monitor. Anything the camera records is broadcast live on the monitor. So he prepared two of these sets and swapped each other hmm, by swapping cameras with this monitor. Displaying. Hmm. Apparently, he also modified it a little. He widened its narrow communication range beyond the ho just the household use. <laughs>
さてと。Uh, your generation has fallen out of the habit of looking at the bulletin boards. Come on, take a good look at there. There's a notice there. How? This is why I say read it. Oh, uh, what the fuck? A bulletin board notice. Is he talking about this? Eating, drinking is forbidden within the hospital. Also, disregarding patients who need to be accompanied. Overnight stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden. Hmm. If patients do not need to be accompanied overnight by non-patients, uh. Right, it's like a notice you often see inside hospitals. You can't stay overnight here. There's one patient who needs to be accompanied. You're talking about Nagito, right? Then I'll allow one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here. Hospital precautions, my ass. You should have said so sooner. Yeah, why didn't he say anything sooner? Mm, someone gonna die. Hmm, give me a sec. Hmm. The only person who can stay overnight. There's no way we can make Mikan leave. I guess we have no choice. We should head back to our cottages then. You're right. Even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. After explaining the circumstance to Mikan, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. I'm a little worried. No, the ones who stuck in the hospital should be more worried. What's the point of me getting so worried? All right, then I wake up tomorrow. I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad leaving me kind of alone. Yes, see, yeah, she gonna die, die. I'm worried about Mikan and the other. I should her to the hospital. Yulik is alive? Banzai! Hey, Griever, long time, bro. The moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. Yo, you came early today. You're the one who's early. Uh. You know, I just got here. So what should we do? There's a little time we need to make contact. Wanna go to Nagito's room, check on him? Hmm. Still. Might as well, right? Which one is Nagito? It's this one. Oh, she's alive. Mika, how's Nagito doing? Same as usual. No, actually, he might be worse than yesterday. Are you fucking serious? His pulse is extremely weak. He might slip into a critical condition sometime today. Is he that sick? But as long as I'm his nurse, I will never let Nagito die. Ever. I do understand how you feel, but don't overexert yourself. Hajime. Hmm. Bam, 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 bam. Hey! Decoming single light is blinking. 
Looks like they're waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. I pressed the button. Hmm. Soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the monitor. Chiaki? No, Kazuchi. Hello, how is it? Can you see my handsome face? I can see you real clear. We're good on RN2. I can see your bro broke-ass faces. Hmm. It might be best if I tell the others about Nagito's condition. Hey, are you the only one there over there? Nope, we're all here except for Hyoko. What happened to Hyoko? <laughs> it seems we all look like aberrant enemies in the eyes of that coward. She has locked herself in her room. She said from the other side of the door she won't come out until the despair disease has been cur cured. She even She's being cautious around the others too. Looks like they're all being... Hmm. Nah, nah. This chapter is going to hurt me. Is it? So how about you? How are you guys doing? Tell you the truth, Nakito's condition is actually danger. Oh, I already know he's in serious yeah. danger. Hmm. No, not that. He's seriously wandering between life and death. What did you say? But he's going to be okay, right? Nagito's going to get better. First Nekomaru, then Nagito. That ain't funny at all. Well, for now, we really can't say. You really can't say? That's impossible. But no, me, why are you on that side? Because it'd be dangerous if I got close to the hospital since I don't even know what's going on over there. You really are pissing me off. This chapter was funny. Wait, what? <laughs> like, why does this stupid stuffed animal need... Huh? Please don't discriminate. That despair disease is horrible. It's a dangerous disease that can even destroy the, this island. Huh? So until we figure out how to deal with it, I will be on this side. Before I could respond to Monomi. That shitty stuffed animal, she's seriously pissing me off. Damn it, I'm going outside to cool off. Yuhiko practically spat on those words before you went outside. Anyway, all we can do is wait. Just wait patiently. That's why we waited patiently. Because waiting was the only thing we could do. We waited patiently. On that side note, why can't I relax? I'm on the hospital. I pace back and forth. Vihiko entered and left the hospital many times. Hmm. It's already nighttime? What the fuck? Oh. Hmm. We should go back to our cottages when that's done. But before we go back, can we check on Nagito one more time? Go for it. Leave the leave this transmission thing to me. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Whoa, Ibuki. What are you doing? You need to be resting. To tell you the truth, I've been quite bored to do nothing but sleeping. Also, just trouble if I slept all the time. So I was hoping I can help you with anything. But it's better if I'm sleeping, correct? Yeah, just go get some rest. It'd be a big help if you get, get better soon. Understood. It's kind of scary. I hope she gets better soon. He counts two folks on carrying. She hasn't even noticed that what I entered the room. What story are we in? Uh, Nagito is sick. Uh, Tana says he's best boy and he will never die. I, I'm just like, huh? <laughs> uh, smile. Is she okay? <laughs> <laughs> is she okay? Hope boy will never die. Huh? Okay. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry. IBK took care of her. I think. I don't know. Okay, sure. Ha has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mikan. Hey, Mikan. No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned away from me. She's too focused on caring for Nagito. And said, hey, Mikan, are you okay? What the fuck? Looks like you finally noticed. Please don't surprise me. I almost got wet. Docked. <laughs> uh, my head. Smile. She's gonna die. Dude. I just want to see how he's doing. But you look pretty tired, too. I hope I'm not mistaken that it'd be really embarrassing. Are you by chance worried about me? Yeah, pretty much. Thank you very much. I'll remember this moment till the day I die. Hmm. I hope she understood what I said. But she's working so hard to be... Hmm. Would be sad if uh, Babyface Boy was just dead. No, he's not dead. Yo, how's Nagito doing? 
I'm more worried about Mikan than Nagito. She looks like she has she had no time to rest. Nagito's probably not doing so well. What about you? Are you done with the transmission? As expected, we wrapped it up quickly, like they had nothing to report. They're apparently trying to find a cure somehow. Yeah. So on both our ends, looks like we had no results. Uh, someone's gonna die. Oh, by the way, smile. Uh, What's up? Vivi got a dub. Ew. <laughs> Vivi got a dub. With Sorry, a no matter what kind of you say, if you say dub, I'm gonna say ew. Okay. <laughs> uh, Papuga's happy about it, so. The bird is happy. Just know that. With a depressing really? heavy mood. Oh, right. He's the one with the dub love. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Just show him uh that weird rabbit shit you showed me. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Hmm. Go home, you sillies. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? My worries have found. Remember them. that? I just remember touch me. <laughs> touch yeah, me more. Touch me. Touch me. <laughs> <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> that shit is hilarious. <laughs> and the more I think about it. Uh, I'm slowly being suckered deeper. Uh, whatever. I guess for today I should just just go to sleep. You fucking dumbass. Uh, out of the blue, hazy scene began to shape. From the depths of my consciousness, slowly took time, like a water cooler paint. Uh, whatever. Slowly, hazily. There was a classroom from somewhere. Whoa, been a while. Sup, guys. Hey, what's up, Rooster? Don't worry, you look is not dead yet. Don't worry. Like jumping off that roof looks kind of tempting. A classroom that I've never seen before. I've seen before, but I don't know where. I can hear voices, somebody talking. Did you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently, he's been accepted to Hope, into Hope Peaks Academy. But was he that exceptional? Those are noises. <clears throat> what the fuck? Pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even if I don't want to listen, the noises leap into my ears. Huh? You don't know? Know what? Apparently, you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hope Peace Academy. But it's an acad hmm, it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students from around the world, right? I wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run to the place I deserve to be, not here. The place where I can be more confident. Wow, I never knew there was a way possible. So he's the same too, obviously. Hmm. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Hope Peace Academy would be interested in. He's just a normal guy. Hmm. Is this just another lucky student? What the fuck? Well, admiring the academy is free, but it must be tough for the parents who have to write the check. Leave me alone. I just, I just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this anyway? Who are you talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? Hey, Morokuma. Hmm. If you can hear clicking, I'm sorry. I'm trying to speed through this. Hey, morning. For some reason, my body's heavy. It's not just heavy, it's somewhat soft, really hot. Wait a minute. How the fuck? <laughs> I can't believe it. No, stop, you're tickling me. Me kind again. Hurry up. Move. I can't breathe. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Wait, huh? Cyanosis again? Hajime's gone live. <laughs> Please get a hold of yourself. You regain consciousness. I'm so glad I thought you died from suffocation. Me kind, why are you here? Monokuma announcement hasn't even aired yet. Huh? Now that you mention it. Wait, I came here to wake you up, but it seems I accidentally fell asleep. What, accident? Good news, you see Nagato's condition has stabilized. Really? And I rushed over to let you guys know, but for you, he could lock this. Oh yeah, my, what the, you, but, uh, uh, Smile, what happened to the rule? Wait, the first, the first game, you couldn't even break the locks. What the fuck? Even Sakura couldn't break them. What the fuck is this? Uh, remember she did break it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was the headmaster's room. Nothing was said mm -hmm. about the dorms, okay? Any kind of doors, technically, but Sakura broke it, knowing she would actually, you know, bend the rule because she knew she was gonna die. Sakura's just best girl to you, isn't she? Uh, 
Yes, all logic goes out the window, you like. Like, I feel like you'd be best friends. She's with not Sokka the in real best life. girl, but she is very. Would you be best honorable. friends with her? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I would totally be friends with her. Like, oh, fucking lovely character. <laughs> anyway, please hurry over. Nagito can probably be saved. Would you be friends with Nagito? Uh, yeah, sure. Can I put him on a leash? <laughs> What's the fuck? I'm pretty sure Tana would like him on a leash. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Wait, why would you want him on a leash? What the fuck? Uh, it's a bit of a joke. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Is Nagito dead? Are you lying to me? The fuck? Oh, he's actually up and he's drooling. What the fuck are those eyes? Ah, uh, the twin Ibukis are singing. I see Ibuki must have been a twin duo the veronica's i suppose is he supposed to be cured it's not like he's completely cured he was able to recover from his critical condition they were utilizing the characteristic as twins they've been taking turns appearing before me which means there are actually 17 people on this island the veronica's that's the answer so there is another person on this island after seeing this it might hmm but I'm so glad. I'm so relieved Nagito regained consciousness. I'm so glad. I feel dizzy somehow. Everything's spinning around me. Should you get some rest already? You should be exhausted. If you insist, I'll use the on-call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Even though it's the morning. Good night. Hey, that's what I do all the time. Me kind of wobbled out around a bit. Left the room. She's definitely exhausted understandable she fell asleep when she was supposed to come wake me up uh. all alone with hajime i can't stand being in the same room as you don't worry i'm leaving you should focus on curing that crappy disease of yours yeah hurry up and go away i don't want to see your face anymore what the fuck is he okay what are you doing hurry up and go away i don't want to see your face anymore i just realized what happened to akane I should wait in the lobby for the transmission. Huh? Lightning blinking, but that's where it's not transmission time yet. Just pretty early. We haven't received any more Kuma announcement. It might be something urgent. There's no way I can make them wait. Hmm. Huh? On first glance, I immediately knew it was a normal video. Slowly, huh? PPS was hanging from a ceiling at the end of the rope, tied with a loop beneath the step ladder. It was like, hmm. What is this? I didn't understand at all. What's going on at the music venue? And that's when it happened. Is that a Kane? Chills ran down my spine. Someone was dragging. Huh? What the? I raised my voice. Surprised the person started moving. Slowly they took. Huh? Are you kidding me? And at that moment, the screen suddenly went pitch black. Probably because the candle source light had gone. Hey, no matter what I said, there was no response from the darkness. What the heck is this? What's going on? Ayo, small K. Doesn't matter, I have to do something about this. Might be, I need to hurry over to the music. I rushed over to the hospital, ran over to the music venue. Uh, bad timing. Damn, the music venue is actually a bit away. What the fuck?
please let me make it. I rushed over to the music venue. But I completely forgot. Prayer means nothing on this island. Is that Ibuki? What the fuck? I was too late. What the hell is this? In the hot air inside the music venue, I couldn't keep myself from shouting. <laughs> now it's not time to worry about that. More importantly, why is why isn't anybody coming? What is everybody doing? The body discovery announcement. There hasn't even been an announcement yet. There's why is no what the fuck? From here, the motel is close by. There should be a lot of. Why is he not like actually trying to help get her down? Under the death in the game. Hey, somebody get out here. As soon as I arrived the motel, I started shouting. I was wondering who was making such an infernal racket. It was you. Yeah, no, something awful has happened. Don't tell me. Do you intend to spread the panda? Oh, what the fuck? What happened? Is there a problem? What? Jesus Christ. I, I, can I be honest with you, Smo? What's up? Hajime is stupid. Yes. Like, yes. quite honestly, big dumb. It's just... Uh, there's a body, huh? Didn't you hear? A body was found. Body? Could it be? Did you intend to spread lies like Nagito? Oh, what the fuck? Go away, notifications. Hajime, is that true? Of course it is. Isn't that obvious? There's no way we shouldn't check it out because if Hajime is telling the truth, that means it happened again, right? Uh, the smile, the stupid people, this does Hajime dumb, this killing brain cells. Mikan, why are you here? Perfect time, please help us, Hajime. You have help no us. Idea. Someone's coming from over there. Hajime, Chiaki, what are you doing here? Bihiko, why are you here too? Is it obvious? I'm looking for Ibuki. Looking for Ibuki? I was planning to rest on the call room, but I wanted to check everything before I did that. And Ibuki missing from the hospital all of a sudden. So what Hajime was saying earlier. Everyone, let's hurry. Hurry where? The music venue. Don't ask. Just follow me. Music venue. Tip it is uh, smile. <laughs> uh excuse me. I see you're enjoying the game. Is Ibuki inside here? Uh. Huh? What the heck? Why is it locked? That doesn't make sense. I mean, I was able to go through just a few minutes ago. Then why don't we try another entrance? The only, this is the only entrance in the. Huh? Why is it locked? I don't understand it myself. But if it won't open, the only thing we can do is force our way through. I wonder if that's gonna be possible. Hmm. Doesn't matter. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. The door move. Maybe you'll open easily after all. You with two girls here? All right, one more time. It was like a performance has just ended. The moment of silence. Uh. I like how he honestly did nothing. <laughs> ha. <laughs> There wasn't just a hanged body. There was also another body. Ah. Uh, ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. <laughs> ha. Huh. I want to take a break. <laughs> I want to take a break. Ha. <laughs> huh. How are you feeling, Yulik? Are you okay? Ha Hajime is a dumbass. Can I say that, Smo? Yes. Can I but... wait, wait? Do you actually agree with me? Or you're just fucking with me. <laughs> yes. Cause he is a big dumbass <laughs> for multiple reasons, <laughs> dude. Like it just, 
Uh, oh my god. So, what is your reason of calling Hajime dumbass? Uh, 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 he didn't even attempt to see if he could save goddamn freaking Ibuki. Oh, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> like, at all? Um, yes, 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 yeah, he, he's a quite a dumbass, yes. But, that, but not just that, but also, you know, just like, remember how the Among Us, like, how I, like, I immediately took the stairs going down the ladder instead of reporting the mm -hmm. body and i i said it was mm -hmm. ibk instead of mm -hmm. investigating yeah why did this idiot not look in the storage room or anything or just double check around <laughs> uh, at all like he didn't even bother to look at the body didn't confirm anything didn't even look around just kind of just went oh i gotta go get everybody like nothing Nothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not like. Uh, then again, I mean, tampering with evidence is pretty easy. I mean, did, he just went through the Peco case, and he saw what she could do. Uh, like she literally hid herself in a surfboard case. Like, what the fuck? Uh, so, here's what I'm gonna tell you. Uh. It is a lot more trickier than what it seems. Yeah, I can tell, because what the fuck, we come back and now Lolly is dead. Which I can assume she's been dead for a while. Hmm. So, just, just letting you know, it's, I know you're upset that Ibuki's dead, but continue on with the story. Hmm. A body has been discovered, so that kind of confirms, yeah, there's two dead bodies. I kind of thought it would be would be Mikan, if I'm be honest with you. The subverting expectation. That's what Danganronpa's good at. Masako. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is someone is really good. Hmm. Who's left? We don't know what happened to Nakamaru. Oh, the cases? Ha <clears throat> yeah, Hajime, Fuyuhiko, Akane, Chiaki. Who else? Hmm? Who else is alive? I mean, Mikan is alive as well. Hmm. Oh, oh, sorry. My mind is not on this, so... Oh, no, no, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to remember who's alive at this moment. Nekamaru is nowhere to be seen. He's gone somewhere. So Akane, uh, Nagito, Chiaki, uh, Gundam, Fuyuhiko, Hajime. Hmm. Hmm. So at this point, I mean, I know who it is, right? But any guess? Not really. I mean, how the fuck would I? Scar, why the fuck are you timing up Proca? He's not even here. I know, that's that's what he does. For now, we should lower <laughs> the person wearing the handbag. <laughs> Who the fuck cares about that? There's a control panel, the baton lighting on the wing stage. Even though I expected, I still didn't want to confront that reality. Under the handbag, there was no dying that face belonged to Ibuki. <laughs> it's like someone died in here or something. <laughs> I love this guy. So you finally showed up, the root of all evil. How dare you call your big brother, the root of all evil. I even went to the trouble of bringing everyone for you. Where the fuck were you? Ibuki and Hyoko. Oh, so I forgot Sonia was a thing. Hey, Gundam. 
Is it okay to say that I don't believe in Sonya as a character? <laughs> then again, I guess I would cool. be denying Smile Collector as well. Hmm. Sure. Looks like another serious incident. Why are you cured all of a sudden? I can't believe it. They did such a horrible thing. Nagito Akane, are you okay? Oh, of course. What do you mean, of course? Is that why the despair disease? Jeez, you guys, that stuff is totally over now. Over? Because <laughs> I got bored. <laughs> For that silly reason. <laughs> Can I just say Monokuma is just the best? Best boy. And now that the killing has started, there's no need to keep that motive around anymore. Yeah, the despair disease is gone now. You don't know the gender, you lick. Rumble last game. He's just a robot, but I'm assuming it's a boy. He, she, whatever, transgender. I'm gonna call him he. Shut up. He might be Audi. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that Audi belly is amazing. How can you spread a disease and cure it so easily? Who cares about that itty bitty detail? <laughs> what the fuck? Do you think Monokuma could kill Omni Man Smile? <laughs> you know what's funny? What? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go back to our main topic and proceed as usual. Uh, Yulik is assuming his gender in 2021. Yes. And even you said it, it was a he. So, yeah. Who? Scar, he literally said it's a he in that sentence. So, oh. should, yeah, he should have said Yulik assuming genders in 2021. <laughs> Not... <laughs> Assuming his gender, because you're also assuming his gender. Uh, he's he's an assault helicopter man. What are you talking about? Uh, I'll be waiting in the class trial. Do your best to investigate. It better? Yes, it. Uh, yes, 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 yes. You, you you're not even uh, uh, uh. You know Monokuma has feelings, right? Like last time, if this means one of us killed these two, then we cannot let this be. Why do we have to do this? Hmm. They can like that won't do anything. We have to do this. If you don't do anything, we'll be we'll all be executed. So you wanna know the funny part? Ikone is a girl, by the way. <laughs> I give up with Scar. I was gonna say, like those are the remaining two, right? For the except for Mikan. The remaining two girls from the the game from last uh last draw. So yeah, just... talking about the current girls. Yeah. Uh, Mikan is the only one left. Saki, right? Sonia, and Mikan? Those three? Yeah. No, so no 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 no. I'm talking about like the whole incident with uh Fuyuhiko's sister. Oh oh you're talking about that. Okay. Yeah. Sonia and Mikan, yeah, yeah, those are the two. Last two girls, but Mikan was uh, Mikan is the only one left of that whole we incident. We know Yaki is in it. We definitely know Akane is not it. <laughs> so yeah. Abandon your over dependence. But I don't know if you should actually have that in mind. Hmm. But I mean, it's quite obvious, though, right? Mm, mm. Like, I, I just calm down. No, no, no. I'm just no. I'm just bringing it up. Like, I know you keep saying Monoku uh, not Monokuma. Uh, Danganronpa keeps doing the unexpected, but like. That's pretty evident that those are the last two girls remaining. No, well, I mean, besides from Mikan. What about Nekomaru? Oh, oh uh, if you say so, yeah. I'm gonna okay, throw a water like battle at you. <laughs> is he gonna participate this time? Is he even allowed? Nekomaru, is she still crying? That's strange. I'm crying. What happened to me? <laughs> what the fuck? I like how she says it. Like, I'm crying? Huh? Nani? Looks like lingering of after effects of the despair disease. Nothing for you to worry about. Are you okay? Fortunately, it seems like I have nothing to worry about. Since you have the liar disease, your after effects could be lies. Please leave Nakamaru to me. Everyone must focus on the investigation, so I must do my very best. Alrighty, I will definitely bring back Nakamaru. It seems we should leave Nakamaru to Monomi. What about guarding this area? Do we still need it? I'll stay. I don't feel so I don't feel good yet. It's better if I stay here too, right? For my autopsy again. Uh. Then I'll leave that to you. Alright, let's get started. That's right, we need to end this. We need to finish this once for, once and for all. I know there's no way we can believe that one of us did this. 
Lolly is finally gone. Aw. But freaking Nagito is still alive. Hmm. I wish it was Nagito who got hung instead of Ibuki. But for those two, for those two's sake, we need to fix. Find That's the truth. Mean thing to say. What? What? But then again, you're a Ibuki simp, so understand. I'm not an Ibuki simp, but I do like her better than Nagito. <laughs> <laughs> it's because your uh... clothes are so smothering. I guess I can't stand. I let you guys investigate this place. Kazuchi left the music venue under a cloud of grambling complaints, but it's really hot. In fact, sweltering hot. Why is why is it this hot? No, before that, I need to check Monokuma's file first. Cause of death, there are two victims. Ibuki Miyoda, Hiyoko, so I, I can't even say her name. Ibuki Miyoda's cause of death was crushed windpipe as a resulting of coat choke. There are no external injuries. Yoko's blood loss due to her throat being slit. I like how these are two, uh, yeah. It appears her death was instant. What the, is this it? I already knew the cause of death from the beginning, so this isn't going to be useful. Hmm. It's strange. Why did the killer kill two people? Huh? I mean, the more people you kill, the more clues you leave behind, right? So I don't think it's necessary to kill two people and take that kind of risk. I agree with that. Was there a reason they had to kill two people? A reason for killing two people. Regardless, something like this shouldn't be forgiven. So, I'll definitely find the truth behind this. Hmm. Seriously, I'd prefer if she had more confident sounding catchphrase. Hmm. The remaining people. Okay. Shattered remains, the machines are spread all over the floor. This appears to be a surveillance camera unit. Kazushi put in the music venue for communication purpose. Hmm, why is it destroyed like this? Criminal psycholo hmm. psychology. Hmm, what do you mean? Even if they know they are not being recorded, there's no way the killer would tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. That's why they destroyed the camera. Hmm, plausible enough. Hmm, they'd hesitate to murder someone in front of a camera. Hmm. What else is around? The rope that tied. Hmm. Buki hung herself and died. Hmm. From what I can tell, despite, hmm, <laughs> why are you here by the way? <laughs> I just noticed, just noticed a little something, is it okay to confirm it? Mikan, do you have a moment? There's something I wanted to ask you, there's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was hung by this rope, right? She had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. That was obvious the moment we discovered the body. You might not have seen it, but we all saw Jing herself. <laughs> You're right, yep, I got it. So this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might might as well search another place. Hey, tote bag. Luki had a hemp bag on her. But why did she have a hemp bag on her? Wait. That, that hemp bag. Upon further inspection, there's a Monomi decal. Hmm. Nope. Candle. Hmm. That's the lolly, isn't it? Wait, is it? No. They didn't need to bother using the candle. They could have just used normal stage lighting. Mm, wait a minute. Why is there blood on the ladder? Step ladder tipped over on the side. Isn't that a blessing? There's a blessing on the left side of the step ladder. I recall Ibuki doesn't have any external injuries. If that's the case. 
Must be Hyoko's blood. Hmm. Anything else? Hyoko's body. She's wrapped against the pillar with duct tape, and she looks like she was forced to stand up straight upright. Damn it, who did this? According to Monokuma file, her cause of death was slit through the throat. Hmm. Her neck looks like it stopped bleeding because of the duct tape wrapped around it. Why is Hyoko's kimono like this? Her kimono is... Hmm. And her sash is tied up in the front. Did the killer do this too? Hmm. But when did the kill killer kill Hyoko? That's the case, Yoko was killed. It must have been during the time I got everyone back there. Hmm, probably not. Boy. I don't wish to be in your way at all, but there's something I really need your help with. Oh, if you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from Yoko's kimono. So I was thinking she might be hiding something. Wait, hold on. You want me to search inside the kimono? Huh? That's exactly it. It would be a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now, you know? What the fuck? Don't mess with me. Are you saying that there's no problem? Hmm. If you don't want to do it, I'll just le ask someone else. What's up? There's something I want you to do for me. It looks like there's something inside uh, her kimono. I don't really understand that, but I gotta check y her kimono, right? Thank you, Akane. Helping each other is a wonderful thing. <laughs> mm, damn it, she's tied up tight. Can't really reach with my hand. Wait, hold on. Yep, there's something looking for. Is that a key? Looks different than the keys to the cottage, so this may be a key to the motel room. If her key was deep inside her kimono, then it'd be hard to remove. It's very likely that the killer tampered with the, uh, this evidence. Because if this is a trap, they would put more toward the front of her kimono. Which means we can cl conclude this is something Yoko had with her all along. Also, it's not like I'm adding to that. Hmm. We look at like you were curious about the condition of Yoko's body. Right, Hajime? Of course. Mm. It's true there are several mysteries regarding her body. Just hear me out for a second. Out of all those mysteries, what I think is the strangest is... The way they wrapped her with the duct tape. It's almost like they're trying to hide the wound on Hyoko's neck. Don't you think? Hide the wound on her neck? I don't really know if that's the true intention, but I guess it'd be a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because of the duct tape. Hmm. <laughs> if her body was left alone after her throat was slit, the surrounding blue area would be a sea of blood. Two bodies floating in the sea of blood, enough to make anybody faint. With her arms crossed, did something drop on the floor there? Nothing dropped, it's just dirty. Dirty? Take a close look at the floor. There's something as if someone wiped off. Is this blood stain? Rather, what's strange is why did the killer try to hide it? If there weren't, if they weren't trying to hide it, they wouldn't have bothered wiping it off. The reason the killer wiped the off the blood stain. As long as the body is nearby, there's no way they be able to conceal it. It's running as a heater over 86 degrees. I better turn off the heater now, that should cool us off a little bit. Hmm. Okay, 
Is there? Curtain. There's a black curtain hanging. Hmm. It's not really a full-length curtain. This curtain was originally here. It was probably obtained from the furniture section of the supermarket. So you're saying someone took the time to actually bring the curtain. They went that far. It's probably that the killer really needed this for the crime. Hmm. Got that. Oh, there we go. I know. Speaking of the lighting, the video, the music I saw. It had a dim candlelight. You didn't notice? Hmm. Are those eyes just little glass balls? Take a good look at the baton lighting above your head. Have you not noticed? You mean that? There's something looking like black paper stuck to the baton lighting. <laughs> so you finally notice. But I can't really I'm, see it uh, from here. A lot of phone calls. Hey, sorry. There is no need. Ah. I got this up though. Hey, Tiramisu. Hey. Mm. I've never tried tiramisu. Uh, Costco has it sometimes, and theirs is pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, mm. they they make it out of Italian ingredients. Tiramisu. Mm. Uh, Sorry, running. It's kind of rare though. They don't have it all the time, sadly. Okay. Do you see that? Behold the power of Ultimate Evil Wielder. Which They're my four dark now? devils of destruction. Hamsters are merely <laughs> in their temporary power. Oh, it's the second you like. So what's with that paper? It seems some kind of thick paper. It doesn't have any special... Hmm. No, that's not it. There's no doubt it's some kind of clue. I mean, the fact that it was stuck to a place like that. What the fuck is that? Is that a... Wait. Actually, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Scrap of thick paper. Is that really paper? It's a thick paper. Extra thick! Can you calm down there, buddy? Head. Don't you remember from Samurai Jack? Hmm. He wants his pizza extra thick! <laughs> body. What's this on Ibuki's feet? I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. It's blood, right? There shouldn't be any external injuries on Ibuki. This blood belongs to someone else. Ah. At first I didn't know it, it was Ibuki because of the hem bag though. But I knew right away she was dead since she was hanging from that rope. Ibuki must have died before Hyoko was tied up. Yeah. That helps. Hmm. Uh, first of all, I'm assuming dumbass lolly girl is dead first, then Ibuki. Hmm. But why didn't they write write down the estimated time? Interesting speculation. Ibuki was climbing the stepladder on her own, so after that... Wait, hold on. If Ibuki climbed the stepladder and died after, does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible. Because even if Ibuki committed suicide, it wouldn't explain Hiyoko's death afterwards. Two different deaths happen at the same time. Hmm. Ah, fucking Nagito. Piece of shit. Oh, I just realized. Scrap of paper. Found it. Scarpening wallpaper. Hmm? 
thick piece of paper folded up. There's a lot of stickers venue. You are definitely not overthinking this, buddy. Hmm, interesting. Nagito, did you come here to investigate? <laughs> I just wanted to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it? Or is he trying to stand guard here? The tipped over step ladder on the stage, the duct tape binding. Hmm. There might be something from the storage room they use for that crime. You always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just going to be on the killer's side, right? <laughs> well, I'm not siding, siding with the killer, you know? I'm just on the side of whoever acts in the name of hope. That's all there is to it. That's the main reason why this case is really special. Hmm? But I can't say for certain, though. What is this guy saying? As usual, he's not making any sense. By the way, Hajime, I still don't quite understand the detail of what happened. If you can explain to me in detail, I think I'd be able to give you some more useful information. Really? You might end up confusing us again instead. You don't want us to find the truth, you just want us to suffer. That's not true, I'm doing this because I believe... <laughs> uh, he's crazy. For the sake of everyone's hope, I'd gladly become the enemy. That's the main reason why I can't overlook this case this time, huh? What does that mean? <laughs> Regardless, I guess you're not gonna tell me, huh? Then it can't be helped, I guess I'll just rely on my gut feeling. Gut feelings. You should really come by later too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? <laughs> Movie theater. Hmm. I guess that's everything important in the storage room. So you go back to the music venue. Hmm. Hmm. Take a look at this. What? Look at what's in front of the door. There's a drumstick. Looks like it's broken. It's something like that. It's in front of the door. Remember when we came to the music venue? It won't open. The only thing we can do is force our way through. Don't you think it would lock the door? Hmm. That's how the killer was able to get out, huh? I mean, the music venue doesn't have the wind have windows. This door is the only entrance. If they locked the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't be able to escape. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue. They waited until we were already at the second scene of the crime to join us. Hmm. Hmm. You wanna what I just... Hmm. I guess you just want my speculation, don't you? I mean, that's a good update, right? For what? For the people who's listening. Mm, no. <laughs> no. If that's what you feel, you don't have to say it. Yeah, for me, it's just more of... Hmm. still feel like the first person who died is Lolly. Okay. Mm, just don't know why they... Hmm. I'm actually curious. What the fuck? You don't get the reason why this happened? The reason that this happened? What do you mean? Or what are you curious about? I'm curious as to... Like, Ibuki, her, uh, syndrome, like, her version of, uh, the sickness. Oh, okay. Besides the broken drumstick, I've also discovered something interesting. What is it? This weird glob right at the door, you see? Hmm. 
Doesn't look like rubber, but as she said, Chiaki bent down. Why are you putting it in your mouth? Ah, it smells like workshop chemicals. Ah. <laughs> uh. This chewiness. I see this thing, this glob now. For instance, if it was originally a liquid, it hardened to this. Might be possible. What are you talking about? This is what I thought. It tastes nasty. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Smile, would you ever put chemicals in your mouth? Mm. Uh, careful. Unknown Live chemicals? Mm -hmm. Chiaki spat the glob out of her mouth, left the area. Besides... Besides that... <laughs> uh, Semi-transparent glob. That was on the door, right? Okay. Hey. Hey, are you okay? Are you still not feeling well? I don't really get it, but... When I think about Nekamaru, it feels like my knee starts shaking. That's weird. There's no way I've got that kind of weakness. It'll probably go away if I battled a strong dude, but Nekamaru's not here. You're right. Hmm. Only I'd noticed sooner Ibuki might have been saved. After leaving Nagati's room, went to the uncle room. That's when I came to me that I should go check on everyone in the hospital. And I went to the patient rooms and noticed Ibuki was gone, so I quickly ran out of the hospital. So that's what happened. And then I saw Fuyuhiko in front of the hospital, so I asked him if he could help me look for Ibuki. Oh, that reminds me, where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. That's a long story. I'm sorry. Uh, there's no way I doubt you because we've been together since this morning. <laughs> You're right, we were together until you went to the on-call room. That's right, we were together until just a little before the morning, Monokuma's announcement. So I don't doubt you, I'm telling the truth. Huh? Is that alright if I can continue with my autopsy? If you want to talk to me again later, I'll tell you what I know. Spare my life at least? What the fuck? All right, with this, we might have finished. Okay. There's... We can leave, right? Mm, the class yeah. trial will be interesting. How about it, Mika? Have you found anything by now? To tell you the truth, it's been very inconclusive. But it's not my fault. <laughs> this music venue is just too hot. Because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of death. Because of the heat? Is that possible? If the body is overexposed to the heat or cold, you won't be able to determine the precise time of death. I see, that's for the killers. Okay, they covered up their time of death by using the heater. But that's weird. Even if this heat is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? I agree, as long as I saw it, it should be clear the order of murders occurred. First Ibuki, then Hyoko. As long as this has imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistaking the order of murders. You don't know Hajime? I thought everyone already knew. It's a murder where the killer uses creative work, like a song or film, to outline for their killing. Hmm. Based on the killing order, they were kill... Kill the imitation of that movie. That assumption is an imitation murder, is the reason why the killer killed two people. The goal is... was an imitation killer. Even so, why did the, they feel... They need to do something like that. Excuse me, if this really was an imitation of that movie, then it's possible that one person might have been killed. Hmm. So, right now, I'm reading the um, Irumaku ma manga, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> Ronove is something else. <laughs> Who? Ronove. The. Uh... Yeah, remember that annoying guy? The green hair dude? Green hair? Was, no, he was like purple, he had tan skin. He thinks he's like, he's like the peak of narcissism. Him. Oh, him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you guys worried there's been another victim? No worries. Things would not get out. Huh. So I prepare a perfect countermeasure. On this killing school trip, the same black can only kill a maximum of two people. 
You mean you've added another rule? Well, if killing everyone is at once is okay, the black end would be able to secure easy victory, right? This rule is to prevent that. Make sure you slammed into your brains. Since you're here, can I ask you one more thing? I just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. I see, as expected of you, you're very strict about games. I don't want to consider this possibility at all, and I... Hmm. If two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility Ibuki and Hyoko were killed by two different people. That would mean two killers exist at the same time. We can only vote for one person, right? If we can only choose one based on majority vote, the other person would certainly achieve victory. So what happens in that case? There's a, there's three incidents instead of two. Shut up. <laughs> it's okay, I'll make extra sure something like that never happens. Meaning two killers can't exist at the same time. It's safe to say that applies to this case too. Alright, fine. That's right. There's always one killer at any given time. Even if they had an accomplice, I'd have you figure out who the mastermind is. Hmm. So there's no possibility for two killers. With this, I guess that narrows down things. Plus, if the same killer can kill a maximum of two people, it means the third victim would be impossible. Limitate. Hmm. Like I said, that movie. When we first explored the island, Monokuma was passing out invitation tickets. Of course, it's an imitation of that movie. Well, based on that, on the murders this time. Hmm. Oh, smart! We finally get to watch this movie. Hey. Hmm. Poor Ibuki. I blame Smile. Yes, yes. <laughs> Poor thing. Instead of a uh, despair disease cure, he uh he was focused on COVID cure. Uh. Oh. At least you got to see the Tata Typhoon. The what? One last time. Titty Typhoon. Titty. Mm. Mm. There he is, and all his susness. susness. Mm. But, but Tanya said he's best boy. He said he's best hope boy. But he can mm -hmm. still die. Ah. Uh. Hajime is the customer? Do you have a problem with that? You say you didn't want to watch it, but I knew you wanted to see it all along. <laughs> what the fuck? If that's what Sundere Hajime looks like, then you're a really tough guy. <laughs> hey. It's nothing. Stop it. But my resistance was in vain. Monokuma reached into my pocket and took the sticker. You bought this for 1.5 million dollars? <laughs> Smile, wouldn't you? How much is that in yen? Is that 15 million yen? Hmm. No? Wait, did you say no? I don't think so. How much is 15 million yen? So think of it as dollars, hundred yen. So one hundred fifty so million. Simple multiplication, right? Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Who cares about that anymore? Just hurry up and give me an invitation ticket. Two point five D, the Wizard of Monomi. <laughs> what the fuck? Hmm. 
The Wizard of Monomi. Why? No reason. Just think of it as a protective charm. Hmm. Interesting. You buy one bag, you get another one for free. Hmm. Apologize for keeping you waiting. World famous director Monokuma presents stunning masterpiece, The Wizard of Monomi 2.5D. Hmm. Uh, only Biak was alive. Poor thing. Chubby Biak. He got the chubby cheeks. Uh -oh. Monokuma was born in a remote village full of old people because of the death rate, outpaced the birth rates. One day, Monokuma was swept away a tornado created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise and whisked away to Monomi's country. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland, so he, hmm. so he began his journey to the wizard, Monomi, who was rumored to grant any wish one desires. He met a loyal group of friends. Monomi, who was missing brain when he recommended. Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? He also met Monomi Lion, who was missing her courage, so he pumped her full of arrows. Also met Monomi Timman, who was missing a heart, so Monokuma slit her lumps of iron. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monomi, the great power and powerful. Eventually, one thing led to another, and he started beating the crap out of Monomi. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people, took their pensions, and lived the rest of his days in luxury. What the actual fuck? I love how Monokuma loves himself too much. Goodbye, bye bye. Hmm. He's disgusting. a lovable bear. Don't you love him? Come on. He's adorable. Love is a strong word. <laughs> Fine. Don't you enjoy his uh, presence? Yes. There we go. <laughs> How was it? Actually, I don't even have to ask. I totally expect your reaction. That was honestly the worst movie I've ever seen. Is it even okay to call that a movie? But thanks to that movie, now you know, right? Just like he said, the characters who were killed in the movie match the victims in this case. Ibuki's death. Hanging, Scarecrow's death, uh, Jesse Yoko suspended, Lion's death too. 
It would be complete imitation if the killer killed three people, but it seems that wasn't possible. <laughs> Perhaps the killer is upset about that right now. The killer's main goal was just imitation murder. They should have just... Hmm. The Wizard of Monomi has been added to the Truth Bullet. Hmm. Time to go to the motel. Just remember, I never went inside the rooms of the motel. Plus, I don't even know where Hyoko's room is. It might be fast to just ask someone. You're here. Come on out. Are you talking to me? I can see you. Did you really think you could hide your presence like that? I was just trying to hide in the first place. Hey, which room is Yoko staying in? Open the door in the center room. <laughs> However, are you prepared? Make sure you pray to whatever god you hear, dear. Wonder how... Hmm. I'm actually curious. How does he talk to <laughs> his parents? <laughs> Looks like it's locked, but... Key. It opened just as I thought the key. Yep. Let's go inside. So Hyoko is staying here. She only stayed for a few nights, so... It didn't really feel like her room, but... She looked conflicted. How the fuck are you in here? Did the door open? Yoko put the key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. I see. What, did something happen? No, it's just, I'm starting to believe it might be my fault. Her fault? What does she mean? Give me that freaking bear! Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Hmm. Yo, what the fuck am I looking for? Ugh. The bed isn't messed up. Hmm. There's a mirror, it's small and rusty, but there's no way anyone can use this. Is that just it? Okay. The moment Hyoko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in. She was afraid of the despair disease, so she was cautious of you guys too. However, her fear of the disease was not the only reason she locked herself in the room. She had another reason. Besides the disease, what other reason would make her lock herself in her room? Her kimono. Her kimono. Yesterday, I went to talk to her since she was in her room for some time. I told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her room locked, but by coincidence, it was not locked at the time. And then I saw it. Yoko was crying and struggling with her kimono sash. She did not want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but she could not tie her sash anymore. Mahiro, that's why she wanted to be able to tie her own sash on her own. She probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since Mahiro taught her. I could not understand her feelings, which is why I told you. Hmm, what did, I, what did you say? Yoko, by chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Stupid, what do you say? Of course not, I can do it. Because my hero taught me, that's why I can do it on my own. If that's the case, how about you do it someplace where there's a mirror? Do you remember the full-length mirror in the storage room? If you do it while standing in front of the large mirror, I'm confident you'd be successful. And that was when she kicked me out. Could it be Hyoko remembered that? Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear her kimono? Uh, I can see that happening. Hyoko locked herself, made sure she put the room inside her kimono I can imagine that she was abducted by someone else so that's weird did you tell anyone about hmm I never told this to anyone I do not believe anyone was listening in our conversation if that's the case how did the killer know Hiyoko was going to the music venue something's wrong I don't see anything else that looks suspicious Hmm. Hmm. And this is the score. There we go. 
Hey, Hajime, can you explain to me again what happened when you discovered Ibuki's body? It was the same as when I found it with you guys. Ibuki's body was hanging from the baton lighting. However, there was no body discovery announcement made. That's why I went to you get, get you guys. I met up with Chiaki at the motel. That's where... Yeah. You met up with Mikan and me. And we went back to the music venue. The entrance door wouldn't open for some reason. So we have no choice. We had no choice but to break down the door and discover Hyoko's body there too. This is the most important part. When you arrived at the motel, who else saw you besides Chiaki? As I recall... Didn't you hear me? A body was found. A body? Besides Chiaki, I also saw Gundam and Minomi. I see. So Kazuchi and Sonia didn't appear, huh? So you think those two are suspicious? Yoko was killed between the time you saw Ibuki's body. Hmm. When the morning Monokuma announcement woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Mikan panicking in front of the hospital. I asked her what's going on. She said Ibuki disappeared. So you guys split up and you look for Ibuki, huh? While we were circling the island, we came... Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Are you implying I don't have an alibi because I didn't run into anyone? It's unreasonable for you to doubt me. The time Mikan and I were on our own looking for Ibuki wasn't very long. In that short time, there's no way I could have killed Hyoko and wrapped. Yeah. It's true, I feel like there wasn't enough time to do that after I left the music venue. But the fact Hyoko was killed... We did discover her body. Huh? What? Do you still doubt me? I'm used to it. It's true. I've done things I deserve to be doubted for. So don't worry. If you doubt me, I don't plan on dismembering. Hmm. I'd want to know in advance what I have to do. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I am missing something, though. Wait, hold up. Uh, I can't look at anything else. Wait, let me ask Gundam something. <laughs> He's always like this. Uh, why are you like this? Smile, why is there so much to look for? This is gonna be one hell of a trial, that's why. Are you serious? <laughs> is it gonna be a long one? It's it's same as the other time, but it's I think there's something interesting in it. Oh. I feel like I haven't been here for a while, even though it's been a few days. Hey, you prepared that surveillance camera unit, right? Yeah, so I didn't make it any any weird modifications or anything. It's not like I'm suspicious. Did you get this from Shady Looking Alley? Where those machines were lined up? Yeah, it tweaked a little bit. Then if there are... Hmm, would it be possible to transmit a signal to the hospital from those cameras too? No, that's impossible. Originally, surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors... The video was filmed with a hospital camera. It can be viewed. But if I left it like that, we wouldn't have been able to communicate, so I decided to swap the camera. So that's how you guys were able to view the hospital footage from the music venue, vice versa. However, each surveillance camera unit manages its own broadcast based on specific number. So even if you bring the same model camera, you wouldn't be able to interfere with the signal. Meaning, if another surveillance camera exists, it'd be impossible to broadcast uh -huh. with it. However, I didn't just swap the cameras. I modified them and increased the wireless range. If I hadn't done that, we wouldn't have been able to use it. You're right, you did work on that. I should investigate the lobby first. Why? There's a surveillance camera. Hmm. As long as the music venue surveillance unit is destroyed, it's impossible to broadcast with this. Hey, Hajime, there's something I want to ask you. You first discovered Buki's body music... Yes? Why did you go to the music venue? You had a reason, right? Did you see something on the, with this camera? I also wanted to ask you that. It'd be different if this surveillance unit could record, but it's only good for a household function. Tell me, Hajime. That's exactly it. I saw a strange video. 
It showed the music venue stage. There was a black curtain hanging. But the whole display was pretty dark because hmm, there was a rope hanging from the ceiling. There was a step ladder. There's no blood on it. And right away. Yeah, that's not Ibuki, is it? Person wearing a hospital gown. Tent bag. Weird. I didn't know who it was or their face was discovered. She walked to the step ladder and without hesitation. That's all I saw. The candlelight. Hmm. Modern surveillance cameras have infrared function, so things can. Hmm. But the only thing I got from the machine alley was the old model. Hold on. At the time, you said you didn't know the person wearing the handbag was Ibuki, right? Yeah. You didn't know it was her. But you saw her. Hmm. So you rushed over to the music venue, tried to stop her. But you didn't make it in time. If she climbed the step ladder on her own, does that mean she committed suicide? What do you think, Chiaki? Hmm. Don't think for so long. If you don't know, just be honest about it. I need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. Smile, this is confusing me already. It's supposed to. Help me out with my recovery. You can <laughs> What? Help me with my recovery. You can touch my boobs if you win. No thanks. She was bare, but when she was quiet, be <laughs> what the fuck? She'd beat me up if I said that out loud. Why are you here? I've never been sick or hurt before, so I had no idea, but hospital gowns are pretty comfy. I was thinking I might uh well keep wearing one. Don't tell me you plan on wearing hospital gowns from now on. That's the idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. Hmm. It looks like there was one gown for each patient room. So I thought there'd be more in the empty rooms. There weren't any gowns. Yep, that's right. Ibuki died wearing one, so the only one left was Nagito wearing one. Hmm. If I have no choice, I should be able to use Nagito's unisex, so I'll probably be able to fit in it. Hold on, what happened to the gown you were wearing? Are you saying I should wear the one I I already wore? That's gross. Wearing clothes someone else was wearing is even grosser. No time to dilly-dally. I totally left Mikan back at the music venue. Hmm. Wait, can I go in here? No, you can't. Wait, why can't I go in there? That's Ibuki's room, right? I can't look in any of these rooms, huh? Oh, that's so stupid. Wait, what's in the staff room? This isn't a room of fate. It looks more like a call room. So... From like this exists, that means there used to be people in here. I just realized, what does your level do in this game? Nothing, right? What's this? It's pitch black. I can't see anything. Yeah. Don't turn it on. Mm -hmm. It does there? affect certain things. If you turn on the light, it's going to be fully exposed. It'd be embarrassing. What's fully yeah. exposed? Hey, Hajime, if you poke, you poke out your eyes, you can turn on the light. Wait, what? What are you going to do? Are you going to poke them out? I'm not going to poke them out. 
Ah, bummer. Crawl fail. Sooner she finishes that, I heard the dry. There was a flash of intense light, stung my eyes, squinted in my eyes, started adjusting. And I saw Chiaki had finished opening. Hmm. Surprise, I don't get it. I got it. Got what? The curtains in this conference room are designed to completely black out black block out light. There's a projector in here, so. Hmm. I'm still in the middle of investigating, so it's a secret. She's upset. I guess I'm done investigating the hospital. I should move on to a different place. Is it already time for the trial? What the fuck? Do you uh, have certain idea what happened? Somebody mimicked, or at least somebody tricked Hajime into thinking. Wait, hold up. Wait a minute. I'm lost now. What the fuck? So <laughs> my big thought is they, at the very least, Ibuki was already dead. Um, but I did talk to her. What the fuck? Uh. <laughs> yes. What the fuck? Indeed. So my big thing is, I just feel like Ibuki was manipulated. I feel like Lolly Girl was killed first, and then Ibuki suicided after. But, oh, what the fuck? There's a problem with that theory too. There's a problem with that theory too. <laughs> fuck. Time for the class trial. <laughs> yeah, the problem is that fucking camera. How the fuck did you trick the camera? <laughs> That's what I need to figure out. Oh, I guess there was a second question. <laughs> what? Who's your potential sus list? Hmm. The only tech genius here is Kazuchi. But I feel like that's too easy. Because I feel like the camera was a big trick. That's the problem. And the time of death being unknown is also fucking annoying. Uh... Hmm. Okay. I blame Smile. Did you already have a guess when you reached this part? What the fuck? So... There was a line that somebody said that made that specific person very suspicious. Hmm. Hmm. Right now, I guess my prime suspect is Kazuchi, which kind of sucks. Hmm. He has a quite an adorable smile, doesn't he? With the fucking, what is it, shock teeth? He's a simp, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nekomaru can never die. <laughs> That's actually kind of fucked up. <laughs> but then again, Nekomaru didn't, doesn't really do much in the trials anyway, I guess. So. You gotta take a shit. I gotta take oh, shit. <laughs> he definitely did help with the first trial, though, so I mean. <laughs> She was taking the shit. <laughs> <laughs> she was taking the shit. Uh. Huh? Aw, it's good to know Akane grew close with uh, Nekomaru. <laughs> yeah, she's the athlete and he's a coach. Or manager. Jesus Christ. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, yeah, I forgot to ask you. Who's your least favorite character? Even if they're dead, I don't care. Least favorite character. In two, right? Yeah, two. Uh, um. Yoko might be it. Mm. For me, it's Mikan. Yo, you don't like Mikan the most? Mm, oh, I, yeah. Is it because of her personality? She's she, like a defeatist? And that, I mean, she's not the only one, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, makes sense. Ultimate to me, I find the, uh, uh, the comedic moments kind of funny with her. You mean the fan service? Yes. I was like, did they have to put this in? The answer to them is of course gonna be yes, right? But yes. like, what the fuck? <laughs> my my, it feels pretty toothless with all these empty seats. Two people kill at the same time and Nekamaru's not here either. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I don't think Monokuma would let Nekamaru die. Because then they would trample on his good name. He can't have that happen. Nekomaru will come back a cyborg smile. I believe it. He's gonna have a cybernetic uh, augmentation. When I was with her, hmm. All my pain and suffering just seemed, hmm. Ultimate traditional dancer. We didn't even see her do anything. What is she gonna do? Dance? Mm hmm. Ah, oh, poor Biak. Okay, the only two people I care for who died so far are Biak and Ibuki. They good. I think you might like Peko. But Peko is kind of too simp simpy for me. I like the. I like Peko. She was uh, very loyal to the end. Mm hmm. Hmm. Say my progress. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh, what the? I'm gonna BRB. Okay. Hmm. Oop. Wait, go back. The souls wrote E. Hmm. Strange blah that was stuck where both music venue doors touch each other. Right up to Monokuma's announcement, that morning Mikan was with Hajime. I mean, the whole time afterwards, she took. She went to the hospital to check on everyone and realized Ibuki had disappeared. When she rushed out of the hospital to search for Ibuki, she finally met up with. Hmm. I am back. Oh, are you looking through the evidence notes? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yoko was distraught because her kimono was disheveled. She was unable to tie her own kimono when Sonia. Hmm. to death. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna assume that Monokuma wouldn't let us tamper with the bodies, right? Tamper with the bodies? Like, look at the da look at the actual cut of her throat. Oh yeah, yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't usually does do that. At least to the uh, the player. Okay. Because hmm. I was asleep the whole time. Even if you do grasp it, you're just going to confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? But Nagitone is not alone. I don't really get it either. Your head's empty anyway. Empty head? What's wrong with that? Listen up. The emptier your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside it. Guys, guys. Anyway, we shouldn't proceed the trial of those who can't participate in the argument. Since he's the first witness, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident? The hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, Akane, who were infected, Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. The other five team, myself, Gundam, Kazuchi, Chiaki, Hyoko. I woke up at my cottage on the day of the incident. Mikan came by to wake me up and told me Nagito had recovered from his symptoms. When I pressed the button, what appeared on the screen was... Video of someone wearing hospital gown, yeah. すごい。ドキドキする話だね。もちろん止めようとしたに急いで病院を飛び出して通信先のカメラが設置されているライブハウスに走った。でも間に合わなかったの。駆けつけたライブハウスではすでに朝袋をかぶった人物が首を吊
Well, obviously because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? Uh, he's a piece of shit and he already knows this. <laughs> like, how, how is he gonna, like, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, you piece of fucking shit. <laughs> you actual piece of shit. Oh, oh my god, smile. <laughs> Why does Tana Dude, like this character? Why? Is this the one when Nagito is blaming you? <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. yeah. And he I literally, he literally gave me the opening to counter the argument. I'm like, what the actual fuck? What? Well, in the grand <laughs> scheme of things, he is kind of helping you. Oh, of course you're not. I already knew that. So, <laughs> huh? Before the incident, Hajime had never watched the movie. His invitation ticket is the proof of that. Each person received one ticket in the mark of the stamp that shows the date and time. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Which means there's no way Hajime, whoever, who never saw the movie, could commit the murder. Oh, what the fuck? Or did anyone tell him what happens in the movie? Of course no one did, right? Nagito, what are you doing? Well, since we're opening your witness testimony, I thought we would solidify the foundation. It also proves a good warm-up. <laughs> what warm-up? This isn't a game, you know? <laughs> Don't get mad at it. Oh my god. Why oh, does she like this character? Yuruma can get good. Huh? <laughs> Yuruma can get so like good. Why are you reading the manga? Just watch the anime. <laughs> oh my god. What a waste of time. Well, I knew it would turn out like this anyway. So this means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself. I'm positive. That seals it. Ibuki committed suicide. If Ibuki commits suicide, then who killed Hiyoko? How long would you say you were away from the music venue? For more than 10 minutes. The killer blocked the venue door from inside to try to keep us from entering right away. That door is the only entrance to the music room, right? If they blocked the door from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. Probably right. Which means we were we broke down the door, the killer was still inside. If that's the case. That's two of you, Sonia and Kazuchi. What the hell? Hmm. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door together. If Akane, Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person... Hmm. There's another person who doesn't have an alibi, you know, Nekamaru. Me too. <laughs> what the fuck? You're kidding, right? You're not up to something weird. Please stop making bad jokes. Anyway, if the killer was hiding inside the venue, we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. What a wicked way of backing us into a wall. Is this his professional skill? The killer was inside the music venue. Fuyuhiko obviously thinks so, but is that really it? Why does, uh... Why does Tana hate Akane? Hmm? Why does Tana hate Akane? Why does she hate Akane? Yeah. Maybe jealousy. By locking the door from the inside. It's all for time. How do they lock the door? Oh, 
折れたドラムスティックのことかあれをつっかい棒にすれば鍵になるそうやって中にかけるのかな Hiding something. Waited till we gathered together and suddenly appeared. So they look like they just rushed over. I have seen this serial, Crime and Dramas. Hmm. Okay, so I can't do that. Hmm. I need to. There we go. Hmm. Wait, what the? Oh, fuck! Ah. Uh. Hmm. From the inside. Step ladder, summon transfer glob. Wait. Hmm. Surveillance monitor video. It's our room key. From Okay. Hold on a sec. There's also a possibility that the door was locked from the outside. There was a semi transparent lob stuck to the. It wasn't rubber at all. It had a firm gel like chewness. Smelled like workshop chemicals. Based on all that, it was glue. I didn't know glue was edible. It's not. そのせいで扉が触れる部分だきっと閉じた扉の隙間から流し込むことでそのせいで扉が接着する面に接着剤の塊が残った。でも接着剤でくっつけただけだと本当にドアが破られちゃいますよ。別にいいんだよ。犯
日向が最初にライブハウスに行った時でその後にみんなと一緒に行ってみたらでも It's possible the body was revealed at the time when Hiyoko was actually killed earlier. Just revealed. Of course, the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that too. That scrap of paper. That's right. Hangman's Gambit already. Oh, piece of shit. Uh, son of a bitch. What was the rip piece of paper that was stuck to the baton lighting? Just the W, what the fuck? I don't know, I was taking carpet. What the fuck? Uh. Carpet? Yeah, shut up. No, I mean before I actually put up, put down the W. That's crap. There was also a tear along the paper. If you overlay the scrap of paper on the lighting with the tear. なるほど。照明バトンに引っかかっていた紙の切れ端は元はその壁紙の一部だったのですね。で、それがどうしたんだ？サイオンジの死体が。そんなの僕なんかは答えるまでもなく。切れ端の正体を簡単に見破るほど
I mean, I can slow it down. Why did the killer you? Oh, what the? Whoa, 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 whoa. What did the fighter body? Hmm. Oh, I guess I can use WASD. What the fuck? Never mind. Oh, I've been using my mouse the entire fucking time. <laughs> I was wondering why you were doing that. But... Cause I, I don't know. At first, I, I when I first noticed it was only mouse only, I was like, "What the fuck?" Huh? I mean, not mouse only. When I when I was moving with my mouse, I thought it was mouse only. Cause I was using yeah W W and uh, S to uh, slow down and go faster. How did the killer hide her body with the wallpaper? Hmm. Hey, I got it. Bam, bam, bam. Yoko's body was hidden before we found it. むしろ最初から張り付けにされてて、その柱ごと壁が。ああ、柱ごと一回り大きい柱に隠されてたせいで気づけなかっただけなんだ。まあ、気づけなくても無理ないよね。ミオダさんの死体の方にね。その壁紙を吊るすのに天井の照明バトンを使ったのですか照明バトンは柱をぐる
What the fuck? First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hyoko was killed. How low class creature with no physical ability, psychic abilities, like you know something like that. Because she was doing something, only possible her feet were on the floor. You're one to talk. Anyway, if this continues, we're just gonna talk in circles. I think it's best if we clarify Buki's status. I'm telling you present, your evidence. Did you see her walking? Then there was a sign. Uh, there we go. Just as Sonia said, Ibuki stepped on something. Then it's Hyoko's blood. Hyoko only wound was placed. Hmm. If Ibuki stepped on her blood, it means Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was mortally wounded. What the fuck? <laughs> Gundam, you need to stop. Is that it? A shepherd dressed on so what the fuck? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Are you sure? If I show you how serious I am, the world might be destroyed, you know? Ah. Uh, you're so frightened, you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. However, time for conviction. Ah, it says, hmm. As. Mm. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, you piece of shit. Oh, what the fuck? I wasn't even able to read everything because I was trying to choose my fucking thing. Oh, what the f- uh, uh, Smile, I fucked up. You gotta cut it. Oh, what the fuck? There we go. That's not it. There's a reason there was no blood on the floor. It's because the killer wiped it away afterwards. Yes, I do. If you look closely, there's a streak on the floor. Blood was wiped away. The bleeding will stop once her heart stops. Hmm. Aside from Mika, none of us were aware of that fact. The killer probably did not know it either. I didn't know the time of death because of the heater. Fine then, but regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit. Hmm. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. Hey, if victims actually commit suicide, what are we supposed to do? Same as always, you have to vote for who the killer is. A suicide means you killed the most important existence of all, yourself. Forcing that means there's no black in to punish, but I guess in a pinch I can always punish Monomi. Mm, smile, can we always punish Monomi? 
I understand Hiyoko's death, but I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. For example, it's possible Ibuki killed Hiyoko, taking him to suicide, with guilt of conscience. Hmm. She would never kill her, to begin with. She was affiliated by despair disease, remember? Anything can happen. But if Ibuki is Ibuki's the killer, she would have been able to falsify the si hmm. After Hajime saw the hanged body, the sudden appearance of Yoko's body soon after means the killer had to be alive at that time. Then she was alive. When Hajime first discovered Ibuki, she was just pretending to be dead. If she waited until Hajime left, that's when she could have made her move and messed up with the crime scene. Hmm. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. Anyone touched her? There's no doubt somebody, someone killed those two. I'm glad. Now I'm free to search for the killer. There's still one more issue on my mind. If Ibuki didn't commit suicide, then what was that video Hajime saw? According to the video you saw, Ibuki was by herself when she climbed on a stepladder, right? Then does that mean someone forced her to do it? Don't say it all proud. Putting that aside, it seems obvious that the killer did something. I like how they forgot that she was so compliant when she was, uh, yeah. Since Hajime has seen the video, it is very clear what time the crime took place. It's a cheap surveillance, you know? There's no way I'd have some kind of sweet recording feature. Oh, I, okay, now I know how they did it. Okay. Hmm. I was like, how the fuck? Hmm. Are we at that point already? Okay. I I don't think it's Kazuchi now. I changed my mind. Who do you think it is? I don't know who it is, but my assumption is the camera was stolen. They rigged it in the conference room, and then they destroyed a fake one. They grabbed parts from the place, and then the one down there isn't a real one. The one and that you don't have Kazuchi today. Mm. You want me to say it, guys? <laughs> If you don't want to, you don't have to. Mm. That means... I guess Sonya would be the biggest. Mm. That means the time the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. They would just have to find the person who doesn't have an alibi during that time. Now then, I shall issue my decree. Let the operation destroy the weakest alibi commence. What about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone in the motel room was doing that. If nobody has an alibi, then Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi. Huh. There we go. Hold on, not all of us are missing out an alibi. In fact, Mika and I both have alibis. Up until I saw the hanging video, Mikan and I were all together for a while. <laughs> what the fuck? I accidentally fell asleep on top of Hajime. 
Too much info. It's not like that. She came to tell me Nagito's condition had improved. I get it. You guys have alibis. If that's the case, the killer must be someone else. Killer decided to falsify the murder sequences. I had the actual time of the crime anyway. It was like Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi. Backfired. But committing imitation murder. Baking the time of the crime occurrence by falsifying the murder sequence. I knew their alibi in the process. Was that the only reason the killer made both bodies? I feel really bad for confusing guys so much, but that's how I feel. I think the killer had a completely different reason falsifying the murder sequence. Hey, what's up, Toad? Ah, uh, part two, isn't it? Piece of shit. Knew it! Hmm. Wait, Monomi likes moss balls? What the fuck? <laughs> I got an hour to chill at work since I finished doing everything I had to do. Hey, nice. Uh, Monomi, you piece of shit. The reason the killer did an imitation murder is the reason. Hmm. Something got quiet in here. Did I confuse you? If so, I wish I could die from the self-loathing. If that's the case, it would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. If that happened, the imitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? That rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Seriously, just shut up already forever. But thinking about it again, he's totally right. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie. It's not just that, come on. Try to remember the content of the movie. The lion got killed. Even though we're calling it imitation, the lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? But Hyoko was suspended with the common household duct tape. Maybe they just use a common substitute because it's too difficult to imitate an arrow. But that attitude is what makes it feel incomplete. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning. I'm saying Hyoko's murder wasn't. What? Yoko's murder wasn't planned? Um, I understand the imitation wasn't enough, but are you making a bunch of assumptions? Hmm. I don't know that I work every day except Tuesday next week. Wait, what the fuck? Damn, I didn't think you work full time, what the fuck? Oh, poor Toad. Wait, he is? Uh, yeah, he says he's working every day except Tuesday next week. The fuck? Exactly. <laughs> you okay, Toad? It's not okay? just it's not just a poor imitation. There are also other strange details. Strange details like what? For example, why did Hiyoko go to the music venue? What's her hour shift? Oh. I have no freaking clue what you're saying. However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark uh Maybe the killer summoned her. Maybe she got abducted. Maybe went on her own free will. Does, huh? 
Can I look at these fucking bullets, please? Surveillance, AC temperature, blood on souls, motel room key. Wait, can I copy these? No, I cannot. It's always around three to three or four to eleven to twelve. Wait, eleven to twelve. Guys, Toad. <laughs> Toad, you're working overtime, my guy. Hmm. Wait, so you're what eight hours? Eight hours a day. For six days a week? The fuck? Yeah. So forty eight hours. Got it. Oh. So he's working forty eight hours. Oh. Sister Sonia said she went to the music venue of her own free will. If no one called for her, then why did she go? Yoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. I work five days a week. But you said you're working every day but Tuesday next week. I'm guessing he's covering shift or something. Yeah. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that. Wait, what the fuck? Are you saying my gut was wrong? This could be my first and the last highlight of the day. Wait, that's not the issue. Why is Akane so mad? Is... Yoko... Wait. She definitely got abducted or something. でも鍵なんて犯人がかけたんだ。ホテルの鍵が懐に <laughs> this is going too fast. Uh oh, what? Wait, what are you, what are you on about? Uh, <laughs> no, you know what? Oh. Uh. Wait, nope, that's not gonna work. Fuck. I'm trying to think. God damn it. I, like, it's... Oh, just give me a sec. There we go. Fuck. The reason Hiyoko's kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. 
その着付けが西洋寺さんはご自身の着物の着付けにはきっとそれも彼女が部屋に閉じこもってたことの理由ですから私が彼女に教えて差し上げたのですライブハウスになら大きな鏡があるのでそれを使ってみたらいかがでしょうかとじゃああいつの服が乱れてたのはああ She went to the venue on her own to fix up her messed up kimono. Burn me, take off my clothes, do whatever you want to me. Hajime, now's your chance. Make her admit defeat. Better yet, make her do a little something, something. What the fuck? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Then the killer probably couldn't have assumed Yoko to go to the music venue. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Seems quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps you could. The fuck? What do you mean for my sake? Of course, I've already overlooked no less than 10 opportunities to kill you. Even if the killer couldn't predict why did Kyoko get killed in the music venue? When she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked on, on the crime scene. She was killed there because. Does the killer use the coincidence for their crime? つまりその The killer's plan from the beginning, I'm pretty sure we're very close. Hey Nagito, any ideas? How long are you gonna stay quiet? Oh, am I allowed to speak? I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. Everyone actually needs help from scum like me. <laughs> I was thinking about it for a while, I had my mouth shut, but now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. What are you talking about? I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. But now I remember, there was blood on Ibuki's slippers. So she faked her death and walked onto the music venue tampering with the crime scene. There would be bloody footprints in various places throughout the venue. So that's why I think there was no way she faked her death. Really? If Ibuki had blood on her feet, there'd be footprints all over the place. That's strange. I see, it's not something we finished talking about. Those footprints, there's still an important clue left. Not gonna lie, Nagito was OP in this trial. He really was. <laughs> What the fuck? Hmm. I'm a Nomito bag that was sold. Wait. I bring this up? Wait, I'm trying to bring up the second tote bag, goddammit. There was two. There were two of them, goddammit. Uh, son of a bitch. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. 
Wait, so this is why there wasn't any footprints. Hmm. Well, time to take a shot. If Ibuki used the step ladder to hang herself, it's strange that there was any footprints on it. The step ladder was completely clean. No, the footprints are. Hmm. You notice such a small maze. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what are you talking about? You were obviously leading us to this. That's why you brought up the suicide topic after all. Nagito Komaida, you're definitely someone I shouldn't underestimate. But didn't you say you saw the video of Ibuki climbing the ladder? Unless there was something funny about that video. Hajime, leave it in your hands. Wait, fuck, get rid of the text. Spot. Mm. So. Mm. Uh. That's right, I remember now. There was definitely something strange in the video. It's true, the step ladder. There wasn't any blood stains on the step ladder in that video. It was completely clean. それなのに現場の脚立に付着。その直前に見た映像だと付着してないなんて。うん。No mm. way the video. There's no way the video is recorded in advance. その2台が別の脚立。脚立が2台あったってのか。いや、別の脚立などどこにある。ライブハウスにあった脚立は、じゃあ、どっちかの脚立はライブハウス以外の場所にあったんだ。どういう意味です。その映像の中で別物だったのは脚立だけじゃないって意味でしょう。すごいよ、ななみさん。さすがゲーム
Oi. 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 Wow, atrocious. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, what the? Bree. I'm gonna guess you don't know what the word is in the front. Son of a bitch! Okay, can you just give me a minute? I really do not know what that word is in the front. I'm going to die. First of all, there's too much happening on my screen, I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. <laughs> well, I'm quite shocked. Just letting you know. Oi. Are you okay, buddy? You need more coffee? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I forgot I could do this. <laughs> uh. So, uh, it's a rip smile. I'm sorry. It's okay. You can try again. I like how... Oh, what the fuck? At least you know the first uh, part of the... Word. Oi. Jeez. <laughs> okay, smile. It's uh uh Oi. Huh. What the? How the fuck was I supposed to see that? Okay, I'll take the loss. What the fuck? Filming. Okay, I'm sorry. What happened? Okay, uh, let's try that again. God damn it. I'm sorry. I just wish there was a pot. I mean, I could just do that, I guess, to kind of give myself a second. Do you know what the second word is? Uh, give me a sec. Let me go back. Uh. Okay, give me a sec. L O. Hmm. Filming. Oh, uh, fuck. Filming. L O. What could it be? What could it be? Wait, how many words? How many letters? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll give you a hint. Next letter is the first letter of cat. Uh. Okay, let's try this again. I'm just gonna have to take a guess. I'm, I, I, I really <laughs> fuck this. Oi! Holy oh. shit. What? <laughs> oh no. Wow. That panel is actually really nice. Shit. Smile. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're, you're there. You already oh, yeah. know the uh, next three letters. Oh shit. Son of a bitch. Why do you do this to me? I already gave you a hint what the next letter is. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to be rude. I, I, I'm sorry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, son of a bitch! <laughs> uh, I did say the first letter of cat. Why do you do this to me? <laughs> I 
And you know what the second letter is? Oh, second fuck, letter fuck. of cats. Oh, I actually got it. Oh, location. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> the third letter is the third letter of cat. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> fuck, I can't believe is... I gave you the fucking thing and you didn't get it. Uh, is this, this, I need a T. Oh, uh, that's funny. That was really funny. I can't play or actually remember this. I was just reading the whole time. Oh, what the, dude. Oh, fuck this. Uh. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. You can have a cookie. This is a nice cookie. I mean, the video I saw was not filmed at the music venue. In order to show us that they filmed the video at the music venue instead of somewhere else, what did the killer do to the surveillance unit? He... Hey, this again. Do you like the new mini games that they added or no? It's okay. Actually, um first oh, time through I enjoyed it. Which part of the surveillance camera unit did the killer tamper with? Oh, they added a new one. It gets more interesting later down the line too. No, oh, I fucked up! Wait, what? Bye. Okay. Hmm. So they messed with the camera, huh? Okay, there we go. Fuck. <laughs> he moves so slow. Uh, maybe I should just slow down. <laughs> maybe I should slow down. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, I'll slow down. Fuck. Oof. He just goes so slow. What the fuck? Just keep going. Can you not read the? I mean, you can see the next pattern. Coming no, no, out. no, 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 no. So I tried doing like the going full speed ahead and just like keep turning, but he still fell. Huh? Did the killer tamper with the camera at the music venue or the hospital? I'm just surprised they don't make you parkour a little more. Yeah, interesting. If you can hear clicking, I'm sorry. Question three. What did the killer do with the camera from the music venue surveillance unit? We did it, smile! Hey. That's it, the killer just brought the camera from the music venue with it. They made... Hmm. Then the only monitor... Then... Only the monitor... それって... ひなたが最初の時点で気づいてりゃよかっただけじゃねえのか。死体を発見してしまったのですから、カメラどころではありませんよ。それもそうなんだけど、犯人はカメラがないことを気づかれにくくするために残ったモニターの方に。そうか。
The killer smashed the monitor to pieces, destroying it. As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. It's easy to say it filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. The fact that he was able to connect between the hospital and the music venue is amazing enough. Oh, it does. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How many fucking letters is that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want a hint? Wait, I want to try something. Shut up. Don't, don't. Hmm. Hmm. Dumb bitch. Oh fuck, give me this. Might as well. Are you? Uh. <laughs> Not the letter I was thinking of. Fuck. Does us ha. Ha. Well, I I hate this. Hey, you're getting it. Oh, I fucked up. Sebizes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very stressed out. <laughs> there, there. <clears throat> oh, wait, fuck. As. Ignore that. Oh, I should have saved that. I should have saved that too. Son of a bitch. Oh, <laughs> uh, why do I do this to myself? There we go. Oi. That was a lot easier than the last one, huh? Yes. So Mikan is the killer. I guess, I don't know. There's no way the conference room and the music venue look the same. Oi, calm down there, buddy. Does the conference Or did they make... Wait, what the fuck? Hajime, you're, you're pretty stupid. <laughs> yes. Uh, did the... Ah, son of a bitch! I was trying to agree with you! You look got it right. Oh, I'm trying to think. Step ladder, surveillance unit, AC temperature. Yeah, it's literally just the fucking curtain. Did the conference room look like the venue? 
Or did the music venue look like the conference room? Son of a bitch! I'm just reacting now, fuck! I'm sorry, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll actually think this one through, fuck. Did the conference room look like the... What the... There we go, got it. Was make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using black curtains hanging from the backstage. Well, your face looks stupid. <laughs> what the fuck? That curtain was hung so the music venue would look like the conference room. I see the conference room indeed. <laughs> Something else the killer did to make the music okay, can I fucking read the question? Something else the killer did to make the music venue look like the conference room. It's gotta be what? Something else the killer did to make the music venue look like a conference room. Is this? Oh, it is. You're referring to the candle. In the... In the video, I saw a candle used for lighting, because, but if you think about it, it's pretty strange. The music venue has good lighting, so there's no reason to use candlelight. The lighting in the conference room. That candle was likely placed just to make me think that it was the same candle. But it appears the killer have already covered that up, so I didn't find anything that I went up there. The motel would have been too far in the interior design. You never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. The incident isn't happening at the scene of the crime. It's occurring in the conference room. I feel like I've heard Bayside cops say before. Hmm. Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital conference room. Then Ibuki was at the conference room too? No. Right after Hajime saw the video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. The video was filmed at the conference room, but Ibuki's body was at the venue, which means there was a fake somewhere. The fake must have been. Which means there was a fake somewhere. The fake must have been. Fake for what? The person wearing the hem bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. It was the killer pretending to be Ibuki. The killer put it put on the hospital gown. 
wore a handbag on their head and was pretending to be, pretending to be the victim. The actual time of death must have been earlier, probably around midnight or dawn. If they took the buki from the music venue to the hospital to kill her. At that moment. Hmm. And the one trap for me was... So why did the killer go to the trouble making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? The reason the killer made a fake video, there's only one possibility I can think of. Are you saying you already know who the killer is? That's right, I should already know. I should have already known. The killer is... There we go, Yulik. Go, go. There we go. Mikan, you're the killer, aren't you? What are you talking about? <laughs> like I said, aren't you the killer who murdered Ibuki and Hyoko? I'm the killer? What is this? Hey, which... Don't you think that's kind of impossible? A chick like her is the killer. She couldn't even kill a fly in the fact. A clumsy slowpoke like me, killing someone. I was kind of hoping she would die. <laughs> now that you mentioned, you guys brought that up earlier. Only Hajime and Mikan have an alibi. You're the only one who could have filmed the video in the hospital conference room. Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep. Then if you insist, I will use the... Hmm. At that time, you said you were going on call room. But you actually, you actually went to the conference room. That's when you put on the hospital gown and you prepared in advance. Put the bag on your head, began filming. By doing that, you made up the video that showed Ibuki. Uh, what the fuck? And showed that to me. Furthermore, I saw that video at the hospital lobby. If someone wants to go to the conference room from the outside, they must pass through the lobby. So it's impossible someone who was already in the hospital went to the conference room to film. The others in the hospital, Akane and I, were both delirious from the despair disease. Wait, are you saying I'm the killer? That's impossible. There's no way I could kill someone. It's not literally impossible. Can't you give a better defense than that? It just shows she can't even do that. You sure this chick is really the killer? Wrong. It's totally wrong. It's not what you think. Just like Akane said, it's really hard to tie it all together. I mean, Mikan is the killer. That slow-witted remark is not necessary. In a tournament for social punching bags, I'd win first place. Even I can't deny that. How many times do I have to tell you it's impossible for me to kill so I'm serious? Do you still believe this woman is the killer? Um, everyone's ganging up on me. Is she capable of doing something like this? Hmm. No, in fact, hmm. Smile, is this where they're gonna make me do a multiple choice? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, can you hold on a minute? Huh? I know I'm being intrusive, and I mean, I have no place to say this. I missed all the critical parts, and I I doubt I have anything worth saying important, like, hmm. But still, there's no way I can overlook the killer this time. Huh? I thought it was suspicious all along from the very beginning. Investigating with a suspect in mind creates a different result. Nagito dance moves. Uh, <laughs> smile. <laughs> what kind of name is that? What kind of name is that? <laughs> well, thanks to that, I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. Are you serious? I've been focused on everybody else this trial, but I guess now is a good time to say it, right? Better hurry. Hmm. Actually, this is a game. I love Monokuma. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking amazing. This uh, is a fucking game. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't say such controversial statements. <laughs> what do you know, Nagito? It's nothing big, only a small decisive clue that points to the killer. 
That's a huge deal. A decisive coup. Let's take a look, shall we? Regardless. Okay, fuck. I really gotta take a leak, and this trial is taking forever. Just go take the leak and come back. Real okay, quick. fine. I'll take a leak. I'm sorry, guys. Give me a sec. Oh, fuck. Smile. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm just doing fucking Chronicle Quest while reading you to a. Okay, holy fuck. Welcome back. Th that took a while. <laughs> fuck. No, that was pretty quick. Oh, son of a bitch. Regarding the rope Ibuki was dangling from, this rope was supplied from the super by the supermarket, right? There weren't any ropes inside the music venue. Again, with the supermarket, that place is a hotspot for criminal goods. If they got it from the super, that means it's brand new, right? What's wrong with that? I want to take a close look at this rope and keep in mind it's brand new. Near the middle of the rope, it's frayed as if it was rubbed strongly. But why is it like this? The loop Ibuki used to hang herself. And the part of the rope on lighting the other end. It means, well, from what I can infer, I think the rope was used like this. The killer wrapped the rope around Ibuki's neck and strangled her. The center of the rope is frayed because of that. Hmm. Hold on, I've been listening to you for a while, and it sounds like you knew about this rope clue all along. What exactly did you say to me during the investigation? So the rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search for another place. Not everyone cooperates at a class trial. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here too. Just like this case is killer. I was just copying them a little bit. Huh? More importantly, what was about the rope and the killer strangle Ibuki and then? And then I finished speaking. Huh? How is that a de decisive clue? You mean to notice? I thought I made the decisive clue. Hmm. N Nagito's words contain a very decisive clue. Is that really true? Rope used for hanging, scrap, music venue. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. Those scars they leave would look different. The body of the crime scene was hanged. He never specified hanging. Whoever misunderstood is to blame. What the fuck? That's me. Uh, she needs to die. Smile, is it sad for me to say I want her to die? You want her to be dead? Yes. <laughs> she was strangled to death. Uh, son of a bitch. Ah, fuck. 
Shut up, Nagito. But he is kind of the MVP here. Fuck my life. The scars, they would leave. Look different. You mean the rope burn, right? Did we fall for somebody's lie? The body of the crime scene was hanged, you know. Son of a bitch! I'm trying to agree with you! Guys! I need to look at all these again. What are my options? Hmm. ミオドさんは首を吊ったわけじゃなくて首を絞められて殺されたんだよ。似たようなもんだろ。首吊りと考察は首の戦場根、戦場根。え、マンに僕らが首吊りと思い込んだ。それってどうしてかな。誰かの
あれを見れば首吊りだと思って当然モドクマファイルの情報不足も首吊りか考察かは明記してなかったからなデズデズデズデズデズ Can I look at all your bullets? <sighs> Bot. Uh, music venue curtain, surveillance camera unit, AC temperature, rope for use for hanging, which is a big one I've been using a lot. It's that one. Which one? Rope used for hanging. Seriously? Yes. Wait, why did you not shoot it? That, I, that, I already tried that. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll try again just for you, just so you can see it. I'll, I'll lose some health, but last time I didn't go through. Why did you go past it again? You weren't talking about that one? <laughs> no, the one before with Kazichi's. <laughs> no wonder you were getting it wrong. Thank you! Wait, why does this in this match? I actually don't get it. So, that's what happened. We've been falling for the killer's lie the whole time. There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hung. Remember, Mikan was the one who did the autopsy? Yeah. Yes, she had no other external injuries. I see, so Ibuki died by hanging herself. You said Ibuki hung herself, but that was a complete lie, wasn't it, Mikan? That is, well, you told us the wrong cause of death. You lied, didn't you? You should have been able to tell the difference between hanging and strangling just by looking. You, Mikan, the ultimate nurse. Please wait. First of all, I'm not a coroner, so I don't have the medical knowledge to identify injuries like that. And you have been a great help to us so far. But even a drunk medical student can notice the difference between a hang and a strangulation. I'm not taking her side or anything, but being clumsy and unskilled in this area could lead to a mistake. Mikan nursed me, and I got better. There's no way I'm going to doubt her. Don't you think her devotion to nursing is what helped her draw Ibuki to her death? And if not, her symptoms were still very serious and caused her to believe what anybody told her. It wouldn't surprise me if she willingly followed Mikan because she was nursing her. So Mikan volunteered to nurse us because she was planning to do this all along. That's a little... Aren't you like the thief who suspects everyone of being thieves? I'm not a criminal, Mikan is. I mean, she's a killer, you know. You got it all along. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can forgive you. I just can't forgive this crime at all. Forgiveness or not, we still have not decided if Mikan is the killer. I see you guys are kind. If that's the choice everyone makes, hmm. But is it really okay? Is that everyone's hope? But I'm really not the killer. There's no way. Is that really true? Stop it already, that's enough. I can't stop. I don't want to do this either, of course I don't want to do this. But I need to do this. You doubt your friends? That's not it. I suspect them because I want to believe them. What the hell does that mean? I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. I do doubt her, but I still believe her. Belief lies... Hmm. If you want to believe in someone, you need to overcome doubt first. Belief without doubt is simply a lie. Fine, do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. Is that all you can say? So in the end, you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? Justifying your actions with fancy words, making excuses. Everyone always treats me like that. Always. It's all her fault. She's the one who's the problem. 
I'm done with that. You hear me? I'm done. Hey, Mikan. It's not fair. It's not fair. Huh. Why won't you forgive me? If you did something wrong, you'd forgive yourself right away. Is acting like this your strategy now? Plus, to be honest, I've run out of ideas. How can we get you to admit it? That's the issue. You don't have any clues. We don't... Why don't we... Wait. I'm the same as Hajime. Hmm. But still, the truth is one of us murdered two of our friends. That's why I stick with this until the very end. Can I ask you one last thing? If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watched? Like I said, it obviously wasn't me. Then can you prove it? Prove it? Wait. Do you have any proof that I'm the one who fabricated that video? Because you're just assuming the video was filmed at the conference room. Treating me like a killer based on assumption just because I was at the hospital. Why does everybody hate me? Please just... What the hell? It seems she finally started arguing for us. Huh? But only... Hmm. The only one who can find the holes in her argument is you, Hajime. Why do you- wait, why do you get to decide if I'm the killer? Where's your proof? I need to make up my mind. Mmm, I'm kinda happy she's about to die. I, mean, I, say, I do pity her a little bit. Why? You'll see in the anime. Ooh. Is the hospital gown she was wearing? Or, wait, or could it be the hospital? Wait, Ibuki Mikan clearly... You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Dim light candles? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type. Hajime, pay close attention. You're the one who can point out the killer's mistake. I'm the only one who saw the video. Uh, what the fuck? We, can, we can't think of anybody else other than you. Who could have filmed that video? Do you have any proof? Is the helm bag on her head proof? Is the hospital gown the proof? Or could it be the hospital slippers? You, you could tell her body type? From the camera angle? What the fuck? You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. I can't prove that she was the one who got the helm bag either. <sighs> Fucking hell. その人が被ってた朝袋が証拠ですか彼女が来てた患者服が怪しいんですかそれとも履いてた病院靴ですか三葉田と積木は体型が明らかその体型が証拠になりますか患者服の下の体型が判別できたんですかあの映像だけであん
Uh, need help? No, no, no. Like, I'm trying to remember, like, the whole freaking conversation with Akane. There was hospital gown missing. And she was the only one there. And I don't think you could really tell anything from a hospital gown. Uh... Okay, let me go back into this. Fuck. I'm not the killer. You can't think of anybody other than you. Or is it the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or is it because... I like how you're saying it's simple. You know what? I'm gonna take a guess. Smile. Why can't she just die? <laughs> uh, I think you're really close. Nope, I was wrong. Did you say there was a person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head in the video? I haven't made a mistake at all. Hmm. Do you have any proof? Uh, out of curiosity, am I supposed to copy something? So, I'll give you a little hint. She made a mistake. Okay. If it's not, um, we can be here all night, I guess. Uh. I think the next part is what might get you though. Hospital gown. What the fuck? Wait, what? Did you shoot? No. No. Do you have any proof? Okay, think about it, you like. Um, it's only something that Hajime saw, right? It's only something that Hajime saw. And I did kind of hint at you that it was her mistake. Okay. Uh... And also, Tana, you can't just straight out tell him like that. <laughs> Hand bag on her head, or the hospital gown, or the hospital slippers she had on. Is that really your proof? The body type under the hospital gown. Just from the video. Just from that camera angle. I was just saying, you can't just tell him copy killer's mistake. Shit! Son of a- <sighs> What the fuck? <laughs> I despise Mikan. 
会議室で映像君以外に考えたその人がこの手彼女が着てたそれとも履いてたミオだと積み切ったその体型が三十服の下の体型は判別できない I guess I'll give you a second hint What was he watching? What do you mean? 薄暗いろうそくの明かりだけで正確な体験だから日向君犯人のミスを指摘できるのも君だけだよ I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I think the next hint will just give it away, <laughs> so I'll just hold off for a little bit. Hospital gown. Thank you, like, think! <laughs> You're actually killing my head. Well, I'm sorry if I'm fucking this up. No, it, it's okay. Um, okay, uh, maybe you weren't thinking about why Hagumi is the one that's being put on the table here. Not really, because the one thing that's killing me is what the fuck? <laughs> Dude. Oh, uh, give me a sec. Why can't I figure this out? It's just more of like... It's... <sighs> just take a breather, you like. It's actually a lot simpler than you think if you think about the situation. I really can't because these fucking credit... Like these freaking words just freaking fly by. Uh. You are doing the initial action, correct? You just have to figure out where to shoot to. I'm trying to figure it was killer's mistake because none of these freaking bullets that they're giving me is, uh. She says something. She says something that's wrong. Or, yeah, contradicting. And it was something only Hajime could tell. Something only Hajime could tell. Like, my second hint was, what was he watching? Give me a sec, let me actually copy this fucking bullet. Uh. I'm not the killer, shut the fuck up. You can't think of anybody else other than you. Who could have filmed that video? Do you have any proof? Is the hem bag on her head? Where's the hospital slipper she had on? Uh, I hate myself. So, my next hint that I could think of is all these hints are very similar, but one of them is really not. I should add in that all the other hints are details. There we go. My brains are dying. <laughs> you okay there, bud? My brain is dying. As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw the video. What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. So how can you, how can you talk, how, say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself? Exactly. She, she done goofed up. <laughs> it's because you're the person who actually filmed the video, is that right? This is your reward. The more desperate you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. You lied, didn't you? Are you serious? Is it true, Mikan? Did you kill Yoko and Ibuki? Huh? 
I was wrong. No, 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 that's not it at all. I mean, it's impossible. You know, that handbag Buki was wearing when she died. That tote bag instead. I totally remember now. What the heck is wrong with her? She's getting weirder by the minute. That tote bag isn't the same one that girl was running the video. How do you know so much about the vi that video? Who cares about that? More importantly, did you know that bag is limited item was sold at movie theater? Aizume saw it too, didn't you? So don't you think it's impossible? Using one tote bag, both conference rooms, and the music venue at the same time? Blame the obvious, it's, that's impossible, don't you think? Taking your stubbornness this far, that's such despair. Long time, no see. Well, panic talk action. What the fuck? Yup, I told you. The next part might kill your brain so more. Are you serious? Remember, I was screaming I camera end, angle. My, my brain cells are killing. From this point on, you will need one bullet to destroy one remark. When you're out of bullets, no matter what, left mouse button, refresh your bullets by pressing tab button to reload. Ah! I hate you, smile. I told you. I hate you. I told you that wasn't the problem. I hate you. I hate you so <laughs> much. <laughs> you did this! I I'll keep like, explaining it until you realize this. He still has a rhythm game. <laughs> Uh, that's why that crime is impossible for anyone to pull off. At this rate, we're not getting we're not getting anywhere. Smile, killer, please. You're the one who has to deal the final blow. I, I kind of hate hearing her voice, I'm not going to lie to you. Fuck is it? There we go. Almost there. Oh wait, we're not done yet. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> when you buy one tote bag, you get another one for free. It's common practice. Uh. Why? Why can't you forgive me? Why? It seems her desperate struggle is finally coming to an end. <laughs> uh, you can. It's already over. Closing argument. Mm-hmm. Stock one. Hmm.
Okay, some of these don't go anywhere, son of a bitch. Okay. Wait, that doesn't go there, fuck. Last stock. Wow, th this was quick. What the fuck? Uh, you look fucked up. After this, the interesting bit comes up. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Like, does she go crazy? Mm. Or do we see her back? Why she's doing this? You'll see why she's doing this. That's why I'm gonna start with to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to the hospital with Mikan this morning, I noticed incoming signal light, service light was blinking. I'm kind of going to miss Ibuki. Huh. The surveillance camera unit was designed to make yes, communication. I'm very aware that you liked her as a character. Design wise, too. Design wise. But the killer. But that was the killer shot. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before. Ibuki could have been a friend, but it's just more of smile, just like, uh. I guess everything just has to be a relationship with him. Or simp mode. In my case. Me? Yes, yeah, you. Yeah, because you look like you're a sin. Aw, thank you. The person the footage were in the bag was totally the killer. It's fake. それを知らない俺はライブハウスに行き朝袋をかぶった人物の首吊りした絵を発見したんだ死体を目の当たりにして動揺した俺は慌てて他のみんなを呼びに行ってしまっただけどそれも犯人の罠だったんだ。犯人は病院の会議室を片付けた後、ライブハウスを外から見張っていたんだろうな。そして、俺と入れ替わるようにライブハウスの中へと入っていくと、最後の仕掛けに取り掛かったんだ。
You look so focused. I'm sorry, Spy. It's okay. <laughs> I am sorry. At least you're enjoying the story. ミオだと突然現れた西園寺の死体を It's been such a long time, this feeling, I know it too well. Like the fork collapsing, like the sky falling down upon you. This feeling of despair. Uh, it seems your arguments have reached conclusion. Let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time. Now then, pull the lever and cast your votes. <laughs> what, Smile? Uh, yeah, I was trying to hold it in. Sorry about that. <laughs> For what? The gags in Iruma Kun is on point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All rise. Um, I don't feel like standing. Now then, uh, uh, maybe obvious at this point. You got it right once again. That's like three in a row. The true identity of this horrifying blacken who killed two girls is was Mikan. You gotta be shitting me. Are you saying Mikan is the one who nursed us back to health and was the one who killed them? Don't joke around with me, Mikan. Did you lie to us all along? Were you planning to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? Don't just laugh. Say something that's going nowhere. This is nothing like Pekko. She's actually gone mental. There's nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer Mikan. Based on my prediction, she might have caught it too. She probably had the despair disease. Me wait, what? I know because I was looking at Mikan for so long. She was the one taking care of me after all. My caution just kept drifting in. When I caught a glimpse of her expression was full of despair, despair, so devoid of hope. Then not even a fragment remained. Hold on, did you say Mikan also had the despair disease? Then that means she was Hajime. Does something cross your mind? My body was heavy, not just heavy, it was soft and really hot. That's right, Mikan felt hot at that time. Now that I think about it, it must have been. Ah, that's what you meant, smile. Okay. Masaka. Then because of that disease, Mikan was. The symptoms that she felt, hmm, losing all hope, <laughs> harboring despair for all hope because of the despair disease, despair disease. She was likely to overcome with despair. Mama. That's the reason she can still laugh in such a hopeless situation. <laughs> the Mikan standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's completely different from the person that she... <laughs> oh my god. She's a human who deserves to be called the ultimate despair. Ah. So she basically became second, second Junko. Mm, not exactly. I mean, killing someone for the sake of despair instead of for the sake of hope. There's no way I can forgive that. For the sake of despair? That's completely wrong. wrong. What's wrong? What I did was for the sake of my beloved. What are you talking about? If only they were still alive, they'd be so happy. My beloved was the only one that's right, the only one who never hated me. They forgave my existence. They forgave me and accepted me. They love me. This is my... <laughs> uh, okay. 
Yes. I understand They're that I've done years. something unforgivable, but you know, but you know, but you know, understand all of that, truly? Really? What love is all about. I don't understand what you're saying. You don't understand? Is it because you don't have anyone to love? Is it because you're someone who isn't accepted by anyone? What a pity, I feel sorry for you. Huh? Even if I say this, I'm sure nobody here would understand, but love is a wonderful thing. This feeling of freedom where you no longer care about anything. My beloved and I are the only ones within that veil. That's why as long as I'm on this, on the side, wait, I'm on the inside, no matter how much they tease me, splash me with water, kick me, it's like, wait, what the fuck? Who cares about hope or despair? It's love. It's only love. Nagito. Is this really the despair disease you were talking about? It seems that I was wrong. Not only was she affected by despair, you were half right. It's right to say that this is all thanks to, the, that, to that disease. Because thanks to that disease, I was able to remember my beloved. Remember? Apparently that's what my symptom was. What a wonderful symptom. Which means the remembering disease. But if this means she remembered something and ended up like this. Are you saying you were like this from the start? Were you like this before you came to this island? Don't get so angry. Well, first of all, the reason I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know? Because it's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I'm the person I am today because of many human relationships. So it's everybody's fault that I turned out like this, you see? Even so, the current me was mostly Hmm. But my beloved still forgives me and still accepts me. That is the key difference between all of you and my beloved. Like I said, who the fuck are you talking about? Is she okay in the fucking head? Are you saying this is Mikan? She's the real Mikan? Mikan, please ask for me. Do you re really remember? You ended up like this all because you remembered? There's no way I can believe that. There's no way the person you are right now is the real Mikan. Oh, you still doubt me? Then... Then to prove I remember, I'll tell you something. It's... it. Wait, it about that World Ender organization that you all worrying about? You know? Not no, I remember. That's all. I knew about it all along. About that horrifying organization known as World Ender. I also... Is also the organization known as the Future Foundation. Future Foundation. That's right, that symbol on the ancient rune door. That's right. It was the Japanese word for future. Just what is the Future Foundation? What are they planning? As the name suggests, that organization is the world ender. The Future Foundation is trying to end our world. To put it simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves. What the heck? This is a comic book. <laughs> As a part of their plan to end the world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. Isn't that right, Monomi? I knew it! <laughs> Monomi, Monokuma, they're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? Monomi and I aren't members. I am Monokuma, my existence... Ha. Huh. Don't laugh. Hey, Mikan, if you really do remember, then you already know. You know the true identity of the traitor hiding among us. Of course I know that. Let's see, the future foundation lackey that's hiding amongst you all is... Oh, well, no one really cares about that, don't you think? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You'll find out eventually, so there's no need to be so impatient. Probably when that when that countdown ends. Countdown? You know you even know about that? I don't know anything. Huh? I have a feeling that's what it is, but who cares about that, you know? I'm drowning in so much love from the bottom of my heart. I just don't care about anyone or anything. Mikan, is this really you? I won't wow, believe this it. Is such a good setup chapter. Every what? single time I read it. The well, future events and what happens in the anime. There's no way I can believe you were like this all, all along. Because if that's true, then who's the person we've been spending time with up until now? The past? Past? That person, she didn't exist in the beginning. She's just my past self who lost her school memories. You guys consider that thing a friend? That doesn't make me happy at all. It just fills me with despair. You guys accepted my past self, but not my present self. That's... Well, that applies to you as well. Memories of people, memories of events, whatever memory it is, losing memories are like losing your personal identity. Uh, what the fuck? Hmm. Memory is the most important component in a building, in building a person, don't you think? Losing a memory makes us a shadow of the past, don't you think? 
I don't know what you're trying to say, but in the end, it look it leads back to that story. So it was true all along. Our memories were taken away. If that w if it wasn't true, we wouldn't be suffering. Like, hmm. Well, why don't you take your sweet time and remember at your own pace? Oh, Monokuma, is it already is is it alright for you to start now? Is her beloved dead? What the fuck? Hmm. Punishment time. Damn it, why? <laughs> Mika, why does it have to end like this? This is too pointless. This is too much. Now then, I have prepared a special punishment for the ultimate nurse, Mika. Hmm. So it's over. It's really... Now I can go to my beloved who's always... Yeah, he's dead dead. Please forgive me. The one who's going to die with the hope that... Fran hmm. Her execution is something else. <laughs> so her personality is a, uh... yeah. I guess never judge a book by its cover. I'm gonna say one thing. I really do pity her. Why? You'll see in the anime. Anime. Mm -hmm. But not in the game. Not in the game. Wait, why in the anime only? Because the anime talks about what happens before, and what happens after. Uh, what the fuck? Smile! <laughs> yeah, it's an enigma. Her character is an enigma in the game. Oh. It, kind of, it also reveals who this beloved is. What do you mean? That she was talking about so much. In the anime? Mm hmm. So, not in the game. Not in the game. It's finished. But it, it makes sense in the game, but the anime basically goes over the detail. The killer who killed Ibuki in Hyoko. I was kind of hoping like she would bring up like the abuse she faced from Hyoko as one of the reasons. Mm, but I guess not. I guess she didn't care about the verbal abuse, huh? The killer who killed Ibuki and Hyoko was Mikan. She's apparently committed. Uh, so if it wasn't for the despair disease, she would have been fine. Hmm. Mm -hmm. so They're it, calling it the despair disease. They're just calling it that. Nobody wanted it to end this way. Cool. So it's not a disease. That's memory manipulation, I'm assuming, huh? Yeah. What was that? Who was that Mikan from earlier? Was that her true form or itself? Hmm. Doesn't matter either way. If she ended up like that just from remembering, then all along Mikan was never worth being a symbol of hope. He really did not like her after finding out what she did. What the fuck? Yeah, she is one of the despair now. Of course he's gonna not like her. Even if her words were influenced by the despair disease, if the disease turned her into that, if she lost herself to a simple disease, she was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. So let's just move on. I really feel bad for Ibuki. Don't really care for Lolly Girl. I'm kind of happy Mikan is dead because she was kind of just a waste of a character in my opinion. Come on, let's talk about all this despair, changing it to hope. What? She brought all the fan service. Yes, nobody cares about that. <laughs> I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so, like a house of cards collapsing in an instant in the end. I kind of like, where is Nekomaru? How would he have, how would he have changed this? Hmm. Hmm. In the end, our friend we thought, in the end, our friend we thought we knew ended up showing a completely different side of herself. Then she vanished from our sight, leaving behind her malice towards us. There's no way we can just move on or try to have a clear cut attitude about these feelings. It would have been much easier if she was the traitor too. Too bad that's not the case. Mikan was not the traitor. The traitor is still alive. As proof, see how fine Monomi looks? I'm not fine at all. <laughs> but if the traitor died, you wouldn't be this calm. 
I mean, you're both pawns. Uh, what does that make you? Who cares about who I am? More important, I'm tired. The drama just keep, kept going and going. I didn't even have time to eat my black bean. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. Now it's time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? You know, isn't it said that life has its ups and downs? It's fun because downs come after ups. But if life was full of downs, wouldn't it get boring? So in order to help you guys feel better, I prepared a special event. Head over to the first island beach. An old friend will be waiting there. Nekomaru? Save? How should I say this? Hmm. I knew it. That crazy bastard Nekomaru would come back in one piece. Uh, there's a twist here. There's a fucking twist here. However, even so, I'm still happy if Nekomaru is safe. I'm truly happy. If you are happy, you should greet him with open arms. Hey, Supreme Overlord, who gives a shit? That line doesn't suit you at all. Silence, I shall crush you into dust. <laughs> Ibuki, Hiyoko, Mikan, can you hear me? If you are unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I want to warmly welcome Nakamaru when he returns to us. You don't have to worry, Sonia. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. The heck do I still have after effects of that disease? I don't get this at all. Alright, then let's go. As can I please see this twist? Man, they just ran off without listening to what I had to say. Jeez, they're so impatient. Didn't they learn to stick around? What does that mean? You're plotting something, aren't you? I'm not plotting anything. I'm just trying to properly explain to them, including Nekomaru's body. It's their fault for not sticking around until I finish talking. I bear no responsibility. What did I do? I just saved him. That's all. I mean, if I didn't do anything, there's no way he, I could have saved someone who was close to death. So it couldn't be hit. Wait, smile. Mm -hmm. What happened to poor Nakamaru? Mm -hmm. As soon as we got, we started running to the first island beach. Let's haul ass. Even though our minds were completely exhausted, strangely enough, our bodies felt light. Without stopping anything, we kept running towards the first island. Where in the world is Nekomaru? Hi. Nekomaru, show yourself. We have come to pick you up. Please hurry and come out of hiding. We raised our voices, looked around the area. We raised our voices again. We looked around again. And so on and forth. We kept looking, but... What the hell? He's nowhere to be found. Could it be? Did we get false information from Monokuma again? That's when we heard a familiar voice echo throughout the beach. <laughs> With hopes in our hearts, we turned towards our... And then we saw something truly unbelievable. I, sorry, I kept you waiting. Hey, what's going on? That's pretty sad. Who are you? What's going on? If you mess with me, I'll stop doing it to you. Have you noticed it yourself? What do you mean, notice? You mean this is nothing? Ah. Uh. <laughs> the reveal. <laughs> so, you know what's sad? I kind of saw that coming. Yeah, I, yeah, you told us. I kind of saw that coming. And the worst part is, Ma, can I be honest? What's up? I'm disappointed. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> because don't worry about it, you like. I know exactly what you're thinking. <laughs> I can't look at him. <laughs> the fuck? Don't worry about it, you like. It's actually fine. Because I remember thinking myself, wow, this is a stupid thing <laughs> to do to Nekomaru. But don't worry about it, story holds up. My name is Nekomaru Nita. Wait, how do you say his last name? 
Need I? Need I? I've been reborn in the rivers of hell. Yeah, uh, this is low key Monokuma stick joke too. <laughs> Nine days left. Wait. Yo, that a point on no return, so Monokuma made him into a robot. <laughs> Wait, is that ever explained? <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> You'll know why he's a robot later, I think, in the game. I'm going to assume there's only there's probably going to be four students left at the end now that I think about it. Four? What do you guess that? Based on some of the turn of events. Hmm. Okay. But yeah. How was that chapter? But I have to say this feels like if I have to say this feels like Thriller Bark. Because it feels like not a great chapter. In first sight, but looking back, you're like, wow, they set this all up. That kind of chapter. Hmm. So, I want to believe you, right? And I'm happy Mikan is dead. Didn't really care for her. Don't really care for the lolly. And Ibuki's dead. I will say Mikan is like a really great link here. Meaning, because I know she set up, she set up a lot. I know that. Like she. Yeah, but what's the most important part of honor right now? That, that got she revealed? got her memory back yes she actually got her memory back so i know it's building up to potentially everybody getting their memories back okay I mean, mm -hmm. sure but <laughs> it's not that oh what do you mean but mm, okay, okay you, you, don't you, it, you, then... don't, you don't have to spoil yes me. exactly if you haven't gotten it then no <laughs> hmm. she got her memory back the traitor kind of was like, oh yeah, the traitor's still alive. Yeah, they never died. They're still the traitor alive. is still here. Someone in this group is a traitor. Can I be honest? I what think it's it? Sonia. I don't know why. Okay. I just think it's Sonia. Yeah, but there is a traitor in this group. Mm -hmm. I think it's Sonia. And we found out about this future foundation, right? Yep. And they're supposed to be the world ender. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. I understand. Yes. Mm -hmm. But mm. Monokuma denies that he is part of Future Foundation. No, I can believe that. So we have forces at work here. I feel like this Future Foundation looked up to Junko, but he refuses to accept them. That's what I feel. Yeah, but basically, yeah, this is basically Thriller Bark. Oh. Like, you know, going into Wano, right? You're like, you look at, you look back to Thriller Bark, you're like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> like, like that kind of feeling. Hmm. All I feel now is. <laughs> hmm. They were. Yeah, so but uh, Mikan was introduced as a very annoying character from the beginning, right? Yep. And then I was so confused at this point. Like, why did they do this to her? But, like, looking at what happened in the later, it's like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> what, do we get to see her school life? That is part of it. Mm. There's the school life. So, the anime explains... There's the also the other part from. where I'm just like, there were two different branches when, when it came to students at the school. Mm. So, here's the thing. Um, these group of talents, right? Yes. The students, the ultimates. Yep. Each year, new talents... Of the ultimates get selected mm -hmm. so at this point we don't know which class this is that we're playing with mm. and nagito oh no wait uh Makoto. nagito right he said he got selected because he's the ultimate luck hmm hmm Still wish Byaki was around, son of a bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? 
<laughs> Would it yeah, be yeah, uh, yeah, he went out with a blazing fucking on the first chapter. <laughs> By a poor cutlet, nonetheless. Poor cutlet was a piece of shit. Mm. He's like, mama! Ugh, but you still killed you little... <laughs> Uh, but it is very unfortunate what happened to every single one of these people. I use, and can I be honest? Don't care for the lolly. Don't care for Mikan. You disagree with me? Hmm. Mm, so here's the thing. I really don't care about those two, right? But yes. I still pity both of them. Even the lolly? Yes. Even though she was a piece of shit? Yes. Hmm. Interesting. Her personality was really bad, right? Like, she's basically the Leo. That's how I look at her. Yeah, her personality is really bad, right? But yeah. just... What happened doesn't really justify what happened to her. So... Okay, okay I'm trying to think here. Mm, that's right, a common ordinary progression would have been just fine. Like, for example, the enemy's lair crumbling right after you defeat the final boss. Or your dead friend. But... but, but, but that's the kind of old school progression we were hoping for. Not this unreasonable turn of events. It's because this is chapter three, right? Yes. Oh. oh my god. So so the set of chapters will be all done with the next chapter. And five and six is gonna be the fucking roller coaster. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I should just come back and stream Dong and Ropa tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm. Good. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, so... Basic setup is done. Mm -hmm. Next chapter is gonna be more reveal, mm -hmm. right? And exciting little mystery. The murder mystery. No, I really want to get into it now, but it's been, like, yeah. seven hours. Like, fuck. No, 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 I'm not saying to do it right now. <laughs> Don't do that, you're gonna kill yourself. <laughs> Smile, I'm actually, I kind of want to continue. It's kind of like when I was watching One Piece, like, I didn't know how to control myself and stop. It's like, I want to keep mm -hmm. going, son of a bitch. I mean, you could, but I will be going to bed, so <laughs> good luck with that. Oh, fuck. Just when the story got interesting. Oh, fuck, I closed something, son of a bitch. Yeah, but, like, I think Mikan was a really good character in this, in introduction, even though I don't like her as much, right? Like, she made a hook of what's to come. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I guess she's good for setup. Fine, I give you that. Yeah, yeah but I'm, I'm saying, she, she's not a good character. Yeah. She's a good setup character. I feel like Ibuki was kind of wasted. Hmm. Now who's going to yeah, keep Ibuki us alive? Yeah, Ibuki definitely was. Um, but then again, she was like the part of the remnant of the last story, right? With the Kazuryu story. Mm -hmm. I think that was the one of the reason why they got rid of all of them. Jeez, you guys are all strange a lot. You all have such wide eyes. <laughs> Perhaps you've fallen in love with this metallic body of mine. I already know what you want to say, just by looking in your eyes. I am a former team manager. Okay, I, I respect the reaction, to be honest. You look like you've seen a ghost or something. Hey man, don't go scary Miss Sonia with that strange mask. Come on, take it off. Ow. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> Why won't it come off? It's super glued on. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna snip this just for myself. Yeah, his face is gorgeous. What a what a beautiful, <laughs> handsome man. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna snip that for me. It's not just for show. It's pure electricity. I've been reborn as pure electricity. If you're seriously Nakamaru. That's my fault, right? You've ended up getting a body like that. It's all my fault, right? Sorry, Nekamaru. I don't know how to apologize for this. Don't worry about it. A lot of stuff happens when you're alive. You're too upbeat. Is this really okay? If you keep sweating the small stuff, you're going to end up getting more gray hairs. You can't even get hair anymore. Commenting on every little thing he does is a waste of time. But if you're really Nekamaru, you came back for us, right? That's right. I've been... I've resurrected from the depths of hell in shining silver. How are you even okay with that? It doesn't even compare to my eye patch. How can you accept a body like that? It's better just to be alive. Huh? It's better just to be alive. Hey, don't you agree? If I'm alive, I can still talk to you to you all. If I'm alive, I can still fight. It doesn't matter what happens to my body, not one bit. 
You're amazing, Nekamaru is bringing with hope. Why is fucking this idiot turned on? Oh my Dude, fucking. Yeah, he's fucking turned on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's better just be alive. Should I just stop right here? What the fuck? Uh. Um, so you have to see until the end credit card, right? And then you can stop. But this it says chapter 4 right now. Wait, it did? Yeah, it says chapter 4. But it's... Okay. We're not even back to our rooms. That's why I was just like, should I keep going? Till we go back to the room? Oh, it's already chapter 4. Wait, was there the end card? For yeah, this already? Uh, yeah, I already did passed I the end it? card. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, it's whatever. So should I stop here? Or is he supposed to go back to the room? Mm, should be going back to the room. Okay. Yeah. No matter how we make sense of this, it's just too weird. This is a novel movie or react. Huh. Can something this unexplainable really be allowed to happen? No, instead, why did this happen? Anyway, I'm glad that's fine, right? Right, Nakamaru definitely came back to us. My, my, am I interrupting your touching reunion? Hawa? Why is Nakamaru a robot? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> it was truly difficult to save Nekamaru from the jaws of death. But they don't call me. <laughs> what the fuck? Psy Wait, how do you say that? Psycho pop. Psycho pop. Psycho pop magician. magician. For nothing. Oh my goodness. Such a wonderful before and after has happened and occurred. It appears just to be a little too dramatic. Thanks to that, I'm getting stabbed by. Oh my god. If you're really a robot, what's going on with your thought process? Is that a program too? Then what happened to the other stuff like your self-awareness and... Well, how many times do I have to tell you? It doesn't matter. <laughs> no matter what shape form I take, I am Nekomaru. <laughs> is he going like, to power? He is Nekomaru though. Monokuma is a fucking... Ugh. He is still Nekomaru. Is he going to power through the rest of his life with this... How the fuck are they going to kill him? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He is a robot, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's a robot. I he mean, did get body modification. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That's the kind of reaction. Uh, this means this technology is insane. I've never seen it. Okay, now he's turned on. What the fuck? <laughs> A lot of people getting turned on this chapter. Smile. Huh. What the commoner considers advanced is too much of an advancement. If you think it advanced, ha. Huh. You think advancements exist in colleges and laboratories? That's a huge misunderstanding. Real advancements is places where you can pass on that talent. And you're saying that you were really that amazing? Stop admiring him. Stupid stuff, toy. Don't go screwing with people's bodies like that. Hold on. If you harm Monokuma, you're going to. If you intend to defy me again, you're quite the barbarian. Jeez, this time you will definitely fall prey to my Monokuma bazooka. Once again. again the... What the fuck? <laughs> but this time, Nekomaru's stronger. <laughs> that didn't even phase me at all. <laughs> Check it out. I'm intact. I have no injuries at all. Are you fucking serious? He took that blast and doesn't even have a single scratch. Awesome. He's seriously a robot. Can you let me disassemble you? Can you let me disassemble you? Show me your insides. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> If I get disassembled, I'll end up dying. I suppose I should fill you in. Even if he's a robot now, if Nekomaru is killed, he's still gonna count as a murder, okay? Of course, it's possible that Nekomaru might kill someone instead. Don't be- don't say such foolish things, that will never happen. Well, with that in mind, you guys enjoy the killing school trip. Once again, I hope we can get along together. It's impossible, it's gonna take a while before I can mentally process this. He's like, I'm Yakuza, but like, goddamn. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my god. If that's the case, it is a burden for Nekomura. It's not like I came back as a monster. I'm just a robot now. I'm sorry, I can't really see a difference. Just consider this a little promotion. By making a robot one one of the main characters, I genu- Ha. Huh. You're totally destroying the genres. Oh well, who cares? As long as it's fun. It's totally. As I listen to Mokunokuma boisterous laugh once, uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm honestly just gonna end it here. Fuck. Actually, I can't even pause it. The fuck. Uh, e. I can't. Why can't I pause it? I mean, why can't I end it? Why can't uh? Oh, there we go. End card. I think. 
Do ultimate robots dream of clockwork? The fuck? Next morning, we got at the hotel like we always do. Okay, can I please end this? Like, please. Yeah, just, you should probably just end it then. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. I'm just gonna have to close the game. Because I'm just like, it's not gonna let me save. Son of a bitch. Uh, but yeah. I that just to start by uh, reading the beginning part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? But yeah, that does it for the stream. And uh, Nekamaru is a fucking robot. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I'm kind of glad I wasn't through. I wasn't searching through Google. I was tempted to like, you know how I was lazy with the uh, with the thumbnail? <laughs> Just with the I was uh -huh. actually thinking about scrolling through for Nekamura. I'm glad I did not type his name now. Um, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. That, that would have been a big spoiler, right? <laughs> what the fuck? Exactly. <laughs> Maybe I should just have you send me PNGs, uh, or just send me images so I can crop them. Fuck. <laughs> Cause like, damn. Sure. I mean, I'll search it up <laughs> if you uh, need something. <laughs> son of a bitch. But yeah, thanks for joining IBK Tan. If you're still here, um, yeah, Nagito gotta go. <laughs> he gotta go. Good night, to all. Uh, good night, guys. Peace.